Okay then, let's get on with it once more into the breach. Factoria 100% Death World, I really want to see it done. Which means I better be doing it myself. It'd be nice if someone else stepped up to do it. Save me from this curse. Okay, so first things first. Get rid of all of these accursed achievements, even though this doesn't properly work. If I ever load up Factorio on my laptop, it restores all of my achievements. Which is kind of good and bad. I mean, it's nice to be able to put them back, but it means if I ever dare to check something out in my laptop... Uh, well, I better hope I'm not mid-run, because it activates all the bleeding achievements. Quick check on Steam shows that they're all off. Excellent. Right, let's hop to it then. So, if you somehow haven't seen one of my previous attempts here, I want to do a free play Death World, completely vanilla settings for Death World, and get every single achievement in one single run. The two big pain points there are getting on track like a pro and... Well, three pain points actually. Getting on track like a pro, lazy bastard, and uh, there is no spoon. So beat the game in eight hours. No excessive hand crafting, you're only allowed 111 of them. And an hour and a half to get a train on the tracks. I haven't failed getting a train on the tracks so far in any of my attempts, which is all the more foreboding. Bet I'm gonna fail it this time. This is the map seed that I've chosen out for today. After yesterday's failed attempt, I went and just kept rolling seeds until I found something that looked promising. This looks fairly promising. Much more oil than I uh, normally tend to have in these. There's a bit over there and a bit over here. Uh, it is quite open and very full of unforested desert, which is a big downside, but surprisingly few biter nests over in the danger zone. The biter nests all tend to be over in the forested area, which could work to our advantage. Might. I assumed you'd stay with your old... No, if I fail a seed, I'm never going back to it. It would feel too much like retreading. Bad enough that I'm probably going to build pretty much the same factory. Big advantage we have over last time is that uh, copper and iron are immediately available near our starting location. And th those are the three things I'm really looking for in a map like this. I need the oil, the second iron, and the second copper all to be fairly quick and easy to get access to. The copper was such a risky biscuit to go for last time. It is a small copper patch, so I should probably get going on that early. Mm, doesn't look like it can support that much, does it? Plenty of forest to soak up the pollution, but the big problem's down here, so I reckon I'm going to need to wall off. Probably a wall along here, and then extend it out to about here-ish. I'd I'd rather have like a diagonal wall along here, but as we know, flamethrowers aren't so hot at that. Uh, the northwest nests are close and scary. It's hard to avoid close and scary nests on Death World. We'll just have to deal with them. Alright, is there anything I need for this? Uh, actually, maybe. Uh, before I start proper, I want to sort this out, actually. I don't want to track you. Are there any of these that I want to track? I've already got Lazy Bastard up here. Mm, I used to keep some of the other things tracked up here, but I suppose none of them are relevant, are they? It's... Oh, of course! How could I forget? I need getting on track like a pro here. And that should be the upper one. There we go. Oh, it's not a run if we don't have uh, getting on track like a pro breathing down our neck, is it? All right, grand, let's keep that there. It remembers these between sessions for some reason. Okay, three, two, one, go. Tab, alt mode, grab our goodies. Wherever they may be. Uh, I'm going to craft one, two, three of these, and we search for coal rocks. We've got some here immediately. Oh, well, thank you, Alpha. I'm hoping for some good luck. But I had a lot of good luck last time, and <laughs> I failed to capitalize on it. Uh, research queue is now activated by default, yes. I don't know if that's purely down to uh, running the latest beta, though. I don't know if that's been folded into the main release, but I'm running on the latest beta because, uh, well... Kovarex did not want there to be a rese research queue at all. And I think he's finally caught out to how wrong he is. Alright, I'm going to need a couple of stone furnaces wherever I'm going. Are you a coal rock? Oh, you are a coal rock. I'm not too worried about losing a minute or two early game. As long as I have automation up in about 10 or 15 minutes, we're okay. 
main concern is going to be uh, defense and offense. That biter nest is disturbingly close. In fact, it's so close that I'm going to consider where the best place to mine is, and the best place to mine is right here. Because this stuff works in chunks. Get over there. Get over there. And... Give me your initial iron. Let's turn it into a burner miner drill. Yoink. And you just get to work. Right. They're going to produce me goodies, and I need to go and make some basic stuff. Well, not make, but gather. More coal rocks, more better. And I'll need some wood where I'm going as well. So, see these useless trees that barely absorb any pollution? I'll grab them, even though they have half the yield of a big juicy tree like these. So I'm going to grab some big juicy wood out of you. And you. And I should also go and grab myself some fish. I don't know exactly how much iron I need at the start. I'm terrible at ratios and exact numbers and all that. But shouldn't need that to win, right? The seed number 6497. I, I just started at 5,000 and kept rolling seeds until it. Whoa! Okay, almost missed that biter nest, but. Um, glad I've spotted it now. It's guarding tons of coal rocks. That's painful. We're not looking very good for coal rocks in this direction. Let's about turn. More bitery bastards down at the southwest there. Ah, coal, right. Coal rocks are a really important early game because they are completely pollution free ways to get hefty amounts of coal, which is great when you're in that burner section of the game. Coal rocks aren't really going to matter diddly as soon as I've set up automated coal mining. But they matter a lot until we get there. Oh, hello! This is Coltopia over here. It's okay, we can spend quite a bit of time away from our, dare I call it, base, because the, um, the burner miner drills and the ovens are going to be making us iron plates for quite some time, and we're going to need a lot of those. When I get back, I'll shift them over to copper, under the perhaps gross assumption that I'm going to have plenty. I remember watching your first Factorio run ever. You've come a long way. Oh, God, yeah. I remember setting up a, in retrospect, minuscule boiler array, and I thought, how could I ever need more power than this? This will keep us good forever. Uh, it did not. Not at all. Not a coal rock to be had. Don't want to stray too far, but straying is also good. It actually generates more chunks in the game. And that gives biters other places to go to. Hello, this is an excellent place to get wood. These trees are all mostly dead, so they'll barely absorb any pollution. You can tell by the lack of leaves on them. But because they're not dead trees, you get the whole four wood out of them. And uh, I want something like 100 wood so I can get 200 power pulls early on. Well, more is better. This is quite slow without the steel axe, and it's certainly very slow without bots. But it's going to be like an hour before we get our steel axe, and it's going to be never before we have bots. At least not before getting the uh, the rocket launched. Hello, are you made of coal? You are made of coal. And I think that one up top is also made of coal. Coal? Oh, hell yeah. Is the challenge permadeath? Uh, not that I died last time. I don't have any particularly strong feelings about permadeath. It would be nice to get it done without dying, but it's not a deal breaker. Factorio's got... The Factorio engineer here has an amazing insurance policy. It's so dark I can't see where this coal rock is. I know there was one there and I just can't see it. Oh well. Woe is me. Oh, that's a coal rock. I think I will go out of my way for it. This also gives me an opportunity to do some fishing. And if you're going to be fishing, be sure to select the fish for mining first. That stops them squirming around when you're trying to dig them out. I am perhaps spending a little too long on this, though. I hope I left plenty of coal back home. 
think I left a fair amount of it. I left like 20 and 10. It's more than I normally leave. I normally leave uh, about 12 and 6. Or 10 and 5. Anyway, fish are going to be vital for my early strategy. Okay, well, I can't reach that one. Mm, any more coal rocks? Actually, I should really get back to base for a little bit. It's not that far. Ooh, plenty of fish over here. Sweet. Just mark them all for deconstruction so they stop squirming around. Oh, I don't want the idea of tutorializing Factorio. I am far from uh, an expert on the matter. I mean, look at my hot bar. Mm -mm -mm. Right, well, let's actually do something about that. I'm going to add some fish there. I'm going to add some coal there. Oh, good. These things are still running. Well, that is fantastic. Not only that, that's loads of iron. Surely that's enough iron for us. All right, how about where to place you? Okay, it is completely irrelevant. All chunks are functionally the same here. And whilst you do that, I gotta make a bunch of stuff, including a boiler and a steam engine. And, uh, I forget. Right, I should also check for any more nice juicy coal rocks up north. They're unlikely to be here. I find that coal rocks are far more common in the desert, but uh, there is one. Uh, can't really tell where it is. It's in, oh, there it is. Like I said, this isn't really wasted time. I need that copper regardless to get automation going. God, there's even more coal rock to be had. Where? I think I see it. Coal rocks hidden in the forest. And it's not just one, there's two. It's not just good for the coal, I'm going to need that stone as well for my ovens. I think you're here. Bless this deconstruction tool. Don't know what I'd do without it. Alright, now if that ain't a hefty amount of coal, don't know what it is. That's about 550 coal. And I am stuck. Let me out of here. Don't wanna don't wanna cut down any more trees than necessary. Quick glance at the pollution tells us that we're fine. That we damn well better be. We're hardly making any, but the biters are close and we should be quite worried about that. Now, let's see if we can't get what we need out of you. I need a laboratory. I need a small electric pole. I need 10 science. And I need one offshore pump, which should be done before the science. Alright, great. I'm going to move one of these back over to iron, because iron is in far greater need than copper for pretty much the entire game. Ooh, question. Where do we set up our boiler? I pause often because the time just freezes during pausing. Hmm, boy, I thought today was meant to be a weekly one-shot, and that's what you get for being decadent. You know, you think you're safe, you think you know what Sundays are going to be? Well, I was frustrated after my last attempt at this, so here I am. I might set up my boiler here in the long run. I don't know if that's big enough for a boiler array. I'm going to assume that it is. They're not that big. Hell, I can even count. It's ten boilers across, and boilers are three, and a chunk is thirty-odd, so actually this should be more than enough room for my uh, my power place. This, of course, is a problem, but that just tells me that wiping that out is a priority. I'll probably use turrets rather than shotgun and fish, because well, look at all the worms that there are here. They'd eat me alive. It does mean I need a lot of iron for a lot of ammo to clear that out, but if I clear this out and this out, I should have a lot of leeway on pollution, at least until the pollution reaches here. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, point is, initial power plant goes here. Hmm, I want it as far away from the, the nasties as possible, so I'll put it down here. In you go, in you go, in you go, 
here you go, and you go, and take all of this, take all of that. No, not the wood! Why is it default to wood? Automation must be the first thing researched. I should have enough plates to get everything done. Double back and pick up a few more plates. Yoink and yoink. Yeah, I just mash F5 and I get a bunch of debug info that I've set up. Things like pollution, creation and absorption numbers, chunks, spaces on belts. Alright, that'll be automation done, and then I'm probably going to automate a bunch of power poles, bring power over here, move everything over there, and, uh, <laughs> oh god, we're already almost polluting these guys. It's scary. It's really rather scary. No one's going to miss a few trees, but I will want this wood. I'll be running on small power poles for the whole game, just making a few medium ones to sort out some logistical issues. And not that many of them, because I am going to change my smelter array to completely uh, be serviced by small power poles this time. Don't really have the time for this, but let's go over and grab some extra fish. I don't feel comfortable having under 100 fish. There we go. Precisely 100, and let's change that by making it 105. And with automation done, we do our final craft, which is Assembly Machine 1. Lazy Bastard should say 110 out of 111. If it doesn't, I've made a tragic mistake. And now we go slash permissions, and it doesn't like it in caps. Permissions, edit, crafting, disabled. Now, even if we uh, wanted to, we cannot craft. Well, not by hand, at least. Automator thing, I require a whole bunch of copper cables. Waiting on this is a bit of a bummer. I think I'll get 30 of them, that'll do. And then I need a bunch of power cables. Then we bring power over here, and we get to work. What's the plan to find the 26 minutes? I don't know, just play better? <laughs> That's what people have been yelling at me to do. They can't all be wrong, can they? Alright, good enough. Come over here, power. And do the rest of our nasty work over here. Oh boy, this, this is going to get in my way quite a bit, isn't it? Has he gotten Gotlap in Death World before? I've gotten Gotlap in Death World about four times now. Kind of getting good at it. All right, what else do we need? I, I don't know. Need everything. Copper cables for one. I just want to change this over to electric mining drills now. But uh, I kind of want uh, at least a couple of assembly machines. But I'm going to need sprockets and electric chips and I uh, just need everything. The early game is such a pain in many ways. Alright, give me that. Give me some sprockets. What do we even need for you anyway? A bunch of sprockets, a bunch of plates that I don't have because I just went and shoved them all into sprockets. Well, no, I got it. I got enough. Make those sprockets. I'll maybe make just two assembly machines, maybe three. I like to have four, but yeah, I need those iron plates for everything, really. Anyway, good enough. Uh, except I don't have my chips yet. Yet flamers, no need for efficiency. I disagree entirely on that one. I think efficiency modules are great for a run like this. Now, granted, I could well be wrong, but I don't think I am. Probably want gun turret as my next thing. Not that we're doing any research right now, but I will probably need or want that. Alright, thanks for that. Make me one, two, three more of these. That's fine. And now I need electric mining drills. Shove you down. Uh, another thing I'd quite like is to use up my stone, making a bunch of ovens. You're already done, huh? 
more sprockets, more plates. More ovens. Alright, kind of good enough. Now I got a couple of you. Now I don't care so much about the chunk location. Either way, I'm going to pollute those guys, and I need my gun turrets operational to deal with that. Uh, it's a mixed belt, which is always fun with a capital F U. Uh, okay. Guess I'll start with you here and here. There we go. Means I kinda don't want you here anymore. Well, actually, I might still want that copper plate coming in, won't I? Right, uh, still need more minor drills, which means I need. I just need damn near everything. Uh, get those going. Make more ovens, please. More sprockets, more miners, more everything. Don't worry about the pollution for now. Uh, that's a lie. I am worrying quite a lot about it right now. Get the last of the stone taken care of. Get those sprockets, we know we need them. Alright, splendid. I don't have good ordering for this, but I'm sure you can tell that just by looking. I'm looking pretty handily on my coal, but that will run out, so I'm going to set up a couple burner miner drills just to feed each other coal. It's a nice elegant solution for early game coal, is just having burner miner drills shoved into other burner miner drills. Prime them with one bit each. This I'm a little concerned about, the burner miner drills chuck out loads of pollution. I'm not saying they're bad, they're just not worth the time building. The most efficient part is having no part. Huh? The man's gone insane. Right. That's a good amount of that, but I need more iron. Always need more iron. But I will also need some of you. At what point do you start mixing thereabouts? Alright. Eat that, eat that. At least I have that coming in now. But, uh, da -da. I think some people have some real issues with the way I set up my miners. Just feel the slowness. <laughs> Alright, what's your problem? As usual, it's sprockets. Just need so much, so much everything for these bleeding runs. Are we polluting them at all yet? Nope, not yet. They're not eating the pollution yet. More miners, more better. But realistically, the power pole should be going somewhere like there. That should keep it all fine, because I'm going to want this again right here and probably again right there I know I know we've not even started on our uh, on our science have we Jake calling them sprockets really grinds my gears. <laughs> what do you want me to call them? Spacely sprockets or cogwell cogs? Right, right, right. There we go. More of this, more better. I will need some setup for coal as well. The faster I got the iron coming in, the faster all of this is just going to go better. Copper is 
far less of a concern. Uh, pollution is really going to be a concern very soon. I haven't, again, started any science whatsoever. Maybe I should. Maybe I really should just get my gun turret at least available to me. Also, what I can do... I wish I had more coal for this. How are the coal guys doing? They're almost full of coal, so I'm going to make a wee distraction move over here to grab them. I can grab excessive ore and shove it into uh, dedicated furnaces. Have you got enough coal? Uh, not really, but at least these things are well stocked up, even the ones that aren't built yet. Okay. Loads of sprockets, please. Or these, please. Uh, here's some copper plates for you. There's enough sprockets to make ten science. More. It's going to be very expensive on the iron plates to make the ammo and the gun turrets to destroy the- Look at this wee bugger! They've started making an attack group and it's really quite close. That is a bit scary. Alright, uh, let's go and grab this orb because it's really starting to pile up. The miners mine out twice as fast as the smelters can smelt. Which is sad in its own way. Okay. I want you set up. I want to start figuring out how to make a gun turret. I knew I would run out of power, but fortunately I still have 50 coal. Just hope those bugs don't attack while I'm away here. I only have 10 clips to take care of them. The fact that they're eating my pollution so early is a real... No, not the wood. It's a real bummer for me. I need to automate my uh, my boilers to some degree. I'm surprised people haven't already told me to set up a mall or set up a fully functional smelter array that's completely automated or jump into my Spider-Tron with its nukes attached and wipe out all of bug kind. Forgive me, I'm not quite there yet. 23 minutes in. Do I sound a little bitter? It's because I'm a little bitter about that. People love to give me such unactionable advice in this game. How's that? How's that biter nest? Oh, Jiminy Crickets. That's a fair few of them now, isn't it? I'm more than a little worried about that. It just research the atomic bomb, it's that simple. Well, one way or another I'm going to need some bullets, so let's get that researched. Those guys are going to come in, maybe I should preemptively uh, bash their little buggy heads in. Right, come get some of this. Yeah. I'll take all of you on! There we go. Now it's not going to be quite such a bad attack when they come for me. I took the ammo out of my gun so I wouldn't waste it. I knew I could clobber them to death. It was, as they say, clobbering time. Ignore the musky breathing of Factorio guy. He's a professional. He knows what he's doing. I'm assuming it's a he. Could be anyone under that. Well, it is, because it's me playing, and I will project. Not like in the situation with coal whatsoever, though the next ones of these have to go on coal. However, this is a problem now. Uh, the moment I start setting this up, it's going to annoy those biters, so I really need to 
God, I want a radar as well. I just want everything. Ugh. What'll I do? What'll I do? Okay, my next things need to be on coal because this is going to be a problem as well. But I also need some auto gunning. Like an auto gun here would probably just kill all the biters that come over here. The ones that come this way and that way would be taken out by auto guns here. Two auto guns should suffice for a wee while, I think. And hey, we just researched auto guns. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, power is a big concern as well. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. There's always, always more problems to be had, aren't there? Well, power needs a bunch of things, including some pipes. Pipes and sprockets. I'm glad we got the ammo, but we need more ammo. Uh, I think after this I can be done with you. How many do I have? I have three. With that I'll have seven. Ah, make me one more. So I can have eight. Eight on the coal for plenty of coal income would be nice. How are the biters do it? Oh god, they're coming back and even more than before. <laughs> That's kind of bad. Right. Auto gun, help me. You need sprockets? I got sprockets. Evidently not enough of them. Two auto guns with a bunch of ammo should suffice ish. Gotta be careful, if those guys go in the attack right now, I am in a bad position. They take anywhere from one to... Oh god, that is a lot of them, sire. How many autogun turrets can you crank out in short succession? Yeesh, I don't like this at all. That is a very scary nearby biter base, and on top of that, my power is gone. Okay, well, uh... You know what? I'm just going to mash them to death with my fist. I know that's a lot of them to mash, especially when I have no armor, but... I don't want to spend the resources. I suppose fish is a resource, it takes time to get. But with enough sashimi, we can just brutalize these guys. Wow, they really are not interested in me, are they? Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, I gotta say, this starting position with the nearby nest, pretty brutal. And it's a big nest as well. I'm not taking that one out easy peasy. Uh, right, well, I just hope I have some coal. Need to go and start up the generator again, double my power output, and get to work. Fist speed efficiency modules for removing pollution. Who is this guy? Funny thing is, if they went and took out my boiler right now, that'd be game over. I uh, wouldn't be able to craft another boiler. Well, maybe. Maybe I have the makings for... Okay, okay. I could replace one of these and still be okay, but not both. Anyway, no, not the wood. Looking forward to getting this migrated over here so that the defense will be a little bit less uh, trepidatious. Alright, I always need more sprockets. That should be enough pipes for now, right? Yeah, I've already picked up a bunch of pipes. Anyway, I need one of these. Just one should suffice for now. On top of that, I also wouldn't mind having a few burner inserters. And maybe a... Like a wooden box or so. Eh, uh, four should suffice. Love me some wooden boxes too. And I know everything's a bit slow right now. We're working on it. Eh, you know what, actually, I always have a good use for wooden boxes, so make me a whole bunch of them. Might as well give it the wood, you'll literally only use it for small poles. Yeah, but I don't want to spend more time cutting wood than I have to. There you go, here's a box and a burner inserter and practically no coal, because I have practically no coal.
sunk a lot of plates into these gun turrets, and I'm barely using them, so I barely have them. Ish. Okay, right. Spare a moment and think. Won't be long until they want to do yet another attack. I need to go down and automate coal production, but that too is going to be under attack. I think once I start up my coal situation, I'm going to need to spend everything I can on wiping out this nest. And that's going to be a big cost. A very big cost. But these nests have got to go. They, I can't afford to just keep having to fight. Constant drain on resources and attention. Uh, right, well. Let's go and get that coal. No coal, no power. Where in the God's name are my power poles? Don't tell me I already spent them all. Alright, well that means I need a bunch of you. You've done your job, apparently. So let's go and have those power poles. More sprockets are always needed. More gun turrets are always needed. Uh, actually, four, two, and two. Four should suffice for a wee while, at least. Make me some ammo. The gun turrets are going to need it. At least I have uh, ovens for defense. And whilst you're making all of that, I shall... Go and grab all this ore that's piling up. For another burst round in the backup furnace. bugs up to? Are they, they must be mounting for an attack. Ah, okay, yes, I see you, I see you. Right, well, be that as it may, let's be somewhat ready for their attacks. There we go. That should attract all the attention from biters that want to come down here and attack me, so I should feel safe from them for a good wee while now. Should? I mean, I might not. Anything's possible, right? Ah, hide the power again. Oh god, and I don't really have coal for that. I desperately need to set up proper miners for coal then. I have skimped on that. Uh, right, 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 right. Unlike the other setups. I know, I know, I know. Some people think this is barbaric. Err, uh, what I find barbaric is not putting any defense over here, but... Yeah, maybe those guys haven't been drinking my pollution. Maybe. Let's choose to hope and believe in that. Is this planned to be a single stream for all achievement? Oh god, no. That would take like 40 or 50 hours. I won't even make it to the rocket launch today. I figured I could do a one stream to rocket launch, but it's just so stressful and so exhausting. Alright, yay, it didn't take the wood. Just it didn't have wood to take. But there we go, that should keep us going <clears throat> a good bit longer than last time. I still want a couple of guns just to defend my coal thing. How are we on power anyway? Oh god, even that's not enough power. I need to double up power again. I'm not thrilled at that idea. No point having all these fancy machines if they're only running at uh, about two-thirds power. He says, whilst continuing to accept the status quo. <clears throat> well, finally triggered an alien attack. Is it up north? It is! Go, my guns, go! Look at the size of that attack! We're at the start of the bleeding game. Anyway, all they took out was one measly oven, so that's no big deal. Alright, thank you, but I need another boiler, please. And I need two more engines. I gotta double up again. One and two... 
and I'll just go for it. Um, thank you for your service. I'll take what you have. Could I also get another couple of guns? There we go. That ensures that you only have enough to make two guns. I'll have those defend the coal extraction. Ah, uh, brown out the poor man's efficiency module. Ah, uh, you know, you're... You're one of the people that it's difficult to um, difficult to call out on these abuses of your power because you have actually done this run. Well, not specifically this one, but you have done Death World. And you did get no spoon. Boy, that already tore through a chunk of my ammo over there. That's efficiency module. That is good, though. Uh, right, more ammo, more better. Another couple of gun turrets, just to have a lazy defense over here. This one shouldn't be quite as under pressure as the other one, but I need to set up guns and ammo and clear that base out, and to a lesser extent, this one down here. Uh, if they do come for you here, dit and dit and da 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 And maybe all the way around, just in case they do try and get through. should do. 15 or so a piece should do. Okay, that's a lot nicer looking on the coal front. Unfortunately, I also need that coal to fire up my ovens. I should keep them good for a wee while. Eat on go. Actually, I will need a bunch of use. I don't mind making a whole load. At this point, I can need more assembly machines, and good to see that the oven wall continues to hold. When will he realize he needs more assemblers? I was realizing that about now. There we go. Such poor automation there. But, you know, you need everything, all the time, in this. That's a question, what's what's helpful? What is immediately going to help you now more than anything else? How many gun turrets do I have? With four there, and another two there, three there, four there. You know, they just keep on coming over there. That ammo won't last forever, which is all the more reason why I need to keep making ammo here. Alright, the sprockets are done, then let's make ourselves maybe another four machines. One, two, three, four, blip. Alright, goody goody gumdrops. More ammo please. Uh, I don't know, more chips or something. More copper cable. And uh, always more sprockets, because we never have enough sprockets. Why don't you set up a little mall, Jake? Yeah, well, I'm kind of busy. I would like them all, though. Once the pressure is off with the pollution and the attacks, I'm going to automate the production of science materials. Alright, not sure if they're going to have enough everything for all of that, but... Okay. No wonder Chad is so quiet during Factorio Street. Jake's taking their job. I don't get it, but okay. Oh, probably moaning about my own inefficiencies. Yeah, that much is for certain. Alright, I'm going to fill up on coal once again, and then hopefully I'll have enough guns and ammo to go and take on the biters. I should have enough ammo. I should certainly hot belt my ammo and maybe even my guns. These guys haven't even engaged with the alien menace, although I suppose I'm the alien here. You guys get away. You have done enough harm for pollution. 
Oh, that's a healthy amount of coal. Good. These guys are going to need to be running for a good long time, so... Fill her up, buttercup. Uh, still not particularly thrilled at throwing a huge amount into these guys. There we go. Right, fill up the coal, then we go on the offence. Waiting until after the train rush is understandable, but a lazy bastard run, you need to machine build everything anyway. Yep. The train rush is very stressful. I think I'll take down the southern nest first. It's the smaller and easier one to do. Alright, I'm going to have to assume that that's enough. 15 guns, that's probably overkill, all things considered. So I know I need more sprockets. In you go for the sprockets. In you go for the... Why the heck are they here? That's a little concerning. Where did they come from to get here? Did they take, like, this route? Or are you from these guys? Uh, both are plausible answers. And deeply concerning. Take that, just in case another one rears its ugly head. I, however, need to go on the offense. Ugh, at night time. Not a good idea. Got him out. Is that them all gone? Yes it is, thank goodness. Boy, that was worse than the ammo than I imagined. Uh, don't worry about the worm, the worm can't do anything. He just sits there and drinks up the pollution like a chump. While I'm here though, Coal rocks. There are three, and I'll take them. Oh, I know, Alpha. You think I don't know the expense? The 40 plates that go into each of these... What is it, 40 or 50? The 50 plates that go into each of those. That's 100 plates down the drain. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that seems to be it. Wait, there's a bunch of ammo just lying on the ground somewhere. Apparently. I must have just dropped some ammo somewhere where... Shoot, I can't see it. Oh, now I can. I could make myself a little one of these things, which is whitelisted only for... Uh... Oh god, it's not showing... Items on ground, perhaps? Ah, here we go. When I was loading up my guns, I must have missed and hit the ground in some places. Even so, that's not a whole lot of ammo to be walking away with. And it's a bunch of stuff I need to repair as well. That didn't go well. I went the opposite of well. I went well. At least once these two things are gone, I can focus more on doing science. And I really need to focus on science, and soon. Why are these all off? Oh, nice! They actually filled up on production while I was gone. Desperate need for ammo. Uh oh. Oh boy, look at their numbers! That and my guns are out of ammo. Ooh, that's expensive. Oh, 
Oh my days. Yeah, this place really needs to go. Uh, while we're at it, you think you could make me some repair packs? I got some busted out stuff here. Half time for... I am well aware of the timers, okay? There's a lot of horrible, stressful stuff happening here. I need to... I need to get going and, and now, pretty much. I'm just not sure 41 rounds is going to be enough. Alright, maybe 300 and something will be better. Do I have the makings for a few more guns while the going is good? They'll be queuing up for another attack. Oh god, they are. Look at that! <laughs> You know, I might as well just have them right next to each other. It's not like there are spitters area of effect attacks to worry about. Just keep me safe a little bit longer, crappy guns. And maybe another batch. Keep you going for a good while longer. Whew. Well, Mare Beast wants to get behind this attempt, but I gotta say, this uh, this uh, other bit to clear out is a big ask. A tall order. Alright, well, hopefully 12 guns and 200-odd uh, ammunition will be enough. But I need to I need to clear these things. Oh my god, a grenade would make all the difference in the world here. Gotta come with me. Well, that ain't good. Ooh, well, that ain't good at all. However, that was a good number of them taken out. The bases, I think. There's only four bases left. A few more guns should be able to take care of that. Ugh, oh, but that really chunked through my ammo and, well, my everything, really. Boy, this is taking so much time. <laughs> I don't have this time.
Now this last bit I could probably take out with a shotgun, but I didn't do my uh, my military, did I? I've been doing research at all for ages. It's just been defense of the realm and nothing but. And it just oh god, I'm out of plates. Uh, out of um, well, out of everything there, surely. I don't know where people think I have the time to be concerned with belts and buffers and things. I gotta protect my bleeding base here. Proactively. Alright, I've only got five of these auto guns. That's not nearly good enough. Maybe I should have made some armor. It certainly helped me out a little bit. There we go. That'll have to be my lot. Some of this to be made in my absence. I've got my armor on. And after this, it is balls to the wall on making an actual, uh, actual scientific setup. Right, come on then. I've had it with you guys. It's the fallback line. Thank you kindly, and now you are, I guess, either distraction or something. All right, good enough. Nothing but worms left. Whew, okay. Well, that was grim, but it's done. Now, science. So much science needed. You just stick here for any stragglers that may come by. So much science needed. There is no time, absolutely no time. If there was ever any thought about there being time, it was all a lie, because there is no time. Right, what do I do? What do I do? Um, part of me says set up a very basic little shop for making goods. Another part of me says just bulk produce them in a whole lot of assemblers. Truthfully, I don't know which is the better idea. Because, I mean, I need, I need the stuff yesterday. Mm, we've only got 40 minutes and a hell of a lot of science to do in that time. Uh-oh. Well, whatever I do, I'm probably going to be attracting some attention from down there as well. This pollution is spreading so much more than I had thought. Well... I must get on track like a pro, no getting around it, so I will need steel. I will need logistics too. And... what's the other one again? We're getting on track like a pro. Yeah, deserts are brutal for the spread of pollution like that, aren't they? Oh god, you do need regular logistics, so how about that? But you also need logistics too. And engine. Engine comes first, because that thing I can actually make to help with uh, the other stuff. There we go. Six simple researches, except this one is not simple, and neither is that one. But to a lesser degree, neither are you, Logistical Science Pack 1. What do I do, though? I need a bunch of things. I need inserters, I need uh, more assemblers. I hope I don't need more power, but I might need more power. 
Well, one thing I'm certainly going to need are a whole load of chips. I'm going to need a whole load, well, a bunch of you at least. I'm going to need an arse load of sprockets. Always do, always have. You continue making yourselves. Are we doing on coal? Actually, we're doing alright on coal, thank god, because I can't really support the time. Oh, I know it's insane, but we've got to get it done. There's no two ways about it. Just get me the goods that I need. And, 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 and. God, I don't know if it's even worth setting up a little production mall for this kind of stuff. Maybe I should just bulk produce it. I'm going to be here anyway. Just make a load of sprockets, a load of the other things, and just shove them into assemblers dedicated for it. Mm, probably Urkran, but maybe another seed. This seed looked so good, but that start was just so brutal. That was a huge nest nearby. If it were a smaller nest, I could have gotten away much cheaper by just making a shotgun and gunning it down. But the sheer number of worms made that uh, unfeasible in my book. Right. People hate my uh, hand-fed assembler routine, but I think it's the only way to get enough bulk stuff done for the science. So, they're just gonna have to learn to hate. Ooh, well, that doesn't look good at all now, does it? God, I wonder if I even have the production enough to keep this going. Right, give me a whole heap of sprockets. Give me a whole heap of this stuff moved down a touch. I'm also going to need a bunch of labs. What do I need for a laboratory? I need a bunch of stuff, but not least of all, transport belts. Going to need plenty of those. Also going to need a whole heap of inserters where I'm going. Let's just get those going. And I'm going to need a whole bunch of red science done. Where are my sprockets at? More sprockets, more better. It's kind of amusing how much this really aggravates people, but hey-ho. Alright, 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 come on. 50, 50, 50. Pretty much 50. Uh, who cares about the precision? Right. How are we doing on labs? Not amazing. No time for even considering how we nicely set these up. Get in and get researching. As long as the um, as long as the assemblers eat up everything we produce, then we're not necessarily being inefficient now, are we? At least not in that regard. But boy, do I need a ton of iron for everything except science. Hand feeding is fine. <laughs> Funny. I'm starting to think I want more drills for more iron. But I can also get my burst production iron out like this. I'll also want to go on a bit of a coal run shortly.
All those hundreds of plates lost in the field of battle. Oh, it hurts. I will need more labs down the line. That much is a given. So you can just take the rest of those. Right, quick coal run. Hopefully the last one I have to do before we get all of the science done. As long as you're hand feeding your smelters 30 minutes in, you're doing fine. I kind of am. Alright, give me that coal. I'm gonna max feed all of my uh, all of my furnaces here and then shut the rest over for power in the mad hope that I never have to worry about any of that again. Maybe not full feed these, just half stack those ones. The rest of these go over to my beloved boiler. No gambling? No, because I can't resolve the gambling fast enough. I'm not getting this done in one shot. Heaven help me, not happening. Uh, am I going to run out of power? Ye probably. Probably. Hope nobody comes and attacks out from the back. There'll be a lot of resources to lose. No, it's not a test run. This is being run for real. Or are you trying to make some kind of comment about my performance here? It wasn't easy. There were a lot of bugs. I need to stop seeing all these invisible enemies. Alright, make me a whole load of these. And it is low power. Uh, that is just nasty. Uh, okay, well I need another boiler then. And I need another... Two engines, please. One, two. And I already have an extra burner inserter, so in a way that kind of works out. Get to work. I'm going to need those. Shouldn't need those so much. I'll have some backup laboratories. At least they don't use any power while they're idling. Increase my power output. Hopefully three will be enough. Gotta be hopeful. Uh, let me think. You go there, you go there. Give me all of that. Shove it all in there. Make these guys' lives a little easier. There we go. Hopefully that's enough power to see me through. Yeah, the 8-hour rocket does indeed take longer than 8 hours. It's true. Okay, how are you guys doing? Fine, Rooney. Um, thinking about it, I need... 100, 200, 300, 400. About 500 red science. So if these are just all completely full, that's a good start. So that's assuming that I have all of the uh, iron that I need for my sprockets. I never have all the iron I need for my sprockets. Why this game gotta be so iron hungry? Once logistical science packs it on, I'm gonna be moving over to making greens over here and then just making damn near everything I can. greens. Now. Now, now, now. 50, 50, 50, 50. 25, 25, 25, 25. Get to work. Everything is just sorely 
dependent on iron right now. Do I even have the iron output to manage this? At least once I ha once I get this train on the track, I'm in a relatively good position. Uh, that looks like a small nest, easy to blast apart. That does not. At least the north seems like it should be okay. There are all these uh, forests in the way. Boy, yeah, man, that desert just... <laughs> this is a lovely forested greenery. The pollution doesn't travel far. Horrible desert with its 0 0.2 pollution per minute absorption. Not so nice. Yeah, I mean, th this square here absorbs 8.3 pollution per minute. This square here absorbs 0 0.21 per minute. Nasty. Maybe I should uh, stop taking desert, stat, uh, desert starts. See, I get flack for the time that I'm wasting in hand-feeding, say, for example, the science into the... Uh, into the science labs. What time exactly am I wasting? Like, what else would I be doing with that time? Although right now what I'm doing is extracting excessive ore and shoving it into other smelters, which, yes, I appreciate if I'd set up some belts and a nice smelter, this would all be taken care of automagically. With what resources do I do that? Because I'm currently in a mad rush for my science. And now, regrettably, we've gotten to the part where no greens, no win. Building more miners. Yeah, that's an idea. I would quite like some more miners. Not sure if I can really afford the everything for that, since, you know, all of my everything is being used up by my mad dash for science. This is pretty pitiful. I'm not sure we're going to get this one done in time. A severe lack of assemblers here. Can't really make any more though. I lack the everything. Ooh, oof, something else I need to remember is making myself a bunch of steel. and grab some extra coal for that. Come to me. It's a healthy amount of coal. That's right, among all these other things that are grubbing for my iron, I do also need some steel. 20, something, no, 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 whatever. Just take that. Probably more than I needed, but... Ain't no time for thinking, only time for doing. Five science or so right there, but again, I need more iron. Good 
<laughs> the vigorous debates in chat about what best to spend the time on here. Well, not having wasted like half an hour on dealing with the initial biters would have been a pretty grand slam idea. But my options were few. They had to go. Look at the, the constant massive attacks coming on me and my pollution is only getting worse. Like, I don't know what else I could have done. Them flowing. More inserters needed. How are you guys doing? Uh, some of you out of sprockets. Tragic lack of sprockets. Right, I think I need to consolidate all of this down into one little area just to make sure I have everything I need here. What do you think, chat? Are we getting on track like a pro today? You know what? Despite how awful it must look right now, I'm thinking we will. I think I made way too much steel. Uh, however, best to not be too unsure about these things. I will need some pipes, which is another cost of bleeding iron. Um, you have the right state of mind for it. Wow. Some people really have a way with words. Can't believe that coal is getting consumed as quickly as it is. Bearing in mind, I only made it with about three minutes to spare last time. Didn't realize it for a while, but I actually numbered up my burst force furnaces to just the right number. Anyway, did I get any bleeding iron out of that? There, go and make me those pipes. I need them. I forget how many engines I need for the locomotive. I feel like it's 20. It is 20. <laughs> That's a lot of engines. But you don't need me to tell you that. Right, how are you guys doing? As usual, low on inserters. Not low on transport belts, but those are the easier of the two things to make. Right, come on science, gotta keep moving. This is a big one. Actually, it is the big one. Logistics 2 is the biggest hurdle for getting on track like a pro. It is the slowest of all the sciences on the way there. And it's the most expensive. Twice the cost of engines, and engines cost 100 of each science. It's quite brutal. More sprockets are needed, meaning more iron is needed. You know, let's take a break to fix this thing. Looks bad in the inventory. Huzzah! Alright, at least the steel numbers look good. Coppered up. I also need sprockets, sadly. <laughs> As if hand feeding them minute amounts of sprockets is going to make much of a difference. Oh, but look at that logistics two going! I know people are disgusted by this kind of hand fed setup. But hey, if you'd set up your really nicely made belted mall smelter assembly unit, do you think you'd get this done in time? That stuff takes time. And it takes the ingredients that we need to make this science go around to begin with. This is why I want to see someone else do this. I'm only doing this run because I want to see it done. If someone else just did this and it was a satisfying thing to watch, I wouldn't be... Flagating? Flagating? Whatever the word is, myself over this. Flagellating? Flagellants flagellate, so I guess that's the right word. The crappy sacred units from Dominions 5.
Okay, we almost have the 20 engines, which is good. I will need a little, little bit of iron rails for it. I don't know exactly how many. How much is needed in a single bit of rail? One. And I just got four. Oh, I need four. I've already got the stones, so that should be fine. How the world could you be out of that? Uh, that was a bad idea. But you maybe could be the one that I switch over to those. You go there. You tell me where you're hurting, and I'll make the hurt go away. Are pre-made blueprints allowed? They certainly are allowed, but I'm not using pre-made blueprints for this. I want this to be my factory, not someone else's. I've been told to go and look at uh, speedrun setups for factories. Someone was telling me off for using a main bus. That's how I want to build my factory. Now, I do want to win, but... I don't want to just look in someone else's factory and go, do that. Just copy and paste. Especially since I'm using a pre-made seed, I could make a pre-made factory. It would strip the fun out of it. And I'm not here just to do this as some kind of glorious crowning achievement. That'll surely come naturally. I want to do this because, God forbid, I have fun with Factoria. 18 minutes left? You know what? I think we're in the money here. We're almost done with the most expensive science there is to get along the way. And despite the invisible voices telling me how god-awful my, uh, my hand-fed setup is, it appears to be working. Also, lest we forget, if you expanded production here, you would definitely be annoying these biters. In fact, I am definitely annoying these biters. Uh, I am absolutely annoying these biters. Whoa, rot row raggy. Got to stop dropping my ammo on the ground. Bad, bad thing to do. What's your problem? Sprockets. It's always sprockets. Alright, goody goody. We're practically there. I do have exactly 20 engines. Made to freaking measure. By the way, I want 8 more. There we go. I want eight more so I can make a car. Because I do believe it's important to uh, go and observe the surrounding area. Even does some nice stuff under the hood. It creates more chunks of the biters to expand into. Red Science is struggling. Alright, we have not only gotten on track like a pro, but we've actually done it faster than the previous attempt. Then again... The previous attempt was the slowest I have ever gotten on track like a pro, with a measly three minutes to spare. This one I should have more than ten. Alright. You think this is the fastest? I don't know, like my first getting on track like a pro I thought was pretty damn fast. Of course, it came at the expense of everything else. Okay, see, the railway's only 75. That's child's play. We need a whole lot of transport belts for where we're going, but... It might be that once I do this, I go and maybe make a bit of black science and torch these two bases and then explore a bit and then just start properly building up a base what's it going to take to go grenades actually are grenades black? yeah of course grenades are black sites right no no grenades aren't even black sites why did i think they were 
I need black sites for flamers, sure, but I should still do military too. Um, I don't even have military one, what a disaster. Anyway, get grenades and wipe out those uh, bases. Maybe even have some heavy armor to help me out with it. And then... Mm, yeah, wipe them out and then set up a proper base and try and keep in mind the limits of our... Uh, of how much pollution we could do. It's another 100 science to get the car, but I do firmly believe in the car. And hey, I've made the engine units that I need for it. I have 28 engines. God damn, it's almost like he knows what he's doing. How can this be? Everyone's watching this guy thinking, ah, oh, what's he doing? All this hand feeding, where's his main bus? But... I'm afraid I am intellectually and morally superior. <laughs> All you could do is try and hurt me. Even when I'm dead, my grave itself will fight against you. Uh-oh. I did not arm those guys for war. But I think that was an attack from there. Anyway, they seem to they seem to have managed. Okay, it's time. Or is it? Did I actually consider that I needed steel and... No, I got the steel. Alright. Alright, make me that engine, please. Out of these circuits that I have, of course. Yeah. And while we're at it, I need some rails. One, two, three, four should suffice. What sad, sorry place is going to have our train? It can look over us from here. And we are on track. Uh, I better save before we do this. Death World Attempt. So this is uh, Death World 100 Run 04 Part 01 Got Lap. With 14 and a half minutes to go, boom. Now you try that at home. Ah, yeah, all you need is the train on the tracks and you've got it. Okay, 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 okay. That was the first big hurdle taken care of. Massively scary um, biters up there, but we're not done yet. So much as I would love to massively increase production, and I will, I absolutely... Oh, thank you, Murbeast! Glad someone's actually appreciating what I'm getting done here. Although I have never failed Gotlap yet, it is still very hard and intimidating to do. Almost as hard and intimidating as the pollution spread in this um, desert. I need to see to that. So we're going to do this next batch of uh, research, although I hate to keep doing the hand feeding. It's not a lot of research. Uh, make a stack of grenades, get in a car, and go and blow these places up whilst exploring. And then we're going to come back and just make a proper factory. Uh, the way this is set up, this looks like a natural-ish, but I don't think it was cliffs, but... Should be able to fit a smelter array here, onto a main bus here. It'll be serviced up and down. The water locations don't seem too bad if the center of my bus is here. Eh, not, much too, not too much getting in the way. Uh, yeah, that's how we're going to proceed, and I shall proceed after a swift water break. Too much stress. Thanks, Baron. With 20 Twitch cents, I can finally retire. Okay. Wait, retire from what? I don't even work. Recht. I have actually faced uh, some flack for my decision to make a car and go exploring early on. Something, something, waste of time and science. But I actually think it's quite important. You're uncovering a lot of chunks. You are seeing uh, the enemy bases, so you're not going to accidentally pollute yourself to death. Because until I have a wall and flamers and all that, and that's a lot of work away. Not just, uh, not just putting up the wall and the flamers, but also researching and constructing them. It's a hell of a lot of work. Um, yeah, but until then, I need to make sure that I'm not digging my own grave here. The north shouldn't be too much of a worry, but I have got a large area to defend in the south. I need to wall from here to here, and then out here to here. And yeah, flamers are the only reasonable way forward. Mm okay, so what do I do now? 
Do I continue by hand feeding charade? Because it's not very scalable. I went back and checked the first run. You had 810 left. You're practically twice as fast. Twice as fast. Wait, 810 left? I got that done 10 minutes faster than last time. But I think my infrastructure is a bit worse because I don't have automated nice things being made for me. Okay. Uh, these guys are okay-ish. These guys are not. And that should do you for now. Give me those. Science isn't even moving. This, this feed, now that feeding is costly. All right. And so very unnecessary. But it's just to get these techs. You know, just one more tech, I swear. And then we're good to go. Heavy armor needs some steel, which I do almost have, but not quite. Nice, these guys are filling up. Let me just make sure I have plenty of steel for where I'm going. There's always just one tech more. Yeah, but after automobile is... Well, I do want the toolbox as well, to be fair. No, that's not necessary. Only do what's strictly necessary right now. But there are a lot of techs that I need. <sighs> hmm... I think last time I ran, I went all the way down to fluid processing. Because I wanted everything I needed to get my flamethrowers operational, even with my crummy little hand-fed bit here. But it might be better to go on the offense and kill everyone that gets in my way first so that I can focus on making a proper smelter array, folding it into a bus, and then setting up my proper defenses. The main thing is I need to not worry about my current pollution spread. So, but I think some heavy armor and grenades will help out massively there. Can you guys just not be doing any of that? Uh, you guys get all of that that you need. You folks all need to make me grenades. And they are expensive to make in a lot of ways. It's going to need more, yeah, well, another blast load of iron, please. This is time consuming. This is a good argument for making a smelter array faster. I do like the way it all sets up, though. Right, you there. I wanted some heavy armor, please. Just one will do. And you folks, grenades, please. They take a while to make, so I will be waiting a wee chunk on that. A little bit more red science. And I suppose some greens. Uh, heavy armor goes on. Little crummy light armor just gets chucked unceremoniously next to our train. You guys are actually still going with the science, that's good. You guys are not really. There we go, just get moving. Wow, I got a lot of green science. Hats off to me for my glorious performance at that, at least. Right, grenades. You always need more than you think you need. These guys are stopped completely, I'm sure, because I've got so much coal. Let's do another coal run, so we all enjoy those. Oh man, I'm really looking forward to have something that resembles a proper factory soon. Uh, I might need a bit more than that, actually. Yeah, you know what, let's just completely fill up on coal. I'll restock all of my boilers, and I think I will actually automate their extraction. 
Especially since I'm going to be away from the, uh, dare I say, base for a wee while. Which means I'll need some of those inserters. You don't mind, do you? My god damn it. Inserters! Give me those. Just set up the uh, the boxes first, but it doesn't really matter so much. Hmm? Get out of here. Why didn't I set these up ages ago? It's so much nicer than dipping my hands straight into the furnaces. There we go. Give them a little less work to do for a change. I'm going to make sure that my boilers are all kept up to date, and then it's time to go out on a murder patrol, actually. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, reason I was coming past here was to make sure those grenades are being made. I know they're slow to make. But I need them. Badly. Still not a belt in sight. I'm going beltless, of course. Factorio guy can carry a whole load of stuff. Why make him... Why make him take the easy way out? It's not like we're playing some laziness-oriented way. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, good. Good gravy. There we go. Glad that power held out. Pollution, are you being absorbed? Yes. I'm actually killing trees with my pollution. Are there any low-hanging fruits? Oh god, I need walls. Yeah, I'm gonna need walls. I, la I slacked on that for too long previous. Alright, but there should already be the science in there to get me my bleeding walls. Well, that took no time at all. Right, there's one thing I don't need right now. It's even more science being done. I need to focus on killing, coming back, and then setting up a proper base. So for that, I need a car. You there, make me one car, please. What do you mean you need iron for that? What do you mean I don't have iron for that? I'm also going to need coal for that, as it happens. Speaking of coal, I need even more for my grenades. You might think this is overkill with grenades, but I don't. And I'm right. You know, I just made that car and I didn't even think to drive it over here. What a foolish thing. Wow, there have been quite a lot of bugs over there. And I haven't left much ammo for you. There you go. And it has been a steady trickle of bugs as well. I should look at it. I didn't, like, leave a base here, did I? That's a worm for sure. Bases are much larger. But there has just been this steady trickle into the worm somme. Oh, there's not a base right there. They could have had an expansion, perhaps two expansions by now. Hmm. You know, I was still racing towards getting on track like a pro in my previous run at this time. Fills me with some complex feelings. Alright, that should be good to go for all of you. Right, do we go exploring now? I think we do. Part 2. Explore. So, am I thinking this through properly? We leave these things going, they're extracting their goods. Uh, probably go north first, then circle down and just see where I need to draw the wall. Then I come back and I set up a proper base. Ugh. Proper, huh? The pollution output's going to be even worse, you know. Mm. Alright, well, come on car. There's the car. 
There's the ammo that you deserve. Here's the fuel you deserve. Let's go, go. I'm still at the point where if they tore down my boiler, I wouldn't be able to bounce back from that. Also, even, even if I find some delicious coal rocks, now is not the time. I wish this zoomed out a bit more. I think it was you, Alpha, that said this is a waste of time, this driving around. I disagree so much on that. But I'm the one doing the run. <laughs> You're not. So... You want to disagree, do your own run with no exploring. To me, it's important to know where these buggy bastards are. I don't need to leak behind that, right? If I'm polluting there, then I already know enough. I know that my pollution has reached threat, and I must defend at this location. God, there's a lot of open space here. That's not good. Pollution just pours over empty space. It's the trees. The trees are the big blockers for pollution. Gotta be careful, though, if I run into an enemy base here. Escape could prove difficult. Oh, there's an enemy base right here. Do I want to destroy that base? That depends on how far my pollution is spreading. The answer is maybe. It's big, though. Really freakishly big. I don't like that. It was hard enough to take out the base that I did take out. Hello, I think we found where our trickle feed is coming in from. Yeah, wow, you are bigger than I thought. You're kind of scary in a way. Uh, do we take you on? We got our heavy armor on. Why would we worry about anything? Well, there are a lot of them, though. Big juicy grenade! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Oh no! Oh god, no. Misclicked and didn't eat my fish. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's pretty bad. I mean, on the plus side, I can get everything back if I just mine out my body. That's difficult, because you want to keep dodging the acid splashes, but you also need to alternate between fish and grenades for healing. So one misclick, and in this, in this case I clicked E instead of god knows what else. I think I was fat fingering two and three. And that was one dead engineer. Uh, well, I don't actually think I'm going to get my body back in time. I might just reload. Where's my corpse, anyway? Is that it there? Oh, there I am. Oh, golly gosh. Well, that calls for a... Uh, pretending that never happened. It's okay, people that flick through the VOD in the future, they won't even notice. Don't. good. Get off of me, you bums. And now I beat the crap out of you and your home with my bare hand. That was expensive. Compare that to just using a shotgun. Maybe I should have just used a shotgun. Ah, oh, well. I did take out one of the things that I was polluting, though. 
Uh, the worm doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is taking out the alien bases, or the worm bases rather. The worms don't consume pollution and they don't send out attacks. You, there's a tiny little, tiny little batch there. Might actually go and take care of you. Okay. Not exactly the most efficient use of my ammo, but it's done. Now, oh god, there was another base right there. That might not have been worth it. Uh, still, we did it. Little Johnny's. I can see someone enjoys a certain Dutchman's content. What is it with the Dutch and being online? Why haven't they been taught better? Right. You know, maybe this car will appreciate having more ammo in it. Certainly going to be more appreciated than having this ammo inside my incredibly crappy handgun. Oh, hello. I must be polluting this because they are gearing up for an attack already. Squish. Not super confident about that. My poor car ain't so great for these things. I should go back and uh, take care of production. And make sure that those are uh, those grenades of mine are still being made. Well, I want even more of them actually. Do you love me some grenades? I just thought grenades did do a pretty good job of just wiping those buggers out. It just takes a bit. Takes a bit of TLC. It's tender love and care. Alright, another 64 of them can't be wrong. Yeah, it disgusts me how well that pollution is spreading. Well, even up north, it's dangerously close to that nest. I've got my work cut out for me, defending this whole place. Need a whole heap of wall where I'm going. It's kind of tempting to set up the automation for wall right now before I even go away, but... There's a lot of things I'd like to set up. Okay, nasty buggy base is here. What about around here? Colliding with cliffs, strangely enough, doesn't hurt your car at all. I figured maybe if they're adding Z levels to the new expansion, they could have you doing sick jumps off of those cliffs. That's not really a thought I had. It's just, we know the bugs are here, we'll just keep our distance. This would be a great time to have a belted science setup so you could research while exploring. Yeah, but all that would cost more pollution, and the point of this is to make sure that my pollution isn't going to be causing ongoing attacks on my base. Because the size of the attacks on this is more than we can handle. Wow, this is one big gaping void. I mean, we saw it on the preview that there was not a lot going on in this desert. The downside, of course, is that whether or not there's a lot going on, pollution spreads like a mad thing. So the lack of trees here means the pollution's just going to have no problem at all. Going from one chunk to another and polluting these enemy bases. 
All right, we've got a good idea of what we're dealing with. Here's our pollution spread. Ugh, there's not a lot of leeway on any of that. In fact... <coughs> I'm not sure... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure there's anything to be gained from wiping out any of these bases. It, it won't functionally get me any more space. I just need to wall this off ASAP. <clears throat> oh man, damn, look at how it doesn't spread up here and I was just blanketing the desert. Right, so, what's the logical thing to do? The logical thing to do is have a drink with my throat today. Okay, there we go. The oil is right here, and there's a lot of oil, so that's that's something that's going well for us. I think I need to immediately automate a whole lot of stone and wall production. Wall this off. No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, I need to set up a... What's evolution at? Uh, that'll answer a few questions for me. There. Slash evolution. Oof, oof, oof. It's almost in Mejim Biterville. That's a bad place to be. Okay, I will set up two pillboxes, probably here and here. I will rig them up with plenty of ammunition and maybe some walls rather than just ovens. And I will just leave them be whilst I set up a proper smelter array here. Yeah. Then it's going to output. I'm going to automate green and red science. That's going to get me all the way down to oil. During that time, I will mass produce, or mass produce, I will produce um, walls and bricks. And then hopefully, by the time that I have fluid handling, I'll also have the walls to just set up a defense. Those pillboxes are going to have to hold till then. All right, that's what we're doing. Let's go for it. Where are all my auto guns? Did they all die? Because I'm going to need more of those. All right, all right, that's quite a lot of things that I need. I need miners, I need assemblers, I need... I, I hate to say it, but I will need belts. Right. Which, of course, is going to need sprockets aplenty. I can take all these back. Grenades are now a self-defense tool. You need a list. I made a list last time and it still failed me. I'm willing to admit I might have a little too much in the way of cotton plate right now. Enough of you science nerds. Uh, I'm also going to need yet more of you, and yet more of you. Okay, maybe I did need that copper. You didn't check it twice. I checked it a sufficient number of times. It just wasn't a good enough list. Okay, so I need miners. Miners need sprockets and everything else. And I need some assembly machines, but I shouldn't need too many of those. Okay, well, I'll take it back. I really didn't need these copper plates.
Get damage to upgrade or two. Mm, I'd rather not. Uh, I don't think it's worth it, and it's quite a lot of research to do that. Uh, here we go. Projectile only increases by 20%. That's one point of damage for 100 science. Another one point of damage for 200 of both science. Yeah, I'm not buying it. Uh, it's it's oil and flamethrowers or nothing. And then the game obliges me with the or nothing part. Alright, that should be enough-ish to get going with my setup here. Oh, we've even got belts. Belts! Imagine! Oh lord! Right. Grenades, save me. Boom! God, grenades are good. Okay, we really are doing a bit of pollution around here, and it's only going to get worse. Okay, um, let's think about stone setup. Okay, I've thought about it. Have I thought about it enough? Maybe not. Um, um, Operation Disgust Kalpa in full effect. Okay, it was just a just a wee bugger. Uh, some coal where I'm going. Some chests. Ooh, I didn't bring enough chests. Do I have wood on me? Mm, what do you mean, no? Should be wood everywhere. Well, at least brought an assembler with me. Yoink. Oh, I did have wood. Just missed it, obviously. Okay, man, that, that is going to be a growing problem for me. I need better defense. Right, one thing I also would quite like is something like this. Hey, can you do something else for me? I'd like some underground belts, please. And maybe a splitter or two. Uh, no electric jiggly bits. Okay, well, never mind then. I'd love to do. There's no time. Actually, I might be able to do something like that. Into an assembler that makes me some walls. Outputs back to uh, out to you. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Look at that automation. Look at that. They are coal automatically fed. They stockpile the stones that I'm going to need. And they're making me walls. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I'd love to do for now. I would like a cleaner setup, but. That should get us going with a bare minimum. Uh, I might need some of this. Uh, some of this. I'll bring it back to the base.
but uh, though those attacks are ramping up. Another thing I'm going to need are some more gun turrets, regrettably. I do regret that. I hate my reliance on gunning them down, but there's not much I can do about this. So I think four, a, a pillbox here and a pillbox here should be able to deal with everything that comes my way. Whilst I deal with everything else. Just because you're going to need quite a lot of stuff. It's going to need ammo, it's going to need the guns itself. Well, better get to work regarding that. Basic defense, then I set up a proper smelter array, and then we get going, don't we? Yes, we do. Till then, this seems to be doing all right for itself. We'll make sure that everyone is still powered up in terms of fuel. Get out of your excessive science. <laughs> I almost accidentally bombed my own... Tell you what, can you move over there please? Almost bombed my own car by switching over to grenades there. I think the boilers are under threat? I don't think the boilers are under threat. They don't pollute anybody who has that as a natural path over to them. Although I will move my boilers over here so that they're not a uh, they're not really a target. Which means I'm gonna need some pipe work. Where did I say I'd build my power array? Was it here? Probably there. Makes a bit of sense. Also means I need pipes. Why do I need everything all the time? Alright. Pipes, please. More sprockets, please. More of uh, more of the chips, because I ran out of those. Gonna need more ovens. I'm gonna need more raw stones for ovens, actually. I'm really low on those. Belts do not pollute, no. You ran back and forth between coal and base with 1,000 belts in the inventory, shaking my head. Well, I will, of course, belt the coal, but I have more important things to do right now. If I'd wasted that time belting the coal, I would have all had all these things not working. And where would I meaningfully belt my coal to anyway? I want to move my power plant. Yeah, move my power plant over here. Automate the coal to feed it. Although I want this to be my smelter array, don't I? So how's the coal going to belt over there? Maybe up and around the side. Boom, boom. But there are a lot of trees over there. Trees I don't want to get in the way of. Uh, maybe just along and up here. There won't be that many belts to get in the way of me. Dum, 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 dum. Mm. Well, whatever I do with it, I can quickly change easily enough. I need to get that water in the boiler array over here. And I still need to work on my defense. Pillboxes should be a bigger priority than they are. How are you guys all looking? Not great. Ooh. Boy, this is such an awkward moment. Although the pressure of getting the train on the tracks is off, it's every new pressure is now, uh, has now arrived. Got a good amount of inserters, a reasonable-ish amount of belts. You guys are coming along fine-ish. Got my guns. Alright, set up a couple of proper pillboxes then. And there should be a little bit of wall to work with now. So there will be spitters soon, so now I'm actually going to put a space between them. Oh yeah, I didn't make ammo, did I? How much ammo do I have? No. I have no ammo. And ammo costs a lot of plates. A hell of a lot of plates. Well, ammo is a necessity, and before anyone says, Ooh, use, uh, use red ammo. Absolutely not. 
Red ammo is so expensive. Probably going to want pipe to ground here. Which is also expensive. Everything's so expensive. What is the challenge? Someone explain. I need to launch a rocket within eight hours. I've currently spent one hour and 42 minutes. Need a factory to produce goods to produce the rocket. But there's a lot of science that needs to be uh, produced for that as well. Pillbox there, pillbox there. Grab the stones. Need to set up proper stone mining as well. Hope my power is holding. My power is indeed holding. Gonna need ammo for those pillboxes that 90 something is gonna have to do for now. Where's my car? It's over there. I need to stop wandering around without that car. I'm gonna get these out of my face for now. I need the stone and they're only gonna be in my way. Oh good lord, we haven't streamed Frostpunk in years now. Literal years. 31 wall and 30 wall. It's not a lot, but it's enough to make a pillbox. Pillbox being on higher ground like this is going to disrupt the enemy's uh, path on getting to me, so that seems like a sensible thing to do. Not so much the spitters, but the spitters can go do one. They're not on the map yet, although they will be real soon. That is probably not enough for you, but oh well. There we go. Hopefully that attracts the attention of anything coming this way. If they ignore this and just go straight for my... Um, they go straight for my miners, I'm going to be very, very unhappy about that. At this point, everything's expensive to replace. Alright, just make sure you keep those walls coming my way. It's slow, but at least it's automated. And then there's you. Again. I'm leaving a gap between the guns and the walls so that uh, splash damage doesn't hurt quite so badly. Right, it's up to you to keep me safe. Pillbox there. Okay, I'm pretty sure I put down four guns there. Pillbox, pillbox. If I move this over here... I hope to god you don't start getting polluted. Ooh, it's really close though. This is the chunk. If it pollutes this chunk, they're going to start attacking there forever. Or from there forever. There's only so much all these trees can do, and a bunch of these trees are dying because I'm over-polluting them. If pollution is in a chunk is over 60, you will kill the trees, like these poor buggers. They weren't dead when I arrived, but I killed them. And then once they're dead, they don't pollute, they don't absorb as much pollution. If they have no leaves left, they'll absorb, I believe, zero pollution. Right, do I migrate over my power or do I do something else? I'll migrate over my power. It's too vulnerable over there, and if that thing dies, that's a uh, horrible thing for me. Still need more, more ammo. More everything. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm fool. How can this be? Maybe I really do want that tool belt. Do I have the science for that? Absolutely not. Waste of time. Waste of uh, power as well. Alright, how many pipe to grounds do I have? It doesn't matter, I'm fool. Uh, right, well, you guys get off of me. I got 20. That should be enough to get us over here. Over from there, at least. Okay. Could I so kindly get my hands on another one of you? Yoink. Uh, you know what? Make me a few more of those. I'll have pipes to ground. 
I bought Ixion after Jake's rave review. I really enjoyed it. Really? Man, I thought Ixion was a whole heap of garbage. And thankfully I've heard other people uh, feel the same way. No free play. I, I killed the game more than anything. Like I, the, the crappy story I didn't want to listen to. But I was marginally interested in the gameplay. But when I couldn't divorce the two, I was just like, well, I'm done here. Who are the developers again? I need to keep an eye out anything else they do. Not uh, an avoid it thing, but more of a be wary. Might be good if it seems like it's low on story and bigger on the gameplay. Right. Water. From this angle, maybe? Well, it's pretty easy to redirect, so it's no big deal. Oh, wow, I can't believe that made it up the cliff. Thank you, water pressure. Right, in here should be sufficient. Let's just grab what we already have and rearrange it. Is that right? That's 11 of them. There we go. 10 boilers. Good. That is what I want. Pretty swell setup. Um, where will the... Probably going to come up in this direction. Okay. I don't use blueprints, but... You know, it's this quick and easy to just plan everything out, so why would I not do that? Uh, I won't be doing the top. I won't need that much power for quite some time. Put these pipes in first so that everything else should slot in automatically. Now I need to make a whole heap of boilers. Mmm, a little low on ovens. That's what I get for using the oven defense so much. Boilers, you're quick and easy to make, right? Dead quick and easy. I should only really need seven of them. Six, seven, bang, and I need engines as well. Similarly quick and easy to make, but they do require sprockets. I'm aware that I just turned off my sprocket production big time. Still getting fooled. Boy, I really do want that uh, tool belt. <laughs> uh, anyway, take that. Five is not enough. In reality, I want rather a lot of you. Why am I hearing that so close by? Okay, well, thank God I set up that pillbox, eh? I didn't mean to sign too Canadian with that A. Uh, whoops, a doodle. I still need another... Let me think. How many do I have? I don't know, but... Uh, I have 15 in my inventory. I realistically need 20. There are already... How many down here? Six. Six? Oh, I've made one too many. Well, that's okay. Let's migrate. Well, why migrate before I have the automatic coal set up? I'll build what I have and then migrate the, left, uh, the rest over shortly. Ooh, 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 that doesn't work. That also didn't work. I put those in the wrong place. I think I reversed the... No, I didn't. I just shoved these things too far forward. Well, that's okay. There we go. Ish. Right, you're getting nowhere without some fuel. Let's just fire you up to begin with. I need to automate the coal coming over there, which is fine-ish. I still have no chips. Why no chips? Because no iron. Why no iron? Because I never have any space in my bleeding inventory. By the way, where I'm going, I definitely need some splitters, so can we please get going on those? Uh, where do I have some spare? Right, there we go. Splitters, please! Oof, that's a lot of you to have. 
need to ditch some stuff. Right, I don't currently need all of you. Oh man, there's so many things that I do need though. For one, I need a whole lot of ovens where I'm going. Right, let's link you up power-wise. At least power poles I do have. It's one of the problems with running Lazy Bastard. Just you, you never seem to have the items that you really want. I'm just going to shove those burners down there. No one's going to need those anytime soon. And now I should be able to migrate this over. Actually, no, no, we're not migrating until we automate the coal. Uh, do I have the miners to automate coal? Yes and no, mostly no. Why am I so short on miners? Because I'm short on iron. What a surprise. It's not a surprise, I'm being facetious. I gotta get a move on. Medium biters are gonna laugh at my uh, my guns here. I don't think I can handle someone laughing at my guns. Again, why am I why am I wandering around like a slouch? Take the car. Take the car and wonder why you're not automating stone production. You need stones. Right. Uh, I shouldn't need a huge amount of coal. So I'm just going to take pretty much what I have. Look at that coal. and just get belting. Ew, 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 no, 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 no. Admittedly, that's an efficient design, but I can't afford the underground belts right now. They are too hungry, too hungry for me to handle. I am not taking care of those hippos, not here, not today. But I will spare the expense of doing this, right? Yeah, of course I will. Um, Alright, good enough. Take it out. Bring it on back. I know, I know. What the hell is he doing? Don't need much, I just need a bit of stone. Um, but stone around here. Right, you. Make me a butt ton of stone. I'm gonna need that real soon, so get to work. Get to work hard. Am I polluting that northern base yet? Almost. Very almost. Uh, thankfully this square is free, so that's alright. By free I mean it doesn't have a nasty, um, nasty biter on it. Right, I'm gonna just drag you... Maybe along a little tighter here. Like as tight as I can do. Well, that's not very tight. Anyway, along here. Keeper to make power poles than it is to make underground belting. Uh, I brought you along too far. Sorry, soon to be dead forest. How much is the steel pickaxe? It's 50. 50 sides. Clearly, a mole would solve it. It's Anon Finn, so I know he's being facetious. Yeah, just set up a mole before you have any of this other stuff, right? A mole before you have automated power. Now, that's. That is madness. There we go. Consider power now automated. So now I can happily move this stuff over without using my car. Once again, I left my car behind somewhere.
Mm, I may or may not have space for all those... All those lovely bits of coal. I'll take what I can, though. You know, I could take the whole lot if I hadn't forgot my car, as usual. Okay. Yeah, I should probably hop... Why, uh, I mean, I've got to forget they're down there. That's the reason I don't do much um, tool belting or whatever you call this thing. I just forget they're there, so I don't end up using this. Let's go, Jake. You can do it. Can I? I suppose I can, but the real question is, will I? Will I do it? Will I am? All right, and I have one too many, so I'm just going to shove you over there. You'll act like a... Well, you won't, you won't act like anything. You're not connected to the power network. Anyway, power is automated and power is plentiful. Not bad. Get these damn bits of coal out of me. I suppose these, uh, these will oblige. Okay. Not terrible. What now? What in the world now? Would I feel happy if I pillboxed up my power? Kind of. It wouldn't be the end of the world to just set up a pillbox here. That way we're protected north and south and I'll feel a lot safer about polluting quite a bit. Do I have the wherewithal to do that? I got the guns, I got the walls. Alright, let's do it. How's evolution? Oh boy! 0 point, uh, 1 point, yeah, 0 0.18. Not too wonderful to see. Is this actually enough wall? Well, no. So let's defend the parts that matter. And whatever's left gets the oven defense. My favorite. And it gets a bit more because that stuff's easier to chew through. Okay, not too shabby. I feel relatively secure. The thing about biters is, even if they're wandering up here, they love to hone in on military objects. So they're probably going to go for this before anything else. Probably. I mean, sometimes the biters just defy all logic. It's possible it'll come up along here, though. Do I want another pillbox over there? I'm not sure, because I should generally be around to defend things if it goes hairy like that. Hmm. Okay, what's next, then? What in the world is next? I suppose we start on the smelter array. Which means maxing out my miners, belting it over to here, and setting up a proper array. Which does mean planning a lot of that. Fortunately, though, uh, I'm going to do another blast of iron because all of the stuff I'm about to make is pretty much made out of iron. This would be solved if I had advanced furnaces, the ones made out of steel. But we haven't researched anything in almost an hour now. Ugh. Not, not almost an hour, more like half an hour. And we've been spending our time doing absolutely vital things, so I'm not too begrudging of that. Did I actually grab all of the iron already? Good god. I really don't get a lot here, do I? I'm going to need more splitters, more undergrounds, but at least I have all the belts and the other things I need. I just need more bloody iron. Right, make me more of these. Make me more undergrounds. The smelter array is going to be quite underground heavy, I'm sure. Didn't you want to automate science before starting on the smelting journey? Mm, no, can't imagine why I would. Wait, didn't I? I feel like I said I did. But that generally comes after, doesn't it? It wouldn't be too difficult to automate the science. I mean, it's really just a case of throwing down some ingredients into assemblers and having them churn away. 
Might be a good use of time, but it's also costing resources. You know what? I will do that. Good thinking. Maybe. It's going to be very, 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 very simple. But getting some of the science done so that I'm, qu uh, I'm ready to go for fluid handling will probably be a good idea. But hang on, this is going to use resources that I have been talking about how badly I need them. Is this really a good idea? Maybe, but maybe not. Alright. <laughs> this really is using up a lot of stuff that I don't reasonably have to spare. Alright, get to work, you bums. What do I need? Oh, is this some sort of challenge run? When is it worthy to set up automated smelter? Uh, well, I'm trying to do it right now, but I've been distracted by the glorious promise of setting up some actual science. Anyway, I do need black science, that's a given. I need to work towards my uh, my beloved flamethrowers now, which means I need electronics, I need better automation handling, fluid processing, oil processing, I don't actually need plastics yet. Plastics are for modules. But if I get all of this done, which is about 200 green science, which I believe I've just set up, and a little bit, well, a little bit more. But once I have this, I'll be able to go flamethrower. However, flamethrower should be done first because it needs, uh, it needs to be built, and building flamethrowers takes time. Do 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 do. Sadly, that needs you, then you. Well, these are the sciences that I need in short order, at least. At least before Medium Biter starts coming along and kicking my butt. Mm. Oh well, that can chab a while whilst I do the other setup. Although that did eat up most of the things that I wanted to use for my aforementioned automation of smelting. Which, honestly, is something in a normal run you should have set up in about 10 minutes. Should I plan this area out now? Probably. This is the space that I want to use. Do I have the makings for it? Eh, kind of. I'll start over from the side and I'll see what there is to do. I still think this is largely getting in the way of it too much. Um, I want as much space as I can have here, so let's do something like this. Do I care about holding on to all this coal? Uh, yes and no, but I want the space. You may want to feed in the 200 green science you're carrying. That sounds like an advanced strategy that's a bit beyond me. That cliff made me hesitate on doing this earlier. I wish I'd done it earlier now, but that's what regret's all about. Now let's go. I need to clear this area out a bit. Grenades are faster. But then I don't get the juicy, juicy wood. And this wood is, you know, useful for power poles and stuff. It's also a shame to cut down these trees, because these trees also stop pollution. Well, they retard pollution, at least. As we can see, the pollution is just spreading over them with nary a care in the world. I'll probably want another pillbox to the north of my smelting as well. I don't like all these pillbox setups, but... I need to get things set up before I uh, go too crazy. I think I'm setting this up about the same time as I did last time. Yeah, pickaxe would make this take half the time. Probably should have gotten that before doing this. It doubles the speed at which you mine any object. Right, let's start thinking. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, 
One, two. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More. Twelve. I'm going to want 12 with 1, 2, 1, 2 between them. And I don't want that. I want double that. 24 on each side. Oh, 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 crumbs. Accidentally undid that. Copy. I uh, don't copy, actually. Uh, cut. This. Move it over as reasonably to the side as one can. Shove it there. One, two, one. All right, there we go. So that would be for... Uh, uh, actually, maybe the furthest to the left can be... Copper. Nass. That's iron. Uh, that's steel. And that's copper. Huh, do you think I could get it in lengthways? Would it make sense to do it lengthways? I haven't afforded myself a lot of space at the bottom here. Um, that might make even more sense, look at that. I like that, I like that quite a lot. Alright, now how's that gonna work? Just coal coming in. Mm, I want to merge it and do a similar thing as what I did last time. Uh, kind of regrettably. Goodbye, trees. I miss you. But I don't have time. Oh, Factorio waits for no man. I know it's weekly one shot day, but I was just so frustrated after yesterday's Factorio loss that I had to come back and try again. And I might fail this one as well, but I need the catharsis of at least giving it a go. Away, trees. I hate using explosives as tree clearers. <laughs> Feels like such a waste, but I cannot deny the need for time. Okay, so how's this going to look? Uh, same as last time, actually, so no big surprises there. Where's the 12 point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Really? That feels so soon. Can I really count? I'm out of, uh, I'm out of belts so fast. But, coal, coal, coal. You can come along here. Your priority is, of course, to go to not here. Alright, I guess iron is the most important thing to set up first, but uh, I, I'm in dire need of belts here. And belts need sprockets, which I'm also in dire need of. Also, I need more uh, ammo. Something, something also in dire need of. Uh, I should have enough undergrounds, honestly. And maybe enough splitters. Let's have a quick check on them there. There we go, there we go, and... There we go. Should be enough splitters, might not be enough undergrounds. Like I said, it's quite underground hungry, this work. Uh, belts galore are needed. Those are not belts, those are worse belts! Dang, fool. Right, what was your problem? Oh yeah, everything. Um, can't really afford you everything. Okay, I'll have to do on the old undergrounds. There we go. Bye bye. That'll slow that stuff down, I'm sure. Where are my sprockets at?
That pollution, though, holy crap! It's even spreading across the, the water there, and it's not like I'm doing that much. Okay, I need a lot more miners, though. How many do I have? 13? Nowhere near enough. Give me a lot more than that. I shouldn't need too many assembly machines just yet. 34 will do me fine for now. It's more about getting my miner groove on. Gosh, imagine a world where I had even more iron plate production. What a world it would be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Is that going to be enough? Not on your Ned Kelly. Need a lot of these things, but of course they need more everything else. <laughs> I don't want to have everything else. Oh my god, I've almost got oil processing already. Good job, me. I should set up some black science. I don't need a whole lot, and I already have the grenades for it. Uh, right, I just need to make a bunch of you. Uh, for grenade, uh, for flamethrowers, I only need 25 loads of this. But 25 of you. There we go, go. Might be a little short on copper there, but that should be all right. And the other thing are walls. And hey, I already produce walls. Gives me an opportunity to go to my car while I'm at it. So I could do the extra storage space, if nothing else. Also check my guns, make sure they have enough ammo and are actually engaging the enemy. You do not have enough ammo. Thank goodness, I am so nice. There you go. That position is helping out quite a lot, I think. Hundreds of walls, that's what I like to see. Loads of stone, I also love to see that. Give me all of that stone. As is customary, I shall throw it into the car, despite the immense dangers that that involves, because if I lose the car, I lose a huge amount of stockpiled and much needed stone. Alright. Walls are far more necessary to me right now than anything else I could do with these... Uh, stones. Eesh. All right, that should do me for a wee bit. That's so unnecessary. Um, that's looking good in the mining drills. Good, good. I should be able to mining drill up a storm. I'm also probably going to need a bit more in the way of poles. More. Lots more. A good way to chew up the uh, cables that I had. That's a reasonable enough amount of walls. Let's get that black science going. Uh, how many of these do I need? I need 25 runs of this. So that's 25 grenades, 50 walls, and 25 armor-piercing rounds. I'll just get you going on that. Chunk, I'm going to throw in the rest later. It does take a while to make, that's okay. Soon, very soon. What is soon? I don't know, but soon. Ugh, man, I really want that toolkit. Why don't I have toolkit up? Sod the flamers, give me the toolkit. 20 more inventory, oh, it's only 10. Well, 10 inventory slots, gimme. Uh, and then after that, I want my flamethrower. And after that, I want energy distribution, I think. And after that... Energy distribution isn't actually that necessary. It's more for dealing with certain throughput issues that I don't currently have. Fast inserters and steel pickaxe, please. And after that, well, if I've survived that long, I should be able to have everything that I could possibly want. Hey Jake, I played that Mortuary Assistant demo yesterday. It was interesting and scary, so I'll probably buy it. Thanks for the talking about it. Uh, well, you can thank Nix. Nix is the one that told me about the game, and it was very good. So thank you, Nix, for your impeccable taste in games, as always. Uh, why? Oh, right, you still need more of that. 
I still need more iron. I always need more iron. Why do I need more iron right now? I've managed to forget. Oh, I probably need more sprockets. Because I probably need more red science. Because I probably need more everything here. There we go, that should be another 200 or so on the reds, so that'll get me almost through my tool belt. Tool belt's kind of expensive at this point, can I really justify that? The answer is no I cannot. Uh, I have a car, a car is pretty much that. Alright, jolly good, you have done your part. You take all of that, and this should be exactly the amount of black science that I need. I guess I won't do flamethrowers until I have all that black science ready to go. Uh, which will take a wee while. Until then, I need to continue to set up my beloved smelter. Uh, do I have the assem- uh, no, I don't have the inserters for it now, which is another new and interesting problem. So I went and spent all of it on the science that someone insisted that I do. But I can't blame them, I can only blame myself for listening to them. How have we not had many fights with the, the bugs lately? I'm definitely polluting them, how could I not be? Okay, much to my surprise, I actually have a bunch of stuff for this. You take all of these, you take uh, all of these, and... Sorry, I barely have any iron for you, but at least you don't need a lot of iron. Unlike everything else I have. Right, can I please finally start on my smelting array? I have the miners, I have the power, I have the everything. Just start pushing it out and then bring it down towards my beloved-to-be main bus here. Problem is that I probably need to push my pillbox out and make a second one. Although I'm really not getting attacked much, which is nice. I clearly like that one. But yeah, I need the pillbox here and here, I think. Yeah, it's all just more wasted time, isn't it? Uh, right, this stuff is easier if I just get rid of these, so... First and foremost, I'm going to get rid of the miners, so that what's left in these things can finish smelting. Whilst that is doing its smelty work, I will set these up with the ovens, which I miraculously do have. Ugh, the first one I put down, I put down in the wrong place. And that one as well, funnily enough. Ugh, I could have made this so much easier in one simple step, and I'm going to do it. gonna do it. I'm gonna say the B word. Blueprint. I suppose it's not really a blueprint, is it? Why do this? It doesn't look like you're changing anything. Because an exclusive thing about power poles and blueprints is you can click and drag and they will go into where you have put them on your... Oh, well, as long as you don't block them with your portly body. They will go into where you have them on your blueprint. Meaning I can ensure that these are in before anything else. And then when I just come along to do the ovens, I can just click and drag. And there's no chance of it mucking everything up. Well, there's a smaller chance of it mucking everything up. I shouldn't do too much because I, I could well have made a further mistake with this. But let's assume that I have not. Uh, that was just wrong in so many ways, let's not bother. Yay! Achievement get! We are eco-unfriendly. Alright, so... In, 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 in. Everything else will be left space for long-handed inserters, which I haven't even started making, because it's not my problem. I hear there's a muscle memory routine for this, maybe I should try it sometime. Do I have enough inserters for this? I do. Good, because this is inserter heavy action. Alright, that looks good, but it needs to be fed. How are you still taking your sweet ass time? Uh, and where's my car? I need that car soon. How are you all doing? Fine, but I'm going to need more belts really, really soon. And all of this needs yet more iron. I'd love a time check compared to my previous run, as I think I'm a little bit behind it. 
At least in terms of uh, getting this beloved... Oh god, that was all of my stuff. Right, come here. Going, going. Much longer at this rate, though. Take some more of these, please. Yeah, in terms of getting my smelter array going on that run... Evolution is almost at Mejim Biter era, which is terrifying, because one thing I certainly don't have right now are flamethrowers. Do I really just push these out to there and there? Oh, well, these things are done at least, right. There we go. I now have no more iron production. I have to migrate over now. Oh, let's not cut off our entire base. And you are doing not much for me. If I was getting attacked here, then things are too late for one little gun turret to make a difference. Wrecked. Let's go. Uh, let's go a little better than that, shall we? Kind of pathetic. <clears throat> Iron is the most important early game resource, so uh, I'm just chugging out as much of this as I can. I could technically get a little bit more out of it, but I'm not going to do that. I have a setup that I rather like here. It uses quite a few power poles, but you know, power poles are so much cheaper than anything else. Right, there's certainly more space for more iron to be coming out of this, and that delights me to no end. Right, what do I actually want being done here? <clears throat> do I have more miners? Yeah, I do. I should have enough to completely saturate this. I'm not doing any mixed mining, to hell with that. If there's any risk of there being copper on the line, I will abstain from that risk. There we go, that's as far as we get. Now, I want the center richest parts to go and feed up the back. And actually, maybe I shouldn't care at all. There's too much thinking involved in that. I could just use splitters, might be better. <sighs> yeah, I think I will actually. What did I just research, by the way? Uh, I missed that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. You can very, very easily use splitters as filters. But it's a modicum of thinking that I'm not willing to do at this point. There's too much to take care of. Okay. Da -dum, da -dum. Priority to the... Our input priority from the center bit. Alright, I will have this uh, prioritize the, the richer parts. Input priority left. So that means that the center bits are going to be drained as priority and the outer bits are going to remain. That means the throughput of this should remain better for longer. And then the two of you are just going to be straight up mixed. And I'm going to need a fair chunk of undergroundies for you, but good thing I've already made them. That's one of them coming in through. And then the other one will come in and join the other part. All right, now I need to power them up. This is going to be obscenely bad for the environment, though. I mean, holy smoke, screen pieces are going to be calling me up. Asking me to explain myself. And this is exactly why I need my flamethrowers and walls operational pretty soon. Because the biters are not going to hang around while I'm doing this. 
There we go. All operational, all the time. Of course, uh, you guys need to be connected up. There we go. Thought something was missing there. I enjoy the factory content. If it means anything, to have some feedback. It means a fair bit to have some feedback. I do streaming because I enjoy it, but that's still a nice bit of self... Uh, I don't know what the word is, but makes me happier. And surely that's all anybody ever wants. To make me happy. I really want another pillbox around here. I don't trust this lack of defense. But all these pillboxes come at a cost. I should have just enough guns to, to push this out satisfactorily, though. Oh, but I don't have the walls. Didn't I shove the walls into my car? Where's my car? Why am I always leaving my car behind? <laughs> Come back. How am I doing on ammo? Not brilliant. Did I ever get a time check on how I'm doing compared to the last time? Good job, but that's the last time I'll ever fight only small biters. Big bite, uh, not big biter, but medium biter is uh, on the prowl, sire. Uh, at what evolution do you get small spitters? Go, go. Bunk. Okay, well. Tolerating any of that. Ten minutes ahead on active iron smelting, but you already had copper smelters placed. Okay. Well, I think ultimately the layout of this map is going to save me time compared to the last one. As long as setting up the walls doesn't take too long. Oh god, what if I had the walls set up last time? No, that's not possible. I didn't have flamers done until I had engines on the boss. Because um, I don't need to stray outside to get more iron and copper. At least I hope I don't. This is a very small copper patch. I'll have to make it very dense. Um... <sighs> I need to start putting that copper to work. Uh, that iron to work. So what am I going to do with it? Where's the main bus? Here, I guess. Right here. Let's bring it out down here. Research done. Amazing. Let's push our luck for that uh, tool belt, because I do want it. Right. First and foremost, a buffer. I don't have particularly big chests for this, but that's all I have to do. Priority is on the main bus, but just buffer anything that you have, and I will set it up to loop back into the main bus whenever I can. Intermediates, pretty please. Uh, well, I suppose there's nothing, nothing to worry about here. Da -da 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 One, two, three. Four, five, six should actually be sufficient. I'd like to do eight. Honestly, that's a bit too much at this point. Just a few of you. And you need them to insert pretty fast because they need double the amount that they consume. But just one on the out. And bus your cogs, for God's sake. It condenses the resource. It is good to bus 
Uh, sprockets, it is bad to bus copper wire. Right, and again. Priority to the main bus, but please do shove these in a chest for me. I don't need a ton of them, I just need some of them. Right, well there goes our sprockets at least, but I really need to push out the pillbox or else I'm going to feel very unsafe. Oh, I have no ammo whatsoever for this. Ah, that's funny. It's not funny, it's very sad. I think I got my steel axe, this feels faster. At the very least, I'm going to need those to set up my engines for... Bad. That was pretty bad. Okay. I'm doing this wrong, because that's adjacent to that. Oh well, too bad. No, it is too bad. Change it. Okay. Still need more, uh, well, actually, I have the iron now. I have all the iron in the world! Ah. Oh, okay, that really doesn't seem like a lot of iron. But I'm gonna sadly need to shove some of it into, um... Oh, wow, actually, full on, full on goodies. All right, can you carry some extra coal for me? Of all the things to drop in the ground, it's very, very hard to spot wooden poles. Okay, I also have... I'm missing one black science? No, no I'm not. Okay, good. Can you make more of these? I'm going to need more of these. Tool belt's taking too long. I need my flamethrowers. knows what you guys' problems are, but here you go. And sprockets as usual. And give me half of those back, you don't deserve them. Alright, strangely enough, it's actually the red science that is slapping, so I guess they can have a full load. Okay, what else now? Defense of the realm is so important. I don't have that many walls, though. Well, I suppose that's not very surprising. I didn't set up a huge amount of wall production, but I should have plenty of stone bricks to help with the walls. But the most important thing is getting those bleeding flamethrowers going. And the nice-ish thing is that all I really need to bring down for that is steel. If I have steel on the main line, all I need is steel... Uh, and iron, and of course the cogs made of iron, then I can automate engines immediately and automate flamethrower turret production immediately. So yeah, I'm going to finish up my smelting of iron. Not copper, even though I should probably be putting at least a bit of thought into copper at this point. Yeah. That's alright, we have copper somewhat automated over there. Oh god, what about ovens? Ooh, might be touch and go on ovens. But face it, your whole base is made out of uh, out of iron, so iron has the priority over copper in a hundred and one ways. You know, when I went through all this bleeding setting up of my smelter array on the previous run, I really thought I might be able to do it so I wouldn't have to go through this again. This is painful. You should have bots doing this for you. But here I am doing it like some trained chimp. 
Alright, there we go. I actually had all that we needed for that. Right, I shouldn't even need blueprints for this, but let's do it anyway. Okay. I don't have belts. Because I don't have iron. And sprockets, so I'll just grab pretty much everything. Everything you got in those regards. At least the production feels nice. Am I also lacking inserters? You bet your bottom dollar I'm lacking inserters. You need these, you need these, you also need sprockets, which I went and spent all of what I had. At least I actually have the iron to shove this in. Uh, just in case, make me some more ammo, please. I feel a little safer with more ammo. While we're at it, why in God's name do I not have my own submachine gun? You got any iron in you? No. That's scooping iron like a Neanderthal here. Nah. Okay, there we go. And I also would quite like a shotgun. And I'd quite like some shotgun shells. Sprockets come to me. Dit, 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 dit. You come to me as well. And there we go. Now I can continue on. I'm surprised I ended up having enough smelters, actually. Should really be pushing out the pillbox. Not... Oh, it should be fine. It should be fine. The pollution isn't there yet. It'll get there, but it's not there yet. And again, da 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 priority out to the right, always priority for, um, always priority to power. It'd be nice if there was like a hot key that you could hold down which meant the only things that get placed are things over ghosts. That way I could just hold this down and run this around without having to worry about, well, anything, really. Yay, we got the flamethrower, no complications there. Can I please, please have my tool belt? My pockets are overflowing here. You all looking good? I think it'd look better with more of these. I am way overproducing on green science, but hey, that's fine. That gives these guys plenty to do. Plenty to see and do and talk about. I could do with more belts. We'll automate belts soon, but... You're done, done, and... Getting there. The map seems pretty bad. Actually, I chose this map because I thought it looked good. Are you telling me I could have gotten away with saying that this is a random seed? Because that's what I'm hearing. Where'd I leave my car? I feel like I'm making a mistake here with the setup. Yeah, I think we're okay. What's the plan to go 5% faster? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The smelter, for example, faster to set up, faster to upgrade. Takes up a bit more space, but we can live with that. Ooh, I think this is a mistake. This is my steel line, and the steel line is outputting to where the copper is. I need to shift the copper up one, and I've already placed a bunch of it. That's a mistake. It shouldn't cost me more than a couple of minutes to fix, but it's still a mistake. Mm. 
starting to wish I'd stopped and looked at it for a little longer just in case it wasn't a mistake, but I'm pretty confident that it is, so I'll just cut all of you. Let's see, dit, dit, dit. Wait, what? That seems to make a bit more sense. There, there we go, that works. What's that grid mode you keep activating? You mean this? I press shift and space and it pauses the game and it shows the, the grid. Alternatively, I press F5 and it does it without pausing. But that's because I've got debug stuff set up for that. Why do I feel like I have actually just gone and made another mistake? Well, it's inescapable. Just get that steel operational. Where do I do my steel anyway? Right, I see. Okay, no one's gonna like this, but I like it or lump it. There you go. There's your main belt. However, the steel, and I appreciate this is not a great way of doing it, but there you go for your steel. Um, here we go. Priority to power. You come out on that side. You come out on this side. And there we go, steel for days. It's not off by one, is it? Yeah, it looks to be okay. Anyway, I'll get my steel. I don't like using so many underground belts. They are expensive, but needs must. There we go, all of my iron stuff right next to each other. Means it's going to be very easy to automate engines right here. Am I really not getting many attacks? What's going on with that? These guys should be aggroing on me pretty immediately. I guess my pollution is just spread so thin that they're barely able to absorb any of it. Look, you're sitting in 15 pollution right there. You should be going batty on me. Oh, and they kind of are. Now look at that, they've come up to these walls and start giving it a nibble. And remember, there are medium biters now. I need my flamethrowers yesterday. But that's okay. I'm just about to automate it right here, right now. Do I have the assembly machines? Surprisingly, yes. Alright. Pipe. Pipe. How many, how many engine makers could I possibly need anyway? I might do with four. Eh, I might do with ten. Right. You guys all make me engines. You two make me pipes. Uh, this time maybe select the right one when copying over. Uh, I just need raw iron up the middle. You guys spit it out and take it in, and you guys take it in too. Automating engines at this time in this economy. Yeah, I got to. And along the outside, they're going to get their iron and their... Eh, not their iron, they're going to get their steel and their sprockets. Okay.
we go. Just come out and around the back. No need for anything fancy here. No fancy crap. Hey, we're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm glad I got all these power poles, but they're kind of clogging me down at this point. I can hear gunfire nearby. I'm glad I set this up already. Okay, there we go, but that's not enough. I desperately need flamethrowers. You are going to make me flamethrowers, and you are made out of... Yeah, a bunch of stuff, actually. Uh... Pipes being one of them. But I don't think you need a ton of pipes, do you? I actually need a fair few. You're only a little bit off. Uh, right, there we go. You get some of that. You also need both of these items, but you also need engines. Engines are going to be outputted with long inserters, which I don't have, but I will make momentarily. This is going around the wrong way. The wrong, wrong way. I should have reversed the order of this, but that's okay. I can just scoop the engines right back through. It's no big deal. Right, long-handed inserters. I need quite a few. Can I just make them here? Oh, that's splendid. How's the run going? What attempt is this? Must be getting pretty optimized. <laughs> no, no, let's not use the O word to describe what I do in this game. It's disingenuous. Right, really, research isn't something I need a lot of right now. What I need are my walls and my flamethrowers. Once I box myself in, then we could go nuts with the... Uh, production research. None of this really enables anything. I suppose electric distribution. And I will want advanced material processing. That's probably a higher priority. Wouldn't be too hard to get these. Once I have my walls up and on the go, doubling up my production is going to be a pretty high priority. Alright, let's start getting these things fed out. This is me automating a blue science item. This is not the time for that. Why are there pipes there? Why are there pipes here? I know of no reason why there should be pipes on there, but there are still pipes there. Why is that? Ah, I see. You. That's why you check things before you run away. That means I missed one, and that's you. All of the engines are being outputted on the outside. That means you're being created, as you should. And now you need to go somewhere. And I've left myself no space for that. Go and output to this chest, please. Limited to 200. That's already quite a lot. And you're very, very slow. But you're automated. Means I can just bugger off and do other things while you're making that. Right, flamethrowers automated. Stone walls and stone were automated long ago, but I'm about to need a bugger ton of them. Where's my car? Oh, I keep leaving my car behind. I need that car now. Car, we're going to make a whole load of walls, as many as we can, because it's the best use for stone bricks at this point. At this juncture. Give me every stone wall you have. You keep it. It's yours, my friend. Well, that's a reasonable number, honestly. Err, uh, that's not good. You've already run dry. Huh. Oh, well. That's pretty bad. Well, hopefully the slowdown in production isn't going to bother me too much, but I still want some stones here. Oh gosh, you've run out as well. This is one crummy stone patch. Then again, I do have much of my production built on it, 
It would have been much better to just drain the stone, belt it out, and then smelt and process right here in this freely available space. But I really, really like this cozy little all-done on-site setup. I'm going to keep it, and if we regret that in the future... That is terrifying. Maybe I should get the uh, projectile damage upgrade. But it's so expensive. No. Believe. Believe in our ability to get uh, flames. The nice thing is that if we just wall this off, we've done 90% of our self-defense. After that, I think this seems like a reasonable point to do the wall. It's very close to here, but... In a way, this is... <clears throat> Actually, in a lot of ways, it's bad. There's a lot more pollution absorption that could be done, especially by that forest, so wiping this out is actually a pretty good idea. Maybe I could use the fire that's up there? Maybe I just don't have time or resources to care about that. Anyway, a wall here prevents most of the attacks that I have to worry about. After that, I can kind of take my time, focus a bit more on production, and then, when the attacks up north get a little bit too much for me, then I push this wall. But honestly, how long, how, how long is this? We can actually check. How many chunks is this? Let's say the wall is from... Mm, here to here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 chunks, let's say. What's 12 times 32? And how many flamethrower turrets can you fit on one chunk? I really only think I have about one flamethrower per chunk, maybe 1.2, or 1.5. So let's assume, let's round up and say we need 20 flamethrower turrets and 300 walls to have an astute defense here. Once the wall is up, eh, sure, it'll eventually break, but we can go and reinforce it before that does. 384, so again, we round up to 400. Alright, alright. Do I have 400 walls? <laughs> I've already got the walls I need. Look at that, man. There was never anything worth worrying about in this run. Never, ever. Right. Even so, more walls. There we go. Take it all. And more walls. And more walls. It's not a very good conversion for stone. It's 2 to 1 stone to stone brick, and then 5 to 1 stone bricks to walls. So 10 stone, 1 wall. So that might be why our poor little babby stone patch is getting drilled so hard, but drilled it must be. Buffer fills up. Main belt looks good. I did not sp uh, split the um, this thing. I didn't put a splitter on here. <clears throat> I should have, but I suppose it's no big deal. Right, next step. What is the next big step to do? Yes, reinforce this, but I'm at the mercy of my two flamethrowers becoming 20 flamethrowers. That'll take uh, 10 minutes or so. Hmm, there is something to be said for automating copper production, but I don't... I mean, it does need to be done. Like, copper was a huge bottleneck last time. It does need to be done, but I could do without the extra pollution right now. And do I even have the miners and things to do that? I have 27 miners, and it's not a huge patch. Mm -hmm. You know what, I should definitely make a save here where we are. Death World Attempts. Death World uh, Part 3. Uh, bus, I guess we'll call it, since we now have our bus. What do we do here? I might take a quick drink, for one. Hmm. Perhaps I should start extracting this oil. It shouldn't cause any aggro attacks to it, because I wiped out the base here, and there's this lovely forest in the way. Um, so I want to make probably ten extractors. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm putting the cart before the horse here. I need the basic mall stuff. I need inserters, I need belts, I need red and green science. I'm going to extract copper, put it on the belt, and begin making science automated. Automated science, if you will. So, 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 whilst I run around like a headless chicken for a wee bit, I need... 
A few more miners, not many. That should do fine. Thank you, copper, for all that you've done. I'm going to get rid of you so that the copper dries up first and foremost. I'm going to set this up so that this will be done by that time. I amazingly do have enough ovens. I'm really surprised on the oven thing. I thought stone would have been a bigger problem than it is, but it isn't. Again, we drag along the power poles first because unlike every other object, every other object that I can think of, power poles actually snap to where they are in a blueprint as opposed to most other things, which uh, if they're laid down in the wrong place, even on a blueprint, they just stamp down and then mess... Oh, I'm out of belts. Okay, well, probably easily solved. You might notice that the steel is taking forever and a day to produce. That's just what steel does. It takes 400% uh, longer than iron to smelt. Look at how slow that is. Look at how fast that is. All right, belts, pretty please. There are no belts in here, but I have not got what I need to deal with that. Ugh, it would be a crime to steal your, your stuff. I don't even have many sprockets. Uh, right, well, this calls for a very quick trip to the bus. And we're still taking our car because we're that lazy. Give me all of those. Give as much of that as I can handle. Whee! Not even crashing into things. That's how professional I am with that. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Here you also go. While we're at it. Dit, dit, dit. And dit, 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 dit. Advanced material processing, get. I want these copper plates just so that I know my red science is going the whole mile. The, the greens have slowed down a lot, but there's a lot buffered, so it's not a big deal. Just give me all this stuff, every last drop of it you have. Drop off some of you here. And it's probably marginally faster to take the car, as long as it comes to full and complete stop. I know, I know, I missed it. There we go. I think I'm actually falling behind in time. I'm pretty sure I had all this smeltery stuff set up um, before. Oh well. Can't fret over every egg in this omelette. There's your coal. Get out of here. They claim to not have power. Oh, that's because you're not there. Okay, great. Now I just need to bring in the ore, which has stopped smelting. Good. So grab all of this. And I just shut down my entire factory. Back you come. Too much... Too many copper plates, just shove them in the car for now. Right, I need to be somewhat gingerly with my approach here. I know I'm cutting off the factory, so let's cut it back on. And let's consider how we set up our smelter array here. It is a very small and awkward copper patch. I actually need to fast track copper production, uh, that is to say extra copper production. Maybe I really should just uh, filter the iron out and shove it into here. Yeah, the copper patch is too poor for me to skimp on this. Forgive me. Uh, I'm not going to do that though, I'm not that desperate. Again, this is going to cause a bugger ton of pollution, and I'm not thrilled about that, but uh, I don't get the luxury of anyone caring whether I'm thrilled about it or not. It needs to be done. Okay, that seems to work out.
So first things first, I gotta split away the mixed grill here. So if you are iron ore, you come out of this side and you feed into this priority bit right there. That is the first bit that gets notched on this uh, this belt, isn't it? You know I priority center part, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, change of plan. Go down that way. Yeah. Glad I checked that. That's why you check things. That's why I check things. And that's quite a bit of uh, iron ore coming out there, so just as well. It's kind of worrying in a way that it might cause a back up here. Yeah, I need a backup, backup for that. Oh well. Uh, you are also mixed, aren't you? Ugh. Ugh, both of you are mixed. Ew. Okay, well what you guys can do is come out like so. Split output for copper over here. Uh, not copper, iron over here. And then the not so irony stuff. You can come up here to the non-mixed grill. Glad I made all these splitters. I'm shocked and horrified at the fact that I'm going to need even more. Oops a daisy. Uh, I have another one of you, and then I'm going to make sure that the. What book is that? On this side? That might seem redundant, I know. It is. It is completely redundant. This other splitter already does exactly that. Got him out of belts again. Come to me, belts. Not oh, nice. Hi, do you mind casual suggestions? Uh, not really. Casual suggestions are fine, but understand that they were probably not going to be heated that much. I'm in a bit of a situation, as I'm sure you can see. Right, no, no need for fancy crap. We just mix it together, and then out it comes towards the... Uh, the smelter from hell. There we go. Okay. Glad I made all these undergrounds, but I already need more. This is going to be a bother when I expand on that, I'm sure. I like to leave two spaces up the middle of my belt, but there we go. Copper on the main bus. Five hours to go. Holy moly, did I ever mention how stressful this is? Because it's very stressful. <laughs> Let's get this crap out of my inventory. Glad I automated. Oh, hang on. Output priority to power. Always, never, not output priority to power. And no matter how you slice it, that should never mix and never meaningfully back up. Even if this line completely backed up, there are two and a half other lines that still feed into it. Ultimately, not a whole lot of copper. If I had long-handed inserters, I could easily double this up already, but I'd rather double it up when I have advanced smelting. Although I could just drag it out, couldn't I? Drag it all the way, keep it done with that, and then the upgrade would be for red belts. Also feasible. Honestly, this isn't going too badly. How are the... Oh, I've already got 12 flamethrowers. I want 20. As soon as I have that, this wall goes up, and I am going to stop being so concerned about bugs. All right, Bugs Bunny barely chewed us through here. This contain... I I'm so happy about setting up these pillboxes. Holy moly. Right. Um, although the desert is horrible for pollution spread, thank god there's not really anything to worry about over here. I really need to get on the oil though, though. Uh, no, no, not the oil. Set up your bleeding science automation and basic mall. Stop putting that off. Do I have the assemblers? Mm, 16 is hardly what I'd call the assemblers. Uh, actually, I have enough of you for now. 
get rid of all of these. If I have any extra bricks, shove them in here. Don't need bricks for anything else currently. I will soon, though. More. Okay, good. Give me these. Uh, how are we doing on these? Good enough-ish. Okay, okay. Um, basic assemblers, basic belts. What am I going to do? I'll peel you off here for red science, because that's the most basic of all stuff. And I'll peel you down here for green science, because it wants easier access to the sprockets and everything. No, 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 no. I need to do... Oh my god, how could I forget? Uh, I need to do... Chips. Green chips. And buffers. Might try and set up a basic buffer here. Uh, okay, the green chips go here. I hope there's enough space. There'll be enough space for the start of it. There's no need to expand it into its final form just yet. But yeah, green chips here. Green science here, I think. Eventually I'll claw this part away to have space for some northern stuff on the main bus. But yeah, red, then chips, then greens. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, buffer first. Even though it's going to be an ultra crappy buffer. Why? Yeah, why? I was just praising my uh, my pillboxes. Why did this have to happen? Actually, why did they ignore that? Pillbox is right bleeding there and there. They just went right through the middle. That's bad. Where's nasty? It'll be the praise that does it. Well, if they've done it once, they'll do it again, so I need to be ready for that. We have that back, thanks. And if they end up coming around, well, good luck to you, sunshines. Ooh, okay, they are serious about coming in. They don't like all the pollution I'm doing for my stinky miners. And I can appreciate that. The miners are super stinky until you put efficiency modules on them. Right, priority, main bus. Welcome to Bufferville. That'll do for now. I will want it to be bigger and better and more aggressive, but for now... Just buffering that up like I'm buffering up my excess iron. Also, while I'm at it, please split those nicely. And please, oh please, get me what I need up here. Uh, there. Split it nicely, please. Right. Righty, bloody, tighty. Err... Uh, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Okay, and split. How many of these do you need? What's the ratio again? I think it's five for reds. One, two, three, four, five. Red, and they only need the most basic of inputs here. Da -da 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 -da. There you go, red's done. What's my science setup going to be? I don't know. This seems a poor choice for it. It's too close to the belt, doesn't allow me to build many things, uh, the buffs rather. Maybe I can set it up here, it's a little far south. Should I buffer my reds? We should have a temporary science setup. Like for now, just feed them up over to here. Seems icky. Right, it's really icky. Maybe up and along here. Nestle the science in here. It's not a lot of space. Don't like that. Sometimes you desperately need a lot more science done. 
I also don't like getting rid of this. I really like this, but it's already in the way of the bus, isn't it? Well, there's no dying need for research currently, so why even worry about it so much? I don't think I'll ever need landfill in this. None of this strikes me as particularly worth my time. So I'll just kibosh kind of on that for now and instead work on my greens. Right. Glorious green machine. It's three of these. To two of you. Don't need fast inserters, but you do need three of these going in. I forget, do these things only need one or two inserters each? That's eh, no... No big deal, why risk it? Set it up like that. You need to output here, whilst also having input here. And I'm already out of the long-handed inserters. However, clever that I am, I made a bunch. Some people say lazy bastard is really annoying. And they're right. <laughs> it is really bloody annoying. Right. Iron comes up here. Your chips come down here. Uh, I think that's going to be okay for a little bit longer, but I desperately need to set up my proper wall. Uh, what about power, 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 power? Doesn't really matter that this is using a whole lot of, um, of these small power poles. They're insanely cheap. Okay, good. Stamp. Stamp. Just like that. I will double up this uh, amalgamation later on. If I'm making some obvious mistakes, I, I would love to be told about it. Like running out of assembly machines? Is that a mistake? No, it's probably all part of the plan. That's a mistake. You don't need to be there. Gotta be careful. Those biters could start coming in and causing me a whole lot of grief. Alright, that all looks to be working fine. Good on this side at least. Right. Copper. Great out there. Copper's all you need. Copper is Olev. And these things aren't quite so iron hungry as they are copper hungry, but they're more power they're more um iron hungry than I always tend to give them credit for. I feel like I've done this the wrong way around. Uh I have an idea then. I'm going to set you up like that, and that way you can go into here. Ooh, ooh, we do this, and then what we do is we buffer. And then you just gloriously come down the aisle along... Let me think. Space, space. Can you come along here? Of course you can. There you go. And I'll sort out the rest of you soon. Can we please set up our flamethrower defense? Yeah, we've got 21. That should be fine. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Alright. Save and save often. Part 4. Starting the wall. I realize I did not get my green science or basic bus going. Maybe I should before I do the wall. Uh, I shouldn't put off the wall. Evolution's so high. I think we're in spitter territory in mere moments from now. Keep the assemblers coming. I need them. I would really like my basic molly stuff up now. Rainy says defense is more important. Yeah, but I'm wasting efficiency time if I'm not making basic base building materials whilst I'm away building the wall. The wall's going to take a wee while. And I mean, this is still kind of holding. 
This isn't doing anything. Mm. Oh, God, there's no point in building the wall. I don't have my uh, oil extracted. I said I was going to do that, and I didn't do it. Instead, I set, it up all, uh, I set up all this nonsense. Uh, at the very least, I'm buffering now chips and these things, but I'm not buffering the other niceties. All right. Do just, just one more setup of automation. Then we move on, I swear. In this case, oh, I'm really lacking underground belts and belts, for that matter. And you guys don't have what I need. There's a lot of things I want. Ugh, you're full of garbage. Right. Give me these. Give me, like, all of that. Let's quickly make some more belts. And I shouldn't need more inserters right now, but I do need more belts. Don't. And don't. And also, also, lest we forget, I'm in desperate need of these things. I am amazed I already had everything I need for this. This is enough to make six of them. And a few electric circuits, and I'll have enough to make even more. Good thing I'm now buffering those circuits. That was amazing. Okay, thank God for that. Right, uh, I said I also needed some going undergrounds, going undergrounds. And while we're at it, I've been using the splitters a whole lot. Give me half of those back, shove them over there. Give me half of those back, shove them over there. Okay, good enough. So, not a whole lot needed over here. I need iron, sprockets, and uh, greens. We'll do that right now, then. Uh, how does it work again? Down the center comes the greens and the iron and the sprockets. Although, what's needed more than anything else? What's the ratio here? Two lots of sprockets, two lots of iron, one lot of um, greens. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to give the greens their own dedicated one. But I don't think they eat so much that we need to worry about that. So to hell with it. Sprockets that. Sprockets reminding me that I am lacking my undergrounds. Oi. Less of that. It would make so much more sense to have you come in on this side and you come out on this side. And yeah, I know, I've got my splitters here and I never even think to go there. There we go. Right, now you need to make me some belts and you guys need to make me some inserters. Da dum, da dum. In and in and in and in and in 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 in. Dump 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 dump. Keep it powered. Keep it groovy. Out you come. Out you come. Leave us have a little bit of buffered space just in case. Well, speaking of buffer. Uh, I'll put it on the other side, just in case, actually. I'm gonna need a lot of belts, so I want to keep a lot of buffer for it. Okay, seems fair to me. It'll take half. I don't even care if half of it doesn't go to... Um, doesn't go to science, and this one shouldn't need quite as much. In fact, I'm even gonna limit you. And now I need six of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make me... <laughs> I hope I don't get punished for not making my wall. <laughs> Alright, uh, probably just going to have these things go up the way. I know, I know, it's all very disgusting what I'm setting up. Do I even have the power? Yeah, power is holding, cool. Some way, somehow, that's going to be useful. Right, how about now? Can I make the wall now? Have these ready? Well, kind of. Need two more. Uh, 
That's not enough though. What, what am I thinking? I need, I need to pipe these back. That's not, not enough pipes to ground. What kind of madman made these ideas? Right. I need a lot of pipes. I need a hell of a lot of pipes. Those pipes need to be turned into pipe to ground. I also need to grab my grubby hands on a few of you. You need steel. Hey, wouldn't you know it? I actually have steel. But not a lot of steel, so... Why am I not buffering steel? Also, where are my splitters? Uh, good enough. Fifteen, that's three more than necessary. Steel... Okay, I suppose it's no big deal, but... Thump, out you come. Priority to main boss. Get me a steel buffer. Whew. You want one pump, Jake? I'm not convinced I want one pump. Also, pumps need engines. Oh, but I have a spare engine. Sweet. In that case, make me like a few of these. Oh, also, I was meant to grab some steel. Pumps need power, which I always find a little bit awkward to have. Uh, you know, on hand, on pumping operations, when you usually just rely on the pressure in the system. Right, I might need a few more of these. I definitely need a bunch of pipe to ground. Good. Good pipes, good pipe to ground. I have too many of these, let's just shove them away. I got too much of this. Who needs this much? Let's just shove some in here and shove the rest into here. Bye bye, copper. I need the space, and I certainly don't need raw copper filling up my inventory for no good reason. You. Suppose it's not raw, it's a little bit processed. Okay, five hours to go. We've automated science, but we're not using it. So, you know, we're not on easy street just yet. I have about a hundred pipe to grounds. Where am I going to process all this fluid? Here? I don't know if that's... Uh, here, maybe? Once I build the wall, it'll be a lot clearer. You know what? I don't need to process diddly. I need my wall. And honestly, the oil should travel through the wall f No, that's not true. If the wall gets a little bit dinged, it'll put an end to all uh, fluid. Um, gonna go there, I'm gonna plant these, I'll bring power over with my crummy power poles, shift it down, build the wall and the defenses along here. I still have grenades which are somewhat useful against medium biters. Da -da 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 I'll be walled in. And that doubles as bringing the oil back, but I will want a, an oil bypass if you will. Oil can go thousands of pipe without pumps. Yeah, it only matters if you care that much about throughput. And yeah, this is this is prime death world pollution. It's absurd. And now I'm polluting these guys. All the more reason where I need my wall up and operational. Alright. Is there anything we're missing here? I got my flamethrowers. I got a re very reasonable amount of wall. I got plenty of pipes and pipes to ground, although actually I don't think I have enough pipes to ground yet. It might seem, seem absurd, the amount of pipes to ground that I'm demanding here, but trust me, you need a lot of pipe to ground. What's kind of annoying is that pipe to ground isn't as efficient as just using pipes, but you're kind of forced to for logistical reasons. Wow, my buffer ain't so hot. That's okay, iron gets used like crazy. Whee! We'll just throw it all in here. Take it all. Oh, that is more than enough for you. Eight of them should be fine for anything I need right now. And that should be enough pipes to ground to do us. Just take the rest of this. I will need a billion pipes later on. Pipes! That's my mistake right there. Definitely, definitely buffer pipes. So I don't need to keep going and making them over there. Don't buffer pipes to ground. That's more of an as and when you... Holy crap! Let my people go! Sweet jumping Joseph Act. That was hardcore. I think we need a wall now. 
Do I have more gun turrets? I do not. Okay, well, this has become a problem. I don't have time to fix everything that's there. I need uh, gun turrets back up. Like a few gun turrets over there just to keep things sane. I should have the ammo for it, I think. He thinks. Do I have the ammo for it? No, maybe not. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, da 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 da. Gun turret, please. No copper. Why in the world would I have no copper? <laughs> Who would throw away all that useful, useful copper? Dit, 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 dit. Some people were late to the party and want to join in now. Yeah, screw it. See how ineffective my weapons are against Medium Biter now? Very. It's a strong argument for using um, red ammo, I'll give you that. But it's not strong enough. Red ammo is very expensive. I should use fire instead. Right, I'm gonna get these gun turrets set up in the pillbox again, and I am desperately going out and uh, setting up my defenses. There's a good argument also to be made for just um, turning off my factory for a wee bit and stopping the pollution, but I think the damage is already done regarding pollution. Come on now, ain't got time for this. Right, six. I'll hold out for three more. Don't have a lot of ammo for them though, that's a bit of a bummer. Well, more than a bit, right, let's go. Reset up the pillbox. Uh, they're getting through this as well. Get out of there! Oh god. Situation is becoming uh, ever worse. Ever worse. God, they just ignored the pillbox altogether there. Right, er uh, I need that wall. Um and 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 why? Uh, sometimes they're just ones that are late to the party and they continue the nibbling. Wait, where is it? Did I miss something there? Probably, I miss a lot of things. The big problem is that now that they've got the spitters, the spitters just spit right past my defences. What? Oh god, no, not the power. Power is still necessary. Oh man, I should have made the wall! Power is now cut off. Okay, for the love of God. And that, that came from the north, which is more concerning. Maybe I should maybe I should cut off the factory. In a way they have, so maybe this will be a self-writing thing. 
But yeah, they ignored this. Not that there's a lot of gunpowder there left. Right, get that freaking wall up. Oh, but the wall needs power. Oh, boy. Tank is actually an achievable thing, but it's too slow. I need actual defense. Right, how am I pathing this? Take the power over there, get those set up immediately, and get that oil piped to uh, to usefulness. Oh, you know what? I actually don't want my uh, my factory powered right now. I think. Oh, that's not going to hold. I have made a very critical error. Jesus. These attacks are quite relentless. And you know what, they're just gearing up for another attack down south as well. Ooh, oh, cripes, no, not that. That's what I get for having you two switched around. There we go, little modest attacks like that. Frequent and annoying, but at least manageable. Is that connected? No, no, I thought not. Okay, so things work. Just drive hard enough through the trees. The trees will relent. Oh god, I left a... Left a worm here. Don't worry, he won't aggro the poles. Oh boy! This has cost me far more than any amount of inefficiency with uh, leaving the base to not be producing in my absence. Credit to whoever said that defense is the priority. They were dead right! Emphasis on dead. Oh, and I forgot to reset up my little pillbox here, but there's no ammo for me to shove into it anymore, is there? I guess there's like half of this. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. For the love of God, just hold for 10 minutes. Let me get my wall. Pillbox needs more than four to... Yeah, I know, but I don't want to invest in the pillboxes. I need to move over to oil now. And I should have done this 20 minutes ago. I had the everything I needed to do it. I just wanted to push more out of my factory. And that is going to bite me hard. I also have to hope that these guys are fine without any sort of defense of their own. Which they might be for a wee bit, but I do need to work on that at some point.
My car will power you up. I'm gonna wish I put a radar over here, or you know, any kind of defense, but no can do, not right now. There's my power line, it's down to the south, okay. There we go. Out comes that black gold. Now we go south and we make a wall. Oh. There, having my guts for garters back at base. And I need to deal with it, because if I just leave it, then they're going to tear down the whole damn thing. Oops, well, there goes a power pole. God, that was nothing as well. Why didn't you go for the pillbox? Well, they must have had their reasons. It's getting costly. They might be coming left around the lake. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right, where did I leave my black gold? Here it is. Turn you around a bit. Out of my way, tree. No time for you. Kind of amazing how quickly things escalate with Death World Biters. Hmm, where am I even drawing the line here? Pretty much here, so let's go down. Alright, this seems about right. Let's start doing it. Wish I could just pick up my car instead of anything else. Right. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Look who's already here. Bastards that want that flambe. Right, how far out do you go? About here, okay. That sounds like something I have to respond to. Well, they have utterly torched my auto guns there, but at least they were an adequate distraction. Oh lord! They're everywhere! Buffers, no! Hands off my buffers! Penance for skipping the weekly one shot. They're even trying to take out my train. Oof, okay. Okay, I don't think there's coming back from this. Well, maybe there is, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, by car. Wow, that's a whole lot of destruction. I think what I'm going to do is find... Where was I? Where was I before? You know, when I said I was starting the wall, this was just before everything went to hell. I think I need to unplug the factory and uh, let that pollution die away. Defend against some stuff. Alright, there we go. Painful though that may be. 
I need to defend until this um, until this stuff dissipates a bit. Then use the lull to go on the offense. It shouldn't take that long to dissipate. It'll just be a few attacks. Uh, famous last words, I'm sure. But yeah, I can't uh, can't afford to maintain all these attacks or maintain defending against all these attacks. On the plus side, I got you. Had I already made my pumps by now? I had. That's kind of good. One thing that I will probably need is a bit more ammo, though. You know, for the existing boxes. But I have a few assembly machines, so what I can do is use some of my buffers. Wow, this is very not nice. Oh yeah, I made the save right before they started ripping apart my pillbox down there, didn't I? Uh, yeah, about that. Unplug factory, manage defense. kind of crazy how much it ramps up once uh, medium biters and spitters start joining in the fray. And the problem isn't lack of ammo here either. I, I got ammo here. I got ammo for days. Rush grenades, push bases, minimize production. Can't really afford to minimize. I've got a... I've got a challenge to beat here. There we go, much better. Oh, these things are still reversed, aren't they? Oh man, maybe I shouldn't have my grenades there at all. Let's just move those away so they don't accidentally blow things up again. And it would be an again. How are you guys doing? Right, see that? When they stop absorbing that pollution, that's great. Then they're going to stop making attack groups. But the problem is it's still spilling over from these large chunks that are more than, uh, more than 15. But I can look at pollution over the past 10 minutes, absorbed by you two. It's still kind of high. Man, there was a big spike there, wasn't there? I figured it would be dropping down now. Guess I'm just taking care of what's left. Well, I need to take care of my base a little bit here. Sucks to still be using red ammo, but needs must. Uh, not red, yellow ammo. That sucks even more. Make me a bit more in case I need it. Oh boy. Expensive. Oh, but it was a distraction! Good distraction at that. Okay, just need to hold out from these attacks a wee bit, then we set up the wall. I don't really need to repair these things, but it's going to bother me if I don't. Grenades help so much.
There we go. It's like there was nothing ever going wrong here. Alright, pollution is still getting absorbed a bit too much for my liking. That have good uh, early warning detections on this. Best I can do is patrol a bit and try and I feel like I'm uh, feel like I'm harsh treatment here. Just patrolling, keeping that unrest down. By the way, would it kill you to make me a couple of radars, please? Yeah, maybe four is plenty. Yoink. I'll just shove one over here. I'm going to make a bit more ammo because evidently I need quite a lot of ammo for uh, gunning down these medium biters. But yeah, turning off production feels bad. You know, I need that production for winning. Just keep a bunch of that stuff in there. Should help. Darkness is not my friend in this situation either. I think this is the kind of situation people would be advocating for landmines for. And Fair play. Landmines are pretty great. Oh, they're coming for me. Whoa, no, you're not allowed in my car! Oh, I had so much in that car! No! Oh, man. I feel bad for doing all this loading. I really do. Keep a save going. I, I dug this bed for myself. I even overwrote a save that I had for starting the wall when I was like, I won't start the wall. I'll do other things. La di da di da. And oh boy, am I hurting bad. Death World is so much easier if you spend an hour rolling maps for the perfect start. Don't know what would be the perfect start for a world. I mean, I thought this start was pretty good, but either I've uh, used it horribly incorrectly or I was dead wrong from the get-go. Again, though, they avoided the pillbox just to come and get me in a way that I was not happy with. Where were they even assembling? Oh yeah, choke points and not having desert. Two good points right there. Well, I ain't done yet. Uh, whoops, I don't need eight of those. And here's the big snack bunch. What a difference having grenades available makes. Just trivializes the whole fight. Please stop absorbing pollution. Certainly going down here, but it's maintaining a lot more than I thought it would. Just keeps popping over there and getting drank up. How are you guys feeling ammo-wise? Should be able to hold out a little bit against little snacky attackies. I think I'm going to be hobbling through this from save to save. Which is not a dignified position to be in. Maybe I can take the opportunity to 
drag the power out to the, uh, the pumps and get that going. Uh, but it just takes one bad attack that I'm not ready for and then poof goes my base. Like so. Out of there. Ah, well, there's the problem. No ammo for you. Although I suppose the bigger problem is you're nowhere near big and bad enough for this to begin with. Oh! You got a little couple patches of oil next to the base. I've forgotten about those. I wonder if they could be used without me having to leg it over to the other oil patch. Because just a little bit of oil is all all that's needed. For the defense. <laughs> this is just thankless. What? What just got destroyed? Ah, the old late for the party guy. The ammo production loop is deadly. Yeah, the thing is, I just want my wall. And if I'd started my wall when I said I was going to start my wall, this wouldn't be a problem. Because I'd have my wall dealing with most of these attacks coming in. But the real deadly thing is that pollution just keeps on spreading onto these guys. There's just so much of it backed up in this desert. It's not so bad up north. The trees are really expunging a lot of it. It's barely spreading onto these guys anymore. But down south it is a real problem. I'm wondering what to do about that problem. Because I'm running out of time to deal with it. This is all wasted to Yeah, and I'm open to a better solution. Thanks, at least if I had solar panels, I could at least solar power this to pump out the goodies. Alright, well, you know what? I can hope. I can hope that they take one of those five to ten minutes before they attack your base ba uh, wait, uh, breaks. And during that time, get my oil for defense set up. Okay. Not okay. They really hate my green science. Oh no, I've chosen the wrong way to come back to base. Oh god, they just ignored the pillbox entirely! Come on, we can go around. All this stuff I set up and it's not even running, I should have just made the freaking wall. Ah. 
Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Man. Maybe they at least won't attack from north anymore. Now this bit's still got pollution seeping in. It's a huge amount of pollution's doing me in. Right, I kind of set that other stuff up. Can I just bring the power over? Not really, there's a lot of awkward stuff going on here. How did I avoid this in my previous run? I didn't have anywhere near this amount of biter problems before, or actually in any of my runs. And the last run had loads of, uh, loads of nasty desert around it. Yet a better map. Okay. Well, I picked this map, so I can't I can't blame anyone but my own my own choices here. I thought this map looked great, honestly. Sure, the desert looked pretty bad, but there weren't a lot of bases in the desert, at least none nearby. And although it was a pretty big amount of wall to have to seal off, it wasn't that big. I think I had to seal off more wall, more, more wall in my previous run. All right, let's get walling, shall we? Show the doom and gloomers what for. Goodness, just... Oh, God. I think... I think we're gooses cooked. I delayed the oil for too long. And the attacks are... Well, maybe... Maybe I could go back to before I made that horrible mistake. You know, it's like 20 minutes before. I had just gotten this far. Starting to make our um, our flamer turrets. If while the flamer turrets are being made, I go and start bringing power over and building the wall itself, maybe, maybe we'll be okay. This is my last stab at it though. All right, I need you. I need my container, which needs some steel. And I hadn't started buffering steel at this point. Priority for the main belt, of course. I mean, I automated all that science for nothing, because I wasn't using it. I really should have focused on defense of the realm. Uh, do I have my pipes at this point? I don't think I do. And I don't think I'm buffering my pipes either, which I absolutely must. But we're not using these ones just yet. I have to rely on these ones. Yeah, red am uh, yellow ammo versus the medium biters is pathetic. But red ammo is very expensive. Uh, I need that steel. Just a little drop, though. I need more than a little drop of iron, though. Come to me, iron. go. You become pipe to ground. On top of that, I don't think I died at all in my previous run. This is, uh, compared to that, an unmitigated disaster. You know what's not very expensive? Yep, damage upgrades. Oh man, those are also expensive. We got you. I got seven of you. Ten of you. I need two more. I'll do you. Uh, 
I'm on pipes. Oh boy. Yeah, I think the amassed pollution is still a problem as well, though, because it's still going to come raining down on them from here. So I need to... Basically what I'm saying is I need these defences up, and I need them up now. That should be enough pipes to ground, and enough pipes, and enough power, and enough pump jacks. And even a little bit of containers there, so let's go. There is no time to lose. Part 5.2. No time to lose. Wall. Maybe also cut the base. Uh, oh, well, part of the problem is I don't have my flamethrowers yet. I need those flamethrowers. I've only got six of them. That's not enough. Maybe cut the buffer. So that way, once it's full, it's full. That's probably not going to make any meaningful change, though. Oh well. Power pole, let's go. Power pole, let's go. Hey, I'll want to come here later for some iron. God's sake. Oh, golly gosh. <laughs> I've still got my grenades over here. There we go. Okay, okay. And there's still one over here. And you'll need power. Da -da 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 The intelligent nature uh, by which it takes the power is always quite impressive to me. Alright, activate. You know what, it was such a pain in the bum bringing it over the other way. I'm going to try taking it this way first. And then we take you down south. Immediately almost having problems, but almost having problems is not the same as having problems. Alright, down a smidge. I think this is about where I want it. Flame thrower goes here. Flame thrower reaches out to there. Oh, 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 tripes. Burn me. Burn me and burn them. Okay. Whew. Where are my walls? Okay, I'll do. Right, you reach out to about here, so this is where I want the most outer wall. I wonder if I can do some fancy editing to make it look like I never had problems at all. I don't want to double wall much of this. I'll double wall this though. Alright, that's a good start. Uh... It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the bum. Oh, God, more than just in the bum. Every second underground I want to become a flamethrower. 
eventually I'll want, you know, pretty much every underground. But that is a question of what I can and cannot afford. And I sure can't afford that. Jake, you missed replacing a pipe. Not all the pumps are working. Enough of them are working for now. Have some wall in your face, you loser. And then have some grenades in your face! Oh man, what a difference this makes. Fire. Never leave home without it. Yeah. The ineffectual nature of using the... Oh. Yeah, why am I even doing that? It'll take a while to nibble through that wall anyway. What I should do is just have him eat this. Right, that's a start. Did I unplug my base? I hope I didn't, because I need those flamethrowers. No, I just unplugged my buffers. Okay, that's fine then. That stuff hurts! Ah! How many of these things do I have? I only have one left. Alright. Alright, there we go. I need to go and stock up, not least of all on flamethrowers, but the wall has begun. Grab the haggis! Burns night comes early this year. I'll rig up the supposedly missing pipe while I'm at it, because I will just forget that. And an easy way to check if something isn't working is you'll see some of these aren't pumping, although that wasn't enough. Uh, what did I not replace? That. Spotted, but they all seem to be powered now. Goody goody gumdrops. Pollution here should be easily absorbed by the uh, mountain of some out of trees. God. The trees, they can be a blessing and a curse. Sometimes I just don't know how to thread the needle through them all. And the hitboxes on cliffs are enormous. Alright, hello walls. Come to me walls. Not a lot of that stuff going on, is there? Err... Uh, Alright then, come to me flamethrowers. Yeah, nine more. The doctor ordered a few more than that, but I'll have to do. Oh god, I never did rig up copper. <laughs> but that's probably a big part of it, right? The copper was really choking everything. Because it was a lot more uh, pollution being spread very swiftly. And the, uh, the local residents didn't take too fondly to that. Can't believe it, but I actually need even more... Uh, Pipes to ground and things. This is a hungry operation. Grab all the buffered pipes as well, there's a fair number of them. Okay. Iron buffer is gone. I gotta make this count. Remember, this is our defense. It's our do or die defense. And I do mean it. If this doesn't hold, this run is over. What was someone er earlier called? They called it Jover. Jover. I'm like jolly and over. It's a meme. Ah, okay. Be why it goes over my head. Uh, man, I am short on a lot of things, not least of all belt. Alright, that should be a reasonable enough amount of pipe to ground, but even so, I want more. Uh, 
Pollution is still being absorbed at an alarming rate. Uh, but my guns are engaging and supposedly destroying the enemy up there. He loves to see it. It does tell me I'm going to need some, uh, some fiery protection up north as well. Funnily enough, though, I could just shove in like a single crappy pump jack here and have a fire defense added to it. Uh, it's not outside of consideration, actually. You have a belt buffer. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm sure you forgot. And you just didn't want to pang me with a guilt for what I once had. Well, at least there's no green sign for them to now come and destroy. And in a way, I wrestled back a, a few precious minutes, so that's good, because every minute is precious in this run. Alright, how do I do this? Uh, this is a forest fire just waiting to happen. Create a fire break, even though it costs me my... I suppose not very valuable anymore grenades. Shouldn't do too much of this because if it uh, provokes an attack, or rather if it chokes up an attack, then it's going to cause some problems in the International Affairs Department. However, I do kind of want this out of the way sooner rather than later. I shouldn't worry too much about the time. I had to do this in a previous run as well. It isn't new to me that I need to defend my base. Although you would think so, given how I've been treating it. Do we haven't had to double wall on the way back? We do not. That's a lot to do. Last time you were dying to repeated raids at the 490 mark, left when you reloaded. You had no wall. Now it's way better. Yeah, I, I pushed too much. On the production side, that is, the production and pollution side. Now there's less pollution because I'm not uh, drilling out all of the copper. And the southern attacks, at the very least, should be less of a thing. Oh no, this is unpleasant. So I'm going to draw these out from left to right, and I'm going to replace them with flamethrowers from right to left. Is that an attack that I just see on the map there on the uh, far left? Or a base? Probably an attack. I don't think the base is that far. Why? Yeah, I went out of the way from my car! Oh god, that's barely even an attack. It's more of an attack lit. There we go. No time to really worry about it. Although, I do wonder where it came from. Did it come from over there? Damn, the desert. Your pollution always goes so much further than you expect. Okay. Back to the southern defense. Maybe grab a few more flamethrowers. Six more, huh? Like I said, these things are agonizingly slow to make. Can we expect more forest and less desert next time? Less of attack, more of a co yeah, it was cohort. Damn intelligent biters, be gone! Hopefully that was just the wall. Yeah, I think so. Whoa, man, they are gearing up for an attack and a half over there. Right, uh, flamethrowers, sixteen should be enough to hold this. But I need more, right? 16 ain't enough on its own. I think one thing that really helped last time with the choke points, I had that massive western choke point. Like, everything came through one tiny little snibbling part. 
over here, I, I really looked at how uninhabited the desert was, and I thought, eh, surely not going to have any problems there. There are no biter bases. Drastically underestimating just how far pollution spreads, and you think I wouldn't be underestimating anything anymore, given how many times I have tried and failed this run. All right, there we go. That's defense enough. Keep this wall shiny and new. Although if they like to attack here, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to just give it a little bit of extra oomph. The firepower department. All right, good enough. It's gonna have to be good enough. It's all it's getting for now. Also there to take damage, don't worry about it. This pillbox is now useless. It should probably be pushed out. Although I'd like to think that we're past the point of pillboxes, but we're really not. If it attacks a wall, double it up. Yeah, that's what I did last time and what I intend to do this time. Too much on my mind to do that right now, though. What else needs defending? Without too much pollution, I don't think north will be that bad, but I think I need to push this wall out and up. That's going to be quite a few flamethrowers. Mm. Those walls, I need them. be far enough, right? Yeah, I kind of want it to join up with this. You know, I said I don't like using the explosives like that. But it's how I've been using them a lot now. Alright, how about there then? Okay. Gotta hope and pray that the northern attacks don't come and uh, kick my keister in, whilst I focus here in the south. There's been good progress in the past hour. It depends a lot on definitions here. What is an hour? like this to be kind of the apex point of the flamethrower. Put you there then. Eh? Yeah, what was that? Come here. Flamer turrets are undoubtedly good progress. But only if they're actually defending my base. I don't like the fact that the turrets themselves are getting damaged up there. Really starting to think I need more defense up north. This is their distraction tactics in full force. Yeah, look at that. Huge amount of these bugs. Not a huge amount of ammo, but it's going to have to do. Oh, hello. Well, oh, that's not a problem. It's just little crappy ones. How and where I do my northern defense is going to be a bit of a pressing question, though. Thank goodness Slamer turrets only need uh, iron. If I also had to up my copper production, this would be something resembling a problem by now. Six more. Okay, good. The attacks from this side are far less intense than on the other side, so it's not a huge deal. Man, those coal rocks were quite close to me from the get-go. Right. da 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 No need to perfectly space them out. I will just reinforce the areas that are most uh, oppressed. Help, I'm being oppressed. 
It's a little not far out enough. I want you about there-ish. Foreigners are a little delicate in walls, but you should know that. We learned it in Stronghold, we learn it here. This feels like such a waste of time, but it really is necessary. Unless you're going for, uh... Well, either masked pillboxing or say... Oh, what you gonna call them? What I'm trying to say is... Landmines. You've never seen me use landmines. I'm very unfamiliar with their use. That's the main reason for it. getting damaged. Walls are getting damaged right there where I just set up my defenses. Coincidence? Oh, there's no real coincidence in all of this. There we go. That's most of it all defended now. In the south at least. Oh, but that's a good sign that the corner here is going to be under pressure. Do, 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 do. So let's Double you up. Probably going to want to triple you up at some future time, but for now, that should do. Landmines are terrific if you know exactly where the biters are going to run by. Yeah, difficult to always know that. Okay, still not comfortable in upping my everything until the north is secured as well. What about you? Nah, this, this forest is going to suck up any of that pollution. Um, but the north needs to be done. I need a wall here, and that's not a lot of stuff that needs... I might give it dedicated oil from here. Da -da 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 -da. It might be, might be simpler than getting the oil and the power up and along here. Just drag it up and along from there. Uh, I want one more pump, if that's the case. Alright, it's looking, looking better. Looking surprisingly better. I thought my goose was cooked. Well and truly cooked. But here we are, hanging on. Ooh. Well, cool to catch one of your live streams, says Berger. Yeah, it's cool to have people come in halfway so they don't see the tragedy that unfolded before this. So hopefully I can just look like I know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, another downside to deserts. They seem to be full of downsides, but all the rocks everywhere just begging to be rammed into. Uh, what am I doing up here again? I need the power so that I can get the oil, which is where exactly? I think I'm looking right at it. Yeah, I kind of am. Sorry, little wormy friend, but you must die. Too risky to leave alive here. Oh, okay. I was wondering who is who is engaging with the enemy? It's me. I am engaging with the enemy. Where does where's the oil? Aha! How dare I not see green on green? Come on! Don't you know I'm on a timer game? Probably does, the bastard. Right. Up to Daisy, I shouldn't even need to pipe to ground this, it's not really important. Although pipe to grounds are good for um uh, I should. Pipe to grounds are good for pressure. And good for not wasting oil in the system. Right. I'm loath to leave my car behind, so I won't. A thunk. Anyway, where am I putting my wall? Wall about here. Boy, I am asking for trouble with this expansion. Um, okay. Up and around, I guess.
This is wasting so much time. Think of how much I could have worked on my bus, my production, my science, if I don't spending time with this silly idea of defending my base. Right, line along here. The line starts about here. Oh, no, no, off by one. Don't mind the uranium. I find my eyes hurt if I look directly at that. Such a bright, blinding green. Right, not too much point in building much here since I don't have my flamers. But we do have a nice starting point. Also gives us an idea of how and where these little bastards come together. Yeah, how you like that? I'm guessing not much. There we go, that will alleviate a bit of pressure on the base as well. However, let's not let the car break. I've got too much value in this car. Uh, it's harder than it might seem driving around in this game. That's why Spider-Tron is so good. Oh baby, eight flamethrowers. I shouldn't need more than 50 buffered there. I want to buffer too many of them. Each of those flamethrowers costs about 200 plates. Uh, yeah, over 200 plates each. At a glance, that was something like 230. Is there supposed to be no oil in that pipe? And power them on. Good thinking. I need that oil produced so that it maintains pressure in the system. There we go. Now there's oil in the pipe. Not a lot, but it'll grow. And whilst the production will eventually slow down to a crawl, it will never stop. Oil in this game, much like in real life, is infinite. Gotta be careful, there's a huge risk of forest fire here, and I don't want forest fire. Even if the pollution is already on top of the biter bases, the forests still do a job of absorbing pollution. Which means that there's less pollution that the biters are going to use in their attacks on you. If I plate them about here. I think I said plate them there. Critical thinking failing me. There we go. Oh hey, just in time for a test run! Burn, you bastards. Burn. Yeah, tear apart my freaking factory. I might need to add more flamethrowers here per square inch. Because this is where all of the north is going to be. Or at least in the south, it's a pretty drawn out area. It's also much further away from my base up here. Well, as we know, I love my coal rocks. Eight flamers with no oil, now we're fine. This game has fluid pressure mechanics. Now there's not a pressure that you can check in the game. Why? Oh, bollocks! The one little bit I didn't get in the wall! Ah. Okay, well thank god those guys are there. Um, have fun with my fire. I'm out of here. This is wasting so much time. Hold on, are they in my base eating my dudes? Unfreaking believable. One little dude making his way in through that hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I get for cutting it short here. Out of my way, big stupid trees. Probably a good warning that they will want to come here. Maybe they path through that because of that tree being in the way.
There we go. Probably gonna blow these trees up with fire anyway, so let's do that. Eh, they're still likely to burn. There we go. That way they won't burn and cause uh, vast amounts of pollution with their burning. More flamethrowers, please. Shouldn't need much of else, but... Okay, you know what? When I get my copper going, I'm probably going to have to do both copper mines immediately, just so that I can have lots of copper going and start building up my copper buffer, because I have essentially got four hours to beat the game from almost nothing. Certainly not lots. That is a pretty damn close by nest. Good indicator that there's going to be a lot of violence here. That's good though. I mean, we're here for violence. Uh oh, uh oh. Over here, please. Come on. Out of the way. Yeah, thinking about it, you don't have to faff around with all of this using landmines, do you? Alright, I do not think for five seconds that they're going to come through the forest here. Ah, oh, bollocks, ghosts! Ghosts don't defend anything. Uh, I will, however, try and prevent forest fires. Only we can do that. I gotta gotta reinforce that. Uh, also, no way I'm trusting that alone. Gotta keep a lazy eye on this though. If that ever gets too much, I need to reinforce that as well. For now, it's fine. Oh god, I I, I am completely out of stone. Uh, stone wall that is. I need to go and pick some up. Let's give him a little tickle. I can't leave that hole in the wall, much as I would love to get around to actually building up a freaking base. That might not be enough wall. Err... Uh, Err... Uh, um... Well, at least I didn't destroy any buffers of mine. Get this crap out of here and get myself a few more walls, please. Any uh, other stuff that I got too much of? Any crappy buffers to leave behind? Leave behind the wood. The car can hold on to a bunch of stuff. That's frankly too much coal for the car to have, but what's a man to do? Take about half of these. Oh man, I can't wait to have a base. I wonder what that feels like. Empowering, perhaps? There we go, another hundred odd wall. I'll double wall whatever needs it, and then we're going to consider the case closed. I'll add whatever flamethrower we still have here up there for them, for a total of five. Alright, get that reinforced, and then for the love of God, build a base. Because I have gone a long time without having proper base. In fact, we're almost halfway through the timer. No real production done. Nice threading there. I think we can tell immediately where the busy bees are going to be. Do I want more along here? It's going to really suck if I cause a massive fire, not least of all because it's going to give them a way through. So I need to make absolutely sure I am not starting a fire there.
Uh, nice of them to show off that they want to attack around here as well. Why don't I just double wall the whole north? As long as I have wall, I will double wall. Uh, hold off a little bit. The edges are always worse. Oh, oh, hey! Kind of works. Right. Extra one of you here. Extra another one of you here. There we go. Northern Wall done. Probably not done forever. I'm sure they'll break throughs and I'll need to add more flamethrowers here eventually. But for now, our base should be enclosed and safe and ready to up production massively. I don't want to use someone else's map, uh, Mar Luxiar. I don't want to use other people's blueprints or other people's maps. I want to do things my way. I find that's a lot more fun than just following, say, someone's guide. I've been linked several times to a speedrun guide of Factorio. I was like, oh, I, follow some I don't want to do that. I want to do this my way. I'm not trying to get some medal here. I'm trying to have fun playing this game. There we go. All right. I feel a lot safer now. In fact, this should be, yeah, uh, whatever. What do we do now? Automate copper. Uh, I have until this pollution spreads over here, although it could is just as well cause me problems here. Anyway, uh, smelt my copper automatically and build up a proper boss. Let's go. Do I have the miners for it? Yes and no. Do I have the raw materials for it? Maybe. Right. Miners, a go-go. Just clear up a lot of this. Uh, inserters, fine. Miners needed. Belts needed. It's amazing how I just keep running low on belts. Thank god I made buffers. Also, I can re-enable my buffers. Buffer here. Output priority on main belt. Buffer here, just re-enabled. And I'm going to need a bunch of these sprockets, if you don't mind. Take everything you need. Oh, I've got the iron. Oh, of course, I didn't forget it. There was no buffer to take. Well, that's what this is for. Yoink. Boy, that's not a lot of iron. It does make me appreciate how much iron I was making in my previous setup. Alright, make me those belts. I need those belts. Should have taken more sprockets, all things considered. I'm going to need these electric mining drills one way or another, so I'll let them be. Uh, these things have already smeltered everything they can, I think. Um, I'm going to take that just for the coal, and I'll let you finish off what you have there. I figures I can't carry all that. It's okay, though. Buffer chests are here for. Extremely crappy wooden buffer chests. Still not enough. Take it, take it all. No need for power here. That's just gonna smelt away. Do I have my splitters and undergrounds and belts? Yes, yes, and no. Is that all working? Or did I cut off the entire base again? Uh, what did I cut? There we go. You've already ran out, so have you. Any other runner-outers? Yeah, the guy's on the edge. Okay. Mm Man, I just went through setting all this up, and now I've got to set it all up again. No, I can I can actually just do all of this, can't I? No, 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 no. Whoa, easy there now. You're not allowed that. We're not doing that there. It might uh, it might also be mixed, but it's too mixed. Too mixed for even my handling. Right. Got some of this. Just shove it over there. Sh shove, shove, shove it over there. And the question comes up often. Yeah, I'm using Stellaris music. 
don't worry, it's authorized. I authorized it. Not liking how mixed you two are. Uh, might be okay, might not. Depends how I feed it in. Uh, I think we can manage it. Okay. Let's make like robot wars and activate. Despite the uh, disgusting lack of efficiency modules to make this not stink the place up. Right, how about you two? If your name is Iron Ore, then head out this side. Otherwise, feed your way up here. La 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 la. Oh man, isn't this so much better when you don't have to worry about constant attacks? I suppose last time I wasn't worrying. I didn't even consider it to be a problem. Well, more woe me. Right, output priority. Iron over here. Just feed right into that. Otherwise... Copper, up you come. Split and split and let's a go go. Oh boy, this just feels so late to be getting this operational. One of the copper miners is mixed. Uh, some of them should be. Are you saying that there's a copper miner that isn't going through a filter that is mixed? Yes, yes you- no, no, that's sorted. You, you're mixed. Can't have that. Can't be having that. Uh, although, we could have it if we did it like this. Well spotted. Just takes one nasty bit of copper ore and, uh... Well, you're in for a bad, bad time. Oh, belts are dirt cheap. Just make loads of that. You know, entire rocket silos are dirt cheap. It's all about context. Uh, this is a long time coming, and I am absolutely desperate to get a lot of copper going. I'm going to start by setting up a big old copper um, buffer. All in all, I think this setup is much, much better than the condensed one I was doing before. This one just takes up more space, but as we all know, space in Factorio is infinite. Out. Oh my way. Uh, copper battery's gonna come down here a fair bit, so let's just There we go go. Is it gonna come straight down or are we gonna do something silly with it? Now let's face it, we're always doing something silly with it. Let's go. This is definitely a bad idea. Okay, well I'm gonna pay for it later. I can't afford to pay for it now. How did you guys get cut off? How did everything get cut off? How do I keep doing this? Alright. Copper! Yay! Car in the way. Yay. Um, copper... I have a lot of these. 
That's not fast enough, though. I need more. Um, maybe I can organize it another way. I should have a fair bit of space here, after all. I want a hefty amount of this. Right, output priority on the right for main boss. We're going to buffer a whole lot of copper. Copper is going straight back onto the bus. I could have you pointing up like that, and then I can do this. Go straight back on the bus, but the input priority is from the... Uh, oh, what's the input priority here? Input priority on the right, so it takes from here first. And if this ever can't fulfill the belt's needs, then it takes from the buffer. I think this is what I wanted to achieve last time, but failed to do so. Uh, problem is, this is only giving me half a belt. Is that really a problem? One could say so. That's not amazing, but that'll do. Alright, good enough. Now that's copper done, let's start thinking about... anything else. Hmm. Yeah, I could put a balancer after it. My, my thought is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's only barely more than one yellow belt of copper output, or throughput rather. So I shouldn't stress over it. Alright, do I have assemblers? Kind of. Let's get going with science. Five of you for red science. Boom, 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 boom. Up you come. Can't wait to get my basic mall going. Uh, what I'm thinking. There we go. Don't do that just yet. Don't. We need our spacely sprockets coming out here as well. This, uh, this doesn't work, does it? Actually, it kind of does. Mm -mm. There's something being used here, so I don't think this is all that necessary. There we go. Homemade spaghetti. Just like Mama used to do it. It'd feed us proper spaghetti. We got, we got tinned meatballs and rice, and we would like it or lump it, and it certainly was lumpy. All right, I think I have to do away with a bunch of this. I want this to be my science area. I guess I should still have just enough. Maybe not enough assembly. Nah, I should be alright. Um, how about these poor buggers? Oh, tell you what, I don't have a lot of those labs. Oh, it's taking the aristocrat so long. Oh, well, he is very lazy. I should have kept that in mind. Right. full of garbage. Did I ever get that toolkit? Wow, this is me with the toolkit. That is even sadder. Alright, almost done. At least this gives me a lot of assemblers to put to use. Uh, you know what, that's not necessary anymore anyway. Uh, up here goes the science. It's not a lot of space for science. I'm not thrilled about that. Where are all my labs? I don't have labs. Not a good way to start a conversation. But I do need labs. 
blew up here. Um, I'm probably going to deeply regret my location for the lamps here. Is there anything I can do to turn myself around? It's not the worst place in the world. It's very thin, so it's not going to take up too much bus real estate. Uh, one, one, two, one. And that'll do for now. They will eventually also need some long-handed inserters and all that jazz. But I don't have long-handed inserters for them, so this is going to have to do. Um, why don't I just have it, like, the top side of the screw? That'll be that on one side. That's kind of not the side I want it to be on. So there you go. And here's a whole load of juicy, juicy science for you. And now we need to figure out where we're going with all this science. No, we're fast because all I have are reds coming in. Do I want any of this crap? No, no red onlys. I do want red green and I want it fast. So let's get to work. Also, how is our defenses holding up? I don't see any holes in the wall. Pollution is still rife over there. And I don't see any forest fire. Well, I'm not sure if the map updates with that. In any case, I feel pretty cozy in here. And honestly, four and a half hours with this set up to launch the rocket with no further distractions? It seems like a shoe in but... I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Right, well, I still have a lot of things to set up, not least of all greens. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, blue ship. Sailing along with something, something. Da, 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 da. And you, and you, and you. Oh, yeah, sure. Look at all that. All those bits being engaged. I shouldn't say it looks like a shoe, and it assuredly does not, but i got to get myself some uh, Alright, we'll do this the other way around. I don't like that, we don't. got to get myself some self uh, confidence boosting strategies going. I really need those long-handed inserters. Right. Give me, please. Uh, that all seems on board. In come those. Need a bit of you here. We'll put you out towards the middle. And we'll say, hey presto, this is amazing. So we want another one, and another one, and another one. And I will double this up soon. Ooh, is this going to be in the way? Oh, we can save the rocket! Oh, man, I am legitimately happy about that. I mean, it's such a small thing, but consider the rocket to your humanity. Okay, you come with me. It's all powering up, which is a good sign. Now we just need to make sure that it's getting all of its goods. And drag these out so I've got a better visual overview of my... Ooh, not liking that. How many flamethrowers do we have? 22. Alright, it should be very easy for us to reinforce things. Uh, that was unnecessary, actually, because what I really want to do is bring you out. So we do it like so. Doing too hot on pipes to um, on belts to ground, so I should probably work on that. It's all right. Soon we'll have belts automated. Glorious day that'll be. Uh, I 
think I'll have you over on that side with the copper. I'm not sure if that's how I decided to do it before, but it's how I'm doing it now. Also, I'm going to leave myself a space for another line of copper. I think lacking that could cause me issues down the line. Also, for the love of all that is holy, buffer. Buffer and buffer and buffer, buffer. Have this damaged thing. I'll even fix it for you. What's your problem? Your problem is lack of iron ore coming in. And the lack of grounds is my problem. So let's go and fix some of these problems. A few more belts until I can automate my bob bollocks. I got rid of all of my uh, make stuff area. Might be a good idea to migrate it over here where all my buffers are, though. For example, I need a whole lot of belts. And do I really need belts? There's more belts to ground, but they also need a bunch of other stuff, so it's okay. You guys belt me up. I need my belts to ground. And I also need some splitters for what it's worth. The Logic Master is starting with an ah, finally. Okay, so, uh, where are we? What are we doing? What is going on? Well, it's another Death World run. Really want to get this done. 100% achievements as well. We managed to get on track like a pro. Probably my fastest on track like a pro ever. It went pretty well, despite the horrific early game biter nest that we had nearby. We're on track for Lazy Bastard, and now it's all about having no spoon, getting that rocket launched within eight hours. What have we gotten done? We actually have a proper smelter array. It's one quarter of the size of its final form. I do want it to extend out more and I do want to upgrade them to steel smelters. We will do that probably quite soon. The bus itself is severely lacking though. Naturally I put in sprockets and of course everybody's second thing to bus, engines. We got those done. This was done so we could get flamethrowers and flamethrowers are our entire defense. If the bugs make it through the flamethrowers, well... It's not like we're already dead. I do have grenades to deal with medium biters, but I'd just rather it didn't come to that. Uh, what else, what else? I got red science, although we're not doing any researching. I need to absolutely get on green science. But there are a few things that need to be done before that. Uh, what needs to be done exactly? I actually need to start up my chip and my chip buffer. I think I ran out of undergrounds. That's right, that's where I left off. I was building more belt-related things. Because of Lazy Bastard, we cannot handcraft but one single item, and we know what we're saving that one for, so everything needs to be rushed back to the assemblers to be made for me. So we're going to get our green ships going, get our buffering going, there's some other stuff to buffer, and then there's actually some defense to be done because there's a hole in this wall already. Uh, I think when I dragged this along there were some trees that got in the way, and I didn't double back to fill in that gap, so I'll need to make sure I do that, which means a visit to my gorgeous little stone mine. This stone mine horrifies some people. To a degree, it still horrifies me, but I think it's very cute. Anyway, let's get it underway. I need this stuff. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, are you still making more? You are still making more. Do I have enough to actually get the buffering done? I do, so let's get it done. Uh, also, while we're here, let us also buffer some engine. Oh, I don't have chests. Uh, uh. Give me some chests. Give me like proper chests as well. There we go. Give me some. Give me some proper iron chests. And with the iron chests, I guess I'll replace these, and that'll give me a wooden chest to put there. And there we go. Engines galore. Now, how am I going to set this up? I've made it a little awkward for myself, given all the everything here. But I think I have an idea. For one, I'm going to move you down a bit, like so, and um, we should only ever buffer like that. I do need these coming along like so, and then what? You're going to come down over here and then split past? Yeah, that makes sense. Do 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 do. Okay, that all works, and then you are going to do a similar thing down to here, 
And it still all comes out lickety spit. Okay, great. So I can't see any immediate problems with this. I swear somebody told me that I'm missing an inserter on these. Good day, Jake. I finally stumbled across your streaming. I loved your old Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe series on YouTube. Do you plan on doing Open TTD again sometime? Uh, it's always disappointing to tell someone that I don't have any plans to return to a game, but I felt a sense of finality in the run that I did on that. Although I would like to go back to similar games like that, akin to, say, Transport Fever 2. That's been on my to-do list for quite some time. Uh, right, 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 right. What else? Well, as long as that's buffering, at least, we're in a good place. That's buffering as well. Uh, how are you guys doing? You got me my ingredients? Because I sure hope you do. Uh, well, to a degree. Tell you what, one, two, three, four, or I guess just one, two, three. Make me a bunch of iron chests. I want my um, I want my buffers to be better than they are. I am definitely going to need more undergrounds and more splitters, so keep those going. It's not like we lack iron to get these things done. Let's throw that kind of stuff away as well. You've already done making me those chests, which is great. What do I want to upgrade in terms of capacity? Actually, wouldn't mind all of you being bigger. Let's have some actual buffers going on here. Even you. Uh, no, let's just not have a limit on that. Have I limited my flamethrowers? Yes, good. Yeah, I've already limited my pipes as well. Excellent. Let's take the car, deal with the stone mine, and then deal with that wall. The reason I visit Stone Line first is because there's, well, stone walls over there. Uh, here's another thing that I want to up my buffers for. You, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. There we go, go. Mm, can I do this even fancier? I know, I know, it's abhorrent what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. There you go. There we go. So that's going to set aside a whole lot of stone for me. One, two, three, four, five chests of stone that I'm going to need later on. I will take all of the sto uh, stone walls that we made and also all the stone bricks. As is tradition, I keep the stone bricks inside the car. And now we're going to fix that wall of ours. To think we could have had Transport Fever 2 instead of Finish Simulator. It was on the cards, right? Keep your wits about you, Jake. What are you actually fixing up here? They attack there, so I'd like to double the wall at some point. But right now, the main priority is actually having a wall. So, da 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 And since they attack here, we double wall it. Is there anywhere else worth checking out? That all seems to be kosher. I think I'll just keep running the wall along here for a bit. Truth be told, I'd like my entire wall to be double walled, because that way it's kind of like when the wall gets broken through, it's automating a, uh, a repair request, but it's not going to a bot, it's going to me. Although, you know, who's the real bot in all of this? Right, good enough, back in the car and we get to work. I need to... do what exactly? I need to sort out my main bus, get myself over to green science. There's a lot of green science that needs to be done, so the sooner I get that automated the better, and that'll free up some time for me to expand into oil, and if I'm still researching after that, also expand into making uh, a better smelter array. So I need green science, I'll probably just do it right here. We have the green chips now. Hmm, should I do it up top? There's a lot of space right here for it. I could actually put my custom assembler bit here. What else would I reasonably put here? Although, yeah, the, the green science would fit in rather nicely, wouldn't it? After all, they need those ch uh, They need a bunch of this stuff. Eh, I'll still do it down here, but I probably will move my assemblers over to there. Uh, right, 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 right. Green science, green science. It's going to come off here, and it's going to be... There's plenty of space, good. Uh, one, two, two is fine, and then a space. One, two, three, dit, dit. Uh, not three, four. I'm going to need long-handed inserters for this, but being the clever bugger that I am, I already did them. I made three of these before, this time I'm only going to be doing two. 
So, one of you on... Oh god, no, not burner inserters. I am not the world's biggest fan of burner inserters. Right, you are going to be coming down here. Da 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 da. And then dit and dit. There we go, go. You get down there, you go merge together, and you are going to split off down like so. Oh god, no. Like so. There we go. And would you believe that that's all the stuff that we need for some delicious, nutritious green science. Practically done already. Just using small poles, because that's how I operate. Medium poles are decadence. Don't catch me dead doing that. Out you come here. Down and along. Down and along. Into this. Into six greens. One, two, three, four, five, six. I already regret putting you on the bottom side now, considering I need to put these greens up north. Dit, 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 dit. And, huh, no, that's kind of a one-and-done affair. Uh, there we go, connect you up like so. Connect up the output, something I very often forget. And there we go. Let's not forget to set up the buffer. Buffer and buffer. I only need one for you, but these guys I want a bit more. Shouldn't need that many. There we go. As for you, I want all of those filled up. Never... Never feel ill done to by having more of you. Right, I need to output my green science. I'll just bring it straight north and link it up with you. That should work out just fine. And it's that simple. As simple as that. These guys aren't going to be doing more than one half of a line of this anyway, so there's no sense overthinking this. Uh, bloop. Bloop. Oh, wait, what the heck am I doing? Why even... Eh, there you go. What's getting destroyed? It's just a little bit of wall. That's no big deal. However, it does tell me that the attacks are savage enough over there to warrant thinking about, so now that green science is automated, I have a bit of time to deal with this kind of stuff around the base. Let's have this be our final load of, uh... Oh, wow, you need to be faster, don't you? Tell you what, could you make me some... I know this is barbaric, but some actual fast inserters. I don't normally use quick inserters. So we're doing something a bit unusual for me. The wall production might be automatic, but it is harrowingly slow. I would like to not make any more uh, flamers once we finish this current patch. Alright, yeah, look at that. They love attacking here. Absolutely McLovin' it. Oh, one off for this. Today's the day where we get that spoon. No, you, you don't understand. There is no spoon here. And thank you, Alpha. It means a lot to hear good luck from you. Alpha's kind of my inspiration in getting halfway good at Factorio. Because he is whole way good at Factorio. go. Still want a little bit more here. Anywhere that they're really ramping up their attacks. That's where I just want to slam down a whole load of fire in their face. And the attacks will never stop. I mean, why would they stop? We're constantly going to be polluting them. Right, with green science, surely... Oh my god, Cliff's hitboxes are huge. Uh, right. With green set up, I can actually put a bit of thought into what we're going to research now. And yeah, I do think I'm going to migrate these one way or the other. Actually, I could still stick them right here. I want a clean driving route through. The question is, am I going to do anything with this space? And the answer is probably not. But the thing is, this is where all my resources are, so it makes kind of sense to do it here. Alright. 
that's what I'll do then, since I will probably always have a need for a place like this. Mm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And something like yonder. And try and keep this clear enough for my car. There we go. Now I can kind of drive through here whenever I need to get around. Okay, 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 okay. The green science is... Is it actually going in there? It is going in there. Sweet. Right, I need to put a lot of thought into what we're going to do from here on out. Wait, no spoon? Do you have to use the forks? You just pick up the bowl and slurp it down? How much time this man could save from actually using hotkeys instead of opening inventory every five seconds? <laughs> I'm not good with hotkeys. I never have been. Right, you know what? Believe it or not, I kind of want the circuit network, but I think I'll abstain for now. I need plastics into advanced circuitry um, because, oh, I want, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely mining productivity. The sooner we get that, the better. Just more output constantly. Uh, I would like modular armor, but that's a nice to have. Something I'm not going to work my way towards just yet. Would I rather have modules or blue science first? I think I'd rather get my blue science groove on. And then whilst blue science is automating, then I'm going to set up my efficiency modules. Seems to make sense to me. Mm, yes, that's quite a lot of science to get done, but it'll be done faster than I can imagine. What's the main expenses here? The first ones, actually, these one, these early ones are the most expensive ones. So that gives me plenty of time to get operational with my basic oil refining, and that means I need basic oil refineries. Good thing I picked up all those stones. I'm gonna need them here. Right, to make me... Uh, how many refineries is that going to be? God, not a lot if I don't have any steel. Give me a bunch of steel, please. There you go, a hundred of that. That'll be enough for as many... F well, actually, that might be too many. Fifty of that's going to be another... Well, there's one, two, three, four... Really, I only need, like, five of these, so... Let's do about six and call it a day. I'm also going to need some of these, which need chips. Good thing I'm buffering my chips. Just yoink. Imagine that, 400 chips just like that. The mind boggles. Right, to make me a bunch of those guys, do I have enough pipes? Yes and no, maybe more no than yes. I do, however, want a bunch of storage tanks. And you know what, make me some more pipes to ground, please. And while we're at it, I need that iron. Always need more iron. There we go. Some more pipes to ground. You guys are being made. Uh, do I already have electric pumps? I swear I made some thinking, haha, let's get these out of the way, but I swear a lot of things. I'm not seeing any. So go and make me a few of those just in case. I swear I find out that I do have them just lying around. I should kind of make a, an old crappy chest of stuff that I'm never going to want to see again. I should never need burner inserters again. Er, uh, um, er, uh, um, iron sticks are a thing of the past. Why do I have shotgun shells in my inventory? This old pistol of mine is surplus to requirements. Alright, good enough. Is that giving me time to get enough of these going? Yeah, probably. Right, let's go and bring that... Let's go and bring that juicy black gold back home. The question is, though, from where do I do that? You see, it already runs across here, but if any of these pipes get taken out, I don't want it to debilitate my entire oil network. So what I'll probably do is split the oil here, and bring the oil across, and use this area as my refinery. So it's a shame, because I've already pumped it along here. It's a big expense to use a lot more pipes to bring it across, but expense we shall handle. So to that effect, I can probably make my life a bit easier by, well, for one, getting rid of these damn stones. Trying more than once is cheating. And I've done a lot of cheating. Okay, okay. I want you coming along to pretty much here. So... Out of my way, damn trees. 
Damn, hippie and hippie enabler trees. Getting in the way of progress. I am probably going to regret the placement of that pipe at some point when I need to expand my mining operation. I think I brought you too far. No, no, in a sense I haven't brought you far enough. Come up here, please. By the way, this car is very hard to handle. It might not seem it, but it is. There we go. Now we split the oil 50-50. Half down to the fire, and half over to my 2B refinery. A quick check on the pollution tells me I am not bothering anyone over here. Taking out the tiny nest over here was uh, a, evidently a waste of time. But it might not have been. See, if and when our pollution does spread over here, it's going to give us actually quite a lot more chunks of absorbing the pollution before we antagonize the little bitery buggers. And Well, as we've seen on the massive desert here, every square counts. God, I just crashed my car more often than I've been able to drive it five feet. Right, refinery time. Hey, I actually have a driving license, Alpha. Not only that, I have got zero marks on the thing. I have never performed a traffic violation. Or perhaps to put it a bit more reasonably, I have never been caught performing a traffic violation. Yeah, I don't like not having any steel on me. Although uh, that steel doesn't last for... Whoa, what's your problem? Surely I have enough of you by now. Eh, maybe one more couldn't hurt. Anyway, it's good enough for you. Uh, that should be enough pipes to ground and enough pipes. And probably not enough storage tanks, so do make me more of those. I know they're kind of expensive, but it's an expense I'm willing to shoulder. Done, and done, and that should be fine. Okay, let's get going with oil refining. No need for cracking just yet, but let's somewhat future-proof our design. Out of my way, mostly dead tree. Uh, right, do I remember anything about how to crack oil? Do I remember which side the water needs to go in? Well, I think the game is remembering for me, so thank you, game. Uh, righty tighty. I want to space them out like so, probably. Dit and dit and dit and diddly. Uh, I mean, heavens knows we're going to need them like this anyway. And I'm going to want some power next to the damn things. Oh, wait, I'm making a bit of a faux pas here. Which side's bringing out the, um... Which side's bringing you out? Okay, that, that for now. Mm, I think I'd rather have it like that. I have heard that fluids filter a lot of people in this game. Including some people whose, uh... Whose minds I generally respect, but I'm just not seeing it. It's not a difficult concept. At least I don't think it's a difficult concept. And James, I can find difficulty with the most trivial of things in life. Hard to get traffic violations when you don't drive. I drove a fair bit back when I was in Scotland. Those were the days. Those were the good old days. What do you think? Do we future-proof this? Maybe so, maybe no. It's nice to get all of this down quickly, but it's... Uh, I mean, for future oil, but I think it's more important to get this... Um, what's it called again? It's the stuff that comes out here? Petroleum, right? Better to get that petroleum uh, working for me faster. So, right up here, we're going to have a healthy amount of of petroleum buffered right there. I'm gonna to want to drag it down the main bus anyway, so I have no qualms about this kind of setup. Oh, look at that reach. Mmm, delicious. 
I don't believe in using electric pumps at this point. The pressure on the system will be enough. However, I absolutely believe in buffering raw oil. So right here, donk, 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 and I have nowhere near enough storage tanks. Must be checking oil knowledge from your driver's examination. <laughs> I haven't passed my driving test first time. It's great, it allows me to be really smug at people who tell me, oh, you know, it's difficult. That's because of uh, because of my dad's very loving pressure. He, uh, he insisted that no one needs more than a handful of lessons, and then they'll just pass because driving's easy. Well, he wasn't wrong. I took six lessons, and I got it done. Right. Probably helped that I had two or three years of motorbiking experience before that. Okay, well that's set up, but the oil is no good unless we actually put it to some bleeding use. So, so, so... Uh, well, actually, it's no use until we get our plastics done. So uh, an idea to do right now is to set up some... Are you guys done yet? Kind of. Right, here's an idea. I'm going to wall off that western part just so it's never a problem again. We somewhat have some free time right now. So make me a bunch of walls. I already regret the small amount of these things I had. Imagine if I had doubled the amount of assemblers making the walls right now. Oh, I could be drowning in walls. How are you guys doing? Also, I made these fast inserters, right? How about we fast insert some things that could really do with it? I know, I know, this is this is the real barbarism. Who needs this much inserting in their life? The uh, the other guys certainly don't need it. You're probably going to need it once that thing starts being too much. Otherwise, otherwise, I could actually see you guys needing it. So mostly for buffers. Um, I do actually want to up my amount of green chips being produced. I feel like that was a bit too much in the way of... Ah, don't overthink it. Uh, down you come. Up you go. Probably no need for fast inserting around here, but what would I know? Glad I have plenty of these inserters. How long until I realize I don't have enough? Do 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 do. That's certainly not going to be fast enough later on, but whatever, we'll do for now. When I upgrade those, I'll need more. Right, it's pretty busy up north, but it's alright until there's a breach. Right, how much wall is that? Uh, not enough, probably. Yeah. Twenty-one hours of driving is compulsory around here. Twenty-one. It's quite a bit of driving. It's not a, not a difficult concept to grasp. <laughs> I know, I'm being too smug. Someday they'll bite me in the bottom. Right, a little bit more wall. Why do I even automate wall if I just pick it up like this? I do not know. Anyway, uh, I still have the pipes and the flamers, so let's go and wall off the west. That way we won't get any sneak attacks. It will be almost impossible to penetrate my base without me knowing. There is one place that I am purposely leaving undefended. And that is because I am somewhat convinced that little buggy bastards are not going to be going through it. There is a very thick forest to the northwest. I don't think the bugs are going to path through it. And I don't think kind of translates to I vaguely hope. Uh, right, how are we going to set this defense up? This is the point where we need to fend. Mm. It's a little awkward in a lot of ways, thanks to the little patches of water here, and the fact that this is so close. I could just draw a line down here. Up and along a bit. I think that makes sense. Not that I anticipate a lot of fights coming out this way anyway, but... Okay, we set that up. 
have this be the limit ish. I'd rather just put down lots of flamers here and be damn sure that no one's ever getting through, because this is not somewhere that I want to come and double back and check. So that should suffice. And they are going to get their oil straight from the source. Oh, if I could be so lucky. So I get milk straight from the cow. There you go. All oiled up. All ready to defend. There's no way in heavens I'm leaving just a single wall here, though. Like I said, I do not want to have to come back here and worry about this ever again. Yeah, you don't want triple wall. I quad walled the western wall in the previous run. And true enough, it never gave me grief. Yeah, just spend wall until we're done with wall. We can easily get wall for our base needs once we're home, but it's not so easy to do it the other way. Right, there you go. Good enough. Well, I will look to come back here one point later on to give those guys efficiency modules, but those are modules away. God, I gotta, I gotta stop taking the wrong route around here. Alright, we're buffering petroleum, we are buffering plenty of oil. One might even reasonably say too much oil. Is there anything else we need to worry about right now? Well, tell you what, since we're about to make plastics, our need for coal is about to get somewhat dire. So I'm going to redesign all of this. Am I really though? I guess so. Um... There's a lot to not like about the way I've set this up, but I'll just have to cope with the situation. I want to maximize the amount of coal extraction going on here, kind of future-proofing our coal needs. And it'll be the last of the main bits of ore that I do extraction for. We will need to do an iron-copper expansion, and the sooner we get that done, the better. But there is such a thing as too soon, uh, negating my stance that sooner is better. Uh, don't you need to be spaced? I think you do. Yeah, good enough. The thing about coal is we shouldn't need an abhorrent amount of it. Yeah, that goes over with the stone. Not liking that. Do we want to bring you down a little bit more? I think so. One problem we ran into in the previous run was that coal was... Uh, I guess it never got to the point where it was truly a problem, but we could see the bottom of our little coal bucket. That's not something I particularly want to be doing. here, split you, one into there, one into there, lots and lots and lots of power, why can't I reach you? I think that's the main problem, it's just not being linked up. Am I right, or am I right? I am right. Okay, good. Wouldn't have it any other way. Out of my way, out of my way. Up you come. Okay, I'll need to go and see to that, because clearly the biters are restless. And I should probably have some of this come on down to my absolutely... Hideous uh, mine here. <laughs> this, the horrors of my stone mine here have definitely cost me more time than it saved me. But you know what? It's horror somewhat 
delights me. Well, there you go. All right, one of them still isn't powered. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't design this properly, did I? However, it can be fixed like so. There we go. That's one of the things I like about Factory. It's lots of little puzzles. This is a real puzzle mastery game. Uh, surprisingly, though, plastics still aren't done. I do want to set up my plastics. Uh, you know what? I can probably just start setting it up and it'll be done by the time I'm there. However, it's also an opportunity to fix whatever wall broke. Can't remember what wall broke, though. Uh, I'm sure it'll come up later on. Right. <laughs> when the biters are rolling into my base. Keep those flamethrowers going, sunshine. And you, pick up the pace. I'm not paying you to be idle. Kinda scary how we're not buffering steel whatsoever. I really want to up the amount of um, of smelting I'm doing. Let's do that now, actually. Uh, double up smelting. My car is here, and my need for uh, steel smelters is right here. Uh, steel smelter. For a moment, I thought I hadn't actually researched it. Believe it or not, I have the steel. I just need the stones. How many of these is that going to make? Like 10 or so, right? I got, I got way too much garbage here. Um, take this off my hands. Get this ore off my hands. It's probably a waste of time. Time is a valuable thing. Watch it something by as the pendulum swings. There we go, just declutter a little bit. It's not like I'm producing too fast for these guys. Plastics is uh, 30 seconds, 15, 60 for mining productivity. That's a hefty one. Fortunately, I've got plenty of things to do before then. By the way, I have these gun turrets. I'm never, ever really going to use those gun turrets, so you also go into my chest of shame. Why don't I just take all the steel? Ooh, wow, that's a healthy amount of steel to take. There we go. Now, the amount of upgrading that I plan on doing is to the tune of 60, uh, 96 of these. So I might even want another couple of you guys down for this. Okay, screw it, I am taking all the steel then. So, simple enough to upgrade, just click and drag. This is actually going to use less of my... Oh god, I knew this was going to be a problem. Right, you go there, you go here. You just come along like so. Oh, but this isn't going to do much without long-handed inserters. Kind of makes me wish I'd put down uh, something in the way so I really could just click and drag for all of that. Okay, don't worry about the coal and the ore sharing a belt. That is a problem that will sort itself out. Do worry about the lack of stones, though. Or brick. Wow, I've actually burned all my bricks already. Glad I stockpile them like a crazed individual. I'm going to need a ton of them down the line, so it's no big deal. All right, that's actually probably too many, but I will need later. Uh, I will need some down the line. That's right. Even steel is getting done in steel smelters. Steelception, I believe they would call it. All right, that's clearly enough. Stop that. I don't want to. Ooh, oh, crumbs. I'm going to say I don't want to use up all of my bleeding bricks. 
I don't know why I keep bricks in the car. It's just, it's something that happened somewhat by accident last turn, and now just mentally I think, okay, the bricks are in the car. Uh, I'm going to need a whole bunch of long-handed inserters, so let's just be ready for it. Let's grab some of our buffered sprockets. Sell all of our buffered sprockets. Uh, I shouldn't need many more steel uh, chips here, but I do want you get... Wow! Well, no, I'm going to need them anyway. It's impressive how quickly those get done. I think around there is where I need to start caring about defense a bit more. Right, er... Uh, you there, take all you need. You take all you need. Am I going to need more long-handed? Probably need more down the line somewhere. And just like that, all of my iron was used up. Boy, I'm looking forward to the iron situation being better. Right, there's the long-handed. Let's fix our other problems. Okay, I actually ended up doing this in a bit more of an expensive manner, but whatever. That was a mistake. Oh god, I need to pick them all up, because I had them grab a plate. Wasting precious seconds, and they are precious. Remember, I lost my previous run to a grand total of... How much was it again? Like 20-something seconds? Uh, 20-something minutes. Oh, God, no. If I was off by seconds, I'd still be screaming in an inarticulate rage about it. Did I do that right? I think I did it right. Sometimes very hard to tell. Uh, right. This is a little easier to set up, because I just need you to come out like so. So close. As we established with Rhythm Doctor, I don't make a good metronome. Oh, easy now, Lord Seru, it still stings. This whole run is tainted by the fact that I died and reloaded early on. I suppose it wasn't that early, but it was still painful. I hate... I hate that aspect hanging over me like Damocles' sword. Right, there we go. So we double the efficiency of the coal thanks to the smelters, but we also double the consumption, so it's actually the same amount of coal going through, but for double the input, uh, double the output rather. So huzzah, we got ourselves the plastics, which I should probably start making now, meaning we actually need coal on the main belt. Easily done, he says, wondering where he's going to put it. I do have aspirations of having a second copper line here, rather than spaghettiing it in. So the sensible thing to do here... People immediately going, oh god, what's it going to be? I'll just have you come along. I'm already going to feel very glad that I... Uh, where are you going to be coming along here anyway? Right here. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Well, I was going to say I'm already feeling glad about something, but I already forgot what I was trying to say. Uh, this is a pretty trivial place to set up plastics. Doesn't need a lot of space, doesn't need a lot of anything, honestly. I just feel like I'm going to want this space for something down the line. Mm, depends where I do my reds, really. I can do my reds right here. They don't need that much verticality, do they? All right then, reds are coming along here. So the plastics here first. The plastics really don't need a lot of space. Coal has backed up in the first smelter now. Backed up in the first smelter, you say? Ah, yeah, I see what you mean. I thought that problem would correct itself. 
You know, I still think it'll correct itself, but whatever. Let's just grab the coal. Uh, get rid of the coal. Well spotted. I dread to think how long that would have been just sitting there with me going, oh, it's fine, I know what I'm doing. I know how to play Factorios. It'll correct itself, just not soon. That's another way to look at it. Right, there we go. Inventory's looking a little bit chunky here. Uh, perhaps my steel amount is a little too high for my own good, so I'll just shove some of it back here. I got some intermediates that I don't need, so dunk, dunk, dunk. How dare I hold on to these when I could shove them in the car? Right, I don't think I need more than three chemical plants for uh, for plastic, even though this let me down before. Plastics, da 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 da. Uh, you know what? I bet my life would be a little easier if I just gave myself a bit of space between them, because these guys are input hungry. And I would sooner use three regular inserters than even deign to use uh, fast inserters. You might ask, but why? And then I say, you're asking too many questions. Right, how's this work? It's, uh, it's more about the output than the input, so I think we'll be alright if we just have some thing like so not powered not a problem doesn't even warrant bussing frankly That pretty much ends the uh, the need for bussing coal, so... Why not just let plastics take the coal's place on the main line? Ew. Come on now. Uh, that should actually work out just fine, unless you work in a different way. I don't trust that, so there we go. There we go. Plastics in the main line. At least once you guys get what you need in terms of this juicy fluid. Um, that's the center part right there. So over you come and I like using the center two bits of leeway that I give myself in the main bus for bringing down different kinds of fluids. Your green science has a backwards belt. Does it now? Oh, it's got more than just that. <laughs> These things aren't even powered up. I was thinking my green science was going awfully slowly. Does it really have a backwards belt, though? Might have just been that power issue. Anyway, yeah, that... Ah. Something is... There we go. Ooh. All right, that's why I shouldn't just run off. Yeah, wow, okay, my green science was going at one-sixth of its speed for a very long time there. Terrifying. That cost me a fair bit of time. Well, not really. Well, yes, really, there's a lot of expensive green sciences, and I think I spent like 20 minutes of it not really rolling. Okay, well, so it goes sometimes. Right. Right, right, right. Given that I need to save time over my previous performance. All right, there we go. At least plastics are operational right now. Uh, I should have had my reds operational by now, but I obviously haven't. Uh, are those buffers full of chips? That's amazing. Right, let's go. There is work to be done. Uh, that work involves a lot of assembly machines, so let's make some assembly machines while we're at it. It's not like you lost the last try due to 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. I am aware of the situation. All those buffer chips, and I can put them to good use. 
Oh, I can put them to use. The, the good part is debatable. Car, take my ammo. I don't need that from the ammo anymore. Uh, also, please, I need some iron where I'm going. I mean, however, even if I'm making way too many assemblers here, I'm going to need them down the line anyway for um, well, for something. For advanced uh, assembler things. Oh, you have such trouble. He can't grab them in time! <laughs> I had no idea that was a problem for you. But you know what? It will grab them if it ever backs up, so that's not a problem. Right, now, the nice thing about red chips is that it's really just engines. Uh, there's there's going to gonna need some fixing, but it's pretty much just engines. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, this is too short, but that's okay. It's trivial to just extend you out a bit. Ah, well, we don't actually know how to make red chips yet. But we will real soon. So for now, let's just make sure we're not making engines. Or for that matter, pipes. You guys are going to be making me these instead. Uh, how did this go? Was it one in, two out? Or was it two in, one out? Given the production rate, I'm going to assume it's one in, two out, as long as that one in is quickly inserted. Right, bring over the power, make sure everything is powered, and da -da 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 -da. we're also going to need the inputting of a lifetime. Uh, you know, given the amount of fixing I've had to do here, probably would have been better just to redesign the whole thing. I need to reinforce that point. Uh, given that it doesn't really matter when I get this sorted, I'll actually do a bit of reinforcement right now. Fortunately, it's pretty close by to do so. It's not surprising. This is a corner, and corners are very vulnerable. Boy, that is a thing of beauty in its own way. Already a lot of my walls burned. Right. Double up. There's no way of reclaiming the oil that you take out of a flamethrower, which is very, very sad. But not much can be done about that. Oh yeah, that should sufficiently look after this corner for a wee while. Was there anywhere else along here in dire need of... Oh yeah. Oh god, yeah. Seems the buggers love to come along here, so I will love to oblige them. Dunk, dunk, dunk. I don't trust them along here either, so have a bit more. Not huge attacks, but still want them dead. My base to be alive. Anywhere that I'm seeing that there's any hint of attacks, that is somewhere that I want to add more. We have the flamethrowers and they're doing absolutely nothing, just sitting in my inventory. So... There you go, go. Like I said, I want every bit of this double walled, but that's not always feasible given my pathetic wall production. Uh, 
Yeah, let's waste a bit more time as we uh, agonizingly wait for that green science that should have been running for much longer than it was. And get back to perfecting this. Could we mod the game to allow the car to go into the lake? It would be funny. Funny for whom? Well, probably you. I'm sure that's the implication. Why has this come up this way but not actually do what I want it to do here? Uh, that's because you're meant to enter here and then exit there like that. There we go. Abide to my standards. Uh, this red circuits aren't quite so ghastly at consuming um, at consuming right mm, yes yes you're just going to go up and around so really I don't even know why we main bus you actually we main bus you because I need you for low density structures wow and I almost forgot that entirely. I'm running out of undergrounds, so there's another problem I need to fix. But up along come the greens, and the plastics, and the reds get outputted here. Holy moly, that's not good. As soon as I have these reds set up, I need to go and check that out. We don't buffer reds, but we want to get them underway. They do, fair, they do take a fair time, after all. Right, I feel like something here is still a ghost. You. Otherwise, hopefully those are all working. Not time to stress over it. I have got to make sure I've got a bit more wall and then take care of the north. Thank you, car. I'd rather have exoskeletons, but you know what I don't have? Exoskeletons. Also, more space for you. Hey, mass production one. And if you're thinking, didn't we see this achievement already? Uh, then probably. This game has some questionable ways of handling achievements. Uh oh. Uh oh, you guys are out of stone entirely. Uh, which puts my wall situation in a bad place. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's grab these for now. Shove the bricks in the car. But we need to take care of that problem up north. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. I need my labs working more. They are too slow. Probably need to double up my power at some point. That point is now. Okay, what seems to be the problem, sir? The bugs want the uranium. And they seem to like focusing on this point. A problem best solved with copious violence. Copious enough? Maybe. Go. Hey, if you just press Q on that, it automatically brings up a, a mining drill. The more you know. Right, I need boilers and engines.
Uh, I need 10 boilers. That should do it. And engines need sprockets. Which thankfully I make plenty of right here. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I do want more sprocket production though. Which is more. I can rather happily have these things do that, and then they end up double lined. Uh, right, sprockets, did I grab enough? I don't know, I never feel like I have enough of them. I need 20 engines. That should have been a stack enough for 20. So if you, get, if you just keep it down by five pipes, that'll be okay. There's also a hole down south. A hole, you say? There's a single hole there. Probably not a problem just yet. However, if they're focused enough to make a hole there, that means that it needs reinforced with flamers. One single flamer is pretty good, but not good enough. Yeah, that's the hole, and yeah, just look at the little mini buggy som here. Right, well then. Screw it, we have the flamers, just kill them all, hang them high. Holy moly! I suppose it should come as no surprise that the desert is providing me with plenty of uh, fried bugs to eat. Oh, I will happily eat the bug. There we go, just just stay the hell away from me. I might mean this little part here in the middle seems uh, grossly undefended comparatively. Every one of these flamers costs me like 250 plates or so, so maybe that's overkill. In fact, that's definitely overkill, right? Give me... Give me like five or six of these guys back. Don't make me regret that choice, but there should be plenty of flames. Now, are those red circuits coming out? Because they sure look like they're coming out. I'm starting to think I need uh, chemical science before I need mining productivity. Mining productivity takes a while. And I need to set up my science. But I do want my mining productivity quite a lot. Because hmm. this is much faster and considerably cheaper. Hope I don't live to regret this. Anyway, those engines should be done. That's 20 engines. Wait, that's 10 engines! Oh, that's because it stacks only to 10. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. Thank you. Hmm, three hours thirty left in the clock. I need to pick up the pace, but that's nothing new to anyone. Right, thankfully, clever bugger that I am, I've already got this all sorted out, right? Oh, actually, this will be easier if I put down you first. And then in go these. And then it shouldn't even be possible to mess up where the engines go. Hearing those poor engines struggling. It's okay, I somehow accidentally made an extra water pump. So this will be okay as long as I can source some water. Hey, look, some water. With one simple trick, you could have reds on the side of the belt. You mean the belt that was carrying the other stuff? Yeah, for sure, but there is no time! If there was ever any idea of there being time, it was a falsehood. Hey, I got some uh, some spare coal, just take it off my person. It's not like I need to use it to handcraft grenades. 
God, this Dolores music is so good and so fitting for this. Right, dit dit, blue ship, sailing along the something something. There we go. Anyone know their playground rhymes well enough to know what the blue ship does? Alright, there we go. Done and done recht. By the way, I'm expecting someone at the door soon-ish, so forgive me, there will be an interim moment where you'll have to talk amongst yourselves whilst I collect my new dance mat. There we go. Yeah, my new dance mat. I was getting sick of my jerry-rigged solution to the dysfunctional arrow on my dance mat, and my attempts to home repair it fell short, so I did the sensible thing and ordered myself a new dance mat fresh from Poland. This isn't right. You come up here. These red circuits will be useful down the line. Right. Uh, you know what's better than having all of these red circuits? Having twice as many red circuits. Hey, you know what? With one cool trick, we could have them output like that. Hmm, is that what I want? That would be a pretty cool trick. That would be a pretty cool trick. I just need to reverse the thingamajiggers. Uh, well, no, I actually need a bit of space between them, but it's still a cool trick. We need to take in from here, though. Output like so. Is this really the time for doing fancy new things with this? I don't know. Seems dangerous in its own way. One, two, three. Dip. Dip. And you're going to need to make space for the king of the road. Ah, crumbs. Ah, double crumbs. That's okay. One little hole won't make a difference. Uh, right, you there. I need some undergrounds right now, please. You can spare me a few, I'm sure. Yoink. Alright, good enough. What was that? That was probably sulfur, right? Yeah, good. Shove them in. Wonder how long until I realize something is horribly malfunctional about this. Sweet. Chemical science already done. I can get back to the other stuff. Um, I wonder if this is going to be enough or if I'm going to face uh, a problem with a throughput of uh, green chips. Probably not. I mean, these things are slow to produce, right? Well, maybe so and maybe no. Either way, I'm going to bring a, a fresh... Well... well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it. I have not run the ratios here. Maybe I should, right? That's um, seven and a half blue chips, uh, green chips per second. These guys each need two every six seconds. But there are a lot of them. Mm. I don't, I don't trust it. I do not trust it, puppet pal, Mitch. Uh, 
that we can. That we can. Good thing I made some extra undergrounds just for this. Of course, we need you to out boot. And I have royally buggered this up. I don't know why I did half the things I did there, but there we go. There's red coming out. And I can already make myself some blue science, which I think I'll do right here. Ah, crumbs. What's the setup for blue science? He's managed to forget. Talk to me, blue science. You could just output like this. And uh, Nix has drawn us a beautiful diagram to show what he means. Mmm. Can't believe I don't have this blinding level of intellect. Right. Right, right, right. Sulfur Reds Engines. Uh, but how many? I think you need quite a lot of blues. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh... Keep it very, very simple, like so. Just want to make sure that I'm not struggling on power right now. Why am I struggling on power? Well, I think we can all see the problem right there. Where's my car? Too far away. Oh man, they love that corner. I should have noticed something when there wasn't a whole load of steam pouring out there, but there we go. Although I doubled up the power, I didn't actually connect it. Right. You need mostly the reds, so the reds get a dedicated belt. I mean, not that that's a huge deal. I don't have the sulfur yet. I'll set the sulfur up right here. How's that work again? Also, why do you do that when I need you to come along here like so? Helps me keep a visualization on the main bus when I drag it down like so. Right. Uh, sulfur. 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 Sulfur... I don't need sulfuric acid yet, but I will. So, I want three chemical plants for sulfur, although I probably don't need three chemical plants for sulfur. One, two, three, sulfur, da da da. I need water. Don't we all? I feel like I'm uh, running a little bit of a pipe deficit here. Right, where's my nearest water? Nowhere near. Uh, that's a bit of a problem because I am going to need water for... Oh, hello! Water. Great. Do I have the wherewithal to have a water pump? Water pump is production. Hey, there we go. And one is all you need, truthfully. Uh, let's just drag that water up here. You'll be my main bus water. I hope you don't get ravaged by uh, the bugs. So I'll keep you relatively far away. Yeah, now nah, there's all. Those all managed to deal with that. Right, come on, water. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of dude where is my in this. Mostly down to my own bumbling. That's okay, I prefer it this way. Uh, I prefer it that way then, come on. Dip, 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 dip. There we go, all the water it could ever need. Sulfur is on its way. Don't you dare, dude, where's my sulfur, me? 
That's right, he'd sooner use two than use a blue. Uh, Sulfur doesn't need to go very far. So I got no real qualms with just dragging it along here. And then directly up to here. Although I need yet more underground pipes, uh, underground belts rather. Come on now game, I'm not made of time here. Fortunately I am at the point where I can just scoop iron off the belt if I need it. And I currently do need it, so take that. Here you are. Err... Uh, hmm. Okay, now one of the more frightening things is that engines also need to come down here, and that's a fair trek for my poor engines. But I'll take the walk back as an opportunity to grab some belts of shame. Uh, maybe a couple inserters of slightly reduced shame. Really need to increase this. Oh god, the engines are all the freaking way back here. Um, uh, am I buffering engines? Good. I need like 800 of those. Oh good, it keeps 800. Alright, well I shouldn't need any more, so thank you. Uh, it doesn't change the fact that these engines need to come over here. I still want those flamethrowers, although it might seem greedy. Alright, well, this is a uh, blatant misuse of my boss. But we're just gonna spaghetti out our engines. Oh god, my desired second run of copper isn't gonna like that. Go, my engines be free! <laughs> or tax deductible. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be hideous. Okay, come on. Going on a magical mystery tour, my engine friends. Someone out there is... Vomiting profusely. Even take it out in the wrong side. <laughs> uh oh. Mistakes were made. Where? Why? How? There we go. Alright. Done and done. R well done. Shouldn't overuse done and done right when something is blatantly not done in a right manner. Goodness, I am paying for that mining productivity. Okay, should all be done. You just all come together, and we gotta bring our blues. Abadi Abadi, right the way back here. Excellent. Right, I'd be on blue science right now if it weren't for my uh, monumental cock up early on. Which is to say that I left um, something like 80% of my green science not running for about 20 minutes. Alright, there we go. We've got access to blues for all. Fortunately, the modules won't take long to do, and there's not really any other green science that I'm desperate for. I suppose I want those batteries. But I think it's more important to get advanced oil processing operational first. Once I get the oil processing, I get my batteries, so I can set up batteries for the long haul. 
after that, we are actually getting towards the end game, believe it or not. And I forgive you for not believing that. Would like my lab research speed increased a wee touch, though. I'd like the number of labs increased as well, but can't have everything. Hmm. Did he forget to make output on the blue? Most assuredly. Getting to the point where I want advanced electronics and low density structures so I can start setting those up. I would quite like modular armor as well if the blues can't keep up. Nothing's really lost here though because the blues are taking their sweet time to produce anyway. It's a shame you only get two blues. It's not until you get to the advanced science that you get three output per uh, production cycle. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And a mining productivity boon is mostly welcome. What should I set up for? I think I'll set up four modules now. So the modules I'll just shove right over here. All they need are greens and reds, so it's incredibly simple to set up. The not so simple part is just how devilishly hungry they are for greens and reds. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hey, man, I am the circuit veteran around here. Mining productivity up. Good. You guys really don't need anything too fancy. Where's that? That's up north. That's fine. I did reinforce the north like Fort Bloody Knox up there, so shouldn't be a problem. Really? Right, I'll just sort those out soon enough. Oh man, am I am I a bad enough dude to do it remotely though? Ooh, that's a, that's a thought. Right, over you go go as well. There. Okay, it's not really how I wanted it, but that'll do. <laughs> just that final bit of belt I laid was completely superfluous. Why am I compelled to do these things? I think I'm going to use some dark magic relating to my module output. Uh, speaking of, how high do modules stack again? Uh, I think it's 50 in a stack. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 34, 15, 16, 800. How many of these blasted things do I even want? Let me check my notes from last time. How many did I make? I'll attempt to check my notes. Just buggered up what I had here. Mm, you know what? I'm just going to let the whole thing fill up. I used a ton of them and I could still have used more, so I'll keep it like that until I need to shift it over to efficiency modules, uh, productivity modules rather. This is a clear sign that I need more labs put down. So we're coming back here and we are making some more labs. How are you guys all doing? It's uh, probably not enough assembly machines. Right, laboratories, pretty please. Uh, you know what, do make me more assembly machines, I actually want to upgrade us to better machines real soon. Oh my goodness, look at all these buffers. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Give me half of that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You just keep going. Give me my sprockets as well. Boy, do I feel clever about upping my sprocket amount. There we go. You all keep going. Heavens knows I'm going to need these assembly machines. Actually, that might be enough assembly machines. Call canny. Uh, and that is probably enough labs. Got my inserters, got my belts, let's just go up to Daisy. Uh, of course you guys are in the way, why do I even have these? Where's my car? That's fine, I triple walled that for just such an emergency. I don't have particularly large inventory slots, and I would love some modular armor to fix that, but for now, activate car. Car proves insufficient. Uh, 
Uh, Alright, maybe before I go and faff around with my inventory a bit more. There. There we go, just keep things operational. Uh, there's something to be said about how I'm setting this up. Probably something quite bad. I was worried that this would clog up given the segregation that I had between my ore patches, but it seems to be working out alright. everyone gets one red inserter and one yellow inserter we can do no wrong here all right goody goody I will want uh, productivity modules in these at some far flung futuristic point but that point is not now no no don't you don't you run off on me car get rid of some of that copper get rid of some of that copper why do I have some science on me? Uh, have I done advanced oil processing yet? No, but I'm about to, so I certainly want to set that up. I've got seven storage tanks. That may or may not be enough. I've got engines for some reason. Only because I defend my base well. Uh, let's just ditch these engines here. I'm getting in my way. Right, efficiency modules, but my efficiency module setup is all the way over there. Haha, -ha, not to worry, you see, I will copy this, and then I will go and... There we go. But that won't work. Well, you know what, you might be right, so let's go and waste time anyway by double-checking. Na 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 na. Would you look at that perfect... Perfectly arranged. And I didn't even have to be there. Right, now I should have enough chemical plants. Uh, I should... probably don't have enough pipes to ground. Air, um, air, um. Pipes to ground, as many as you can please. This is one of the bigger expenses on my uh, on my pipes, probably the biggest even. Good thing I buffer pipes. All right, let's get to work on that then. Oh, I need water over here. Do I have a spare pump, or did I bring water over? I could probably just bring that water over. Is there a more convenient source of water? There is not. One source of water can deal with all your all your needs like that, so I'll just agonizingly slowly walk over here despite having a perfectly functional car. That's it, I'm going back for the car. I think I fixed the bottom one for modules. Oh, that's right. Uh, I got way too much copper in here. Just ditch that copper. Make sure I have the space, please. I wonder if I'm doing better or worse than last time. That green science delay, I think, hurt me pretty badly. And I really need to get additional uh, ore extraction going. the water down from here so I've got a better idea. Thank you Forrest, you've done a lot for me, but you're mostly dead now. Oh nice, look at all that backed up oil. What a time to be alive. Yeah, actually I might need you out at the end, but we don't need you out at the end now, so we'll ignore you for now. And let's just change you over to advanced oil. Yeah! 
so much better than basic oil. It even gives you more sulfuric acid. Uh, not sulfuric acid, petroleum. Which I am just haphazardly storing here. Of course, it very quickly backs up with the other types of oil. Heavy and light. I actually really like the uh, the fluid dynamics in this game. Pressure can be a real late game bummer, leading you to want to make entire stretches of pipe that's nothing but pumps and no pipes. Right, what are we going to do with you here? I am going to output you to a place here and a place here, into you and you and you and you and you and you. And you. Alright, great, that's plenty of overflow space. I don't really need to care about it any more than that, but I should probably set it up good and proper. Um, yeah, well, the lack of cracking hurt me pretty badly last time, so I shouldn't need too much of this. Uh, this is going to be... Lubricant. And... Crack and crack. You don't make that much heavy oil anyway, so I don't think this will be a huge deal. And hey, would you look at that? I got my water right here. Uh, we haven't discovered lubricant yet, or researched it. I got I got very mixed feelings about the the way of unlocking research by doing actions that's planned for um, the Factorio expansion. That doesn't feel very fitting to me. Anyway, you just pipe right back into the system. It's okay. The pressure will surely keep things fine. As for light oil, well that stuff's got a lot to do. Um, let me just pipe it out. And what are you going to do? Um, mm, let me think, let me think. My ratio was off last time, I believe. I think I could do something like that with making you into solid fuel. These guys will do rocket fuel for me when we get that far. And then once you have done that, I'm going to crack you into... Whoops. I'm going to crack you into uh, petroleum when we get this far. That should suffice. I am aware of how quick and incredibly dirty this is. Filthy, even. But it's what we have. I don't even want to use more underground pipes, so... Uh... You can get your water that way. Although I have a lot of underground pipes, it seems like a daft thing to worry about. I need a way through here, champ. problem. There you go. Water for all. I need to come back here and sort out some things. Uh, not least of all the power, which I should probably sort out right now. And the fact that this... Um this should just flow right back into the system. No harm, no fuss. There we go. Flawless. That is to say, there is no flaw with my setup. 
The water's not connected to one of the crackers. I think I fixed that. Any outstanding problems here? Well, it's a little dark to see, so let's not worry about it right now. Hey, my battery's done. Right, well, we can be way ahead of the game now. What do we do now? Ugh. It was not fixed. Okay, well, uh, I think I deserve a, uh, a bonus for everything I've done. I'm going to make myself some modular armor. I am going to... Do I want the labs to be faster? It's not very expensive to speed them up, and I will need this, but it's probably more important to get the fancy text done. I already researched the batteries. I'm going to get on that pretty much immediately. But I think once I set up my batteries, I need to set up my second smelter array. Rocket fuel's not a priority, honestly. But blues and LDSs absolutely are. Alright, alright, so I'm going to set up my batteries, do a mining expansion, double up on my smelting, and then I will sort out advanced electronics, low density structures, and rocket fuel, all of which are needed for the glorious rocket launch. I'll also need productivity modules, speed modules, and the other fancy things needed for the silo. Hey, you know, we're getting ever closer. It's looking good, isn't it? Oh, I'm not making power armor too, god no. Holy crap, those speed and efficiency modules that they need are just beyond uh, beyond the scope, shall we say. Power Armor 1 might not be the worst idea in the world. I mean, it does have uh, 20 inventory slots. But no, the main reason I want this is for the 10 inventory slots. That might not make it worth even getting. But I'm sure we can spare the steel and stuff. Right, what cracking did not get water? I see. I see it now. I see it all. There you go. Hopefully none of that overflows. I'm aware that I haven't set up a single... Um, a single... Words, Jake. Words. Radar. So it's hard for me to keep track of, well, anything inside my base. Alright, job well done. I may or may not need... Get away from me. More of you, so let's just make a bunch of you while we're at it. And... Well now, three hours left to go! I think I am about half an hour ahead of my previous run, because I just set up advanced oil on the previous one, when I had two and a half hours left to go. So, 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 so... I want to set up my batteries, of course, and then it's time to expand the smelting array. There aren't... Mm, yeah, there are, there are a lot of gaps in the iron. The iron absolutely needs to be fueled up more. And fortunately, I've already got my copper and my iron close to hand, so we will get those going pretty quickly. So yeah, batteries, more of that, and then... Right, let's go. What do batteries need? Batteries need uh, chemical labs, which I don't think I have any of, right? certainly don't see any, so come to me chemical labs. Don't I need, like, a bunch of those, though? Yeah, they're going to take their sweet time, aren't they? Um, I'm also going to need a whole heap of um, steel furnaces. I have 35, I need like 90-something of them. How could you be out of coal? You've got all the coal you could want here. Actually, what... Oh, you're going the wrong way, that's why. Well, that's a bad sign. A very bad sign, because it means all of my stone brick production completely died, and I need a whole bunch of that stuff later on. Well, kind of now, actually. Hopefully I still have plenty in the car. How much is plenty? 1.8 thousand? Yeah, maybe. Uh, well, give me those stones. We need a bunch of... I also need electric mining drills, actually. Just make me a whole bunch of those. What went down? Southern wall, again. Well, whilst this stuff is being made, I'll go and check on the old southern wall. I need to grab some walls, and I've always got some uh, lamer turrets to hand. Oh yeah, crikey, look at this. It takes a punishing. Ooh, it takes a heck of a punishing.
Okay, well. Time spent on defense is seldom time wasted. Pipes. Okay, we've got a lot of pipes. Uh, time spent repairing walls is, however, time quite wasted. Alright, good enough. Is there another hole around here? Anywhere in the south that's just... Oh, that's good. Oh, love to see it. Burn the buggers. Oh, and there's the door. That's probably my dance mat. I will be back in a wee while. Alright, there we go. You know, between the long gaps, the death, the save scumming, it's going to be a miserable run in the end. God forbid I might actually have to edit it down, cut out the gaps, you know, take away the blemish of dying. Anyway, what was I doing before I was interrupted there? A great interruption though, that dance mat's here. Gotta hand it to my time in Hungary, I've always just gotten the things I ordered, like the first uh, eligible minute for delivery. This was meant to come between 12 and 1, came 12 on the dot. Maybe I'm on a good route, but I'm just used to the miserable delivery that I get in Sweden. I really can't remember what I was coming back up north to do. Anyone remember better than me? Probably everyone. I think it was batteries. Batteries sounds like something I was wanting to do. Oh, uh, well the chocolate order was something entirely different. That was a problem with customs. And yeah, no one, no one has a good time with customs, right? What's the problem here? What's the problem here? Take my bricks, take my bricks. Okay, bricks, steel, iron, chips. All the things that you'd normally just handcraft without a care in the world. Uh, pretty long pipes as well. It's fine, we have that triple wall for a reason. Nice to see the steel actually piling up a touch. Go, go, go. Do I have you going? Five? Whoa, whoa, that's already too many of you. I shouldn't need any more of those, let alone that many of you. And when it comes to the furnaces, I got 68. I need about 90 odd of you. Uh, like one more setup of you should do. Now let's go and make some batteries. Batteries need sulfuric acid, iron, and copper. Sulfuric acid needs sulfur, which we have right here. So let's just... Does it just need sulfur or does it need water? Needs, uh, I don't know, needs the iron plates as well. Um, well, ain't that a kicker? A kicker of the teeth. Um... Right, what'll I do then? What'll I do, 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 do? I see it all now. I never made those underground belts that I desperately need either. Crumbs. I really need to go back and just make a dedicated load of these kinds of things. Right, yoink. Make space for others, and yoink some more. You make space for the oncoming iron. And how much of this could you possibly need? Um, uh, I think I positioned you wrongly there. Because the water can come in from... Jeez, what am I doing to myself? Not thinking well, that's for sure. Right, that gets that. The water is right here, fortunately. And what I can do with that water is just bring it right along like so. And there we go. Yeah, one of this will surely be enough. That's loads of sulfuric acid. Now, that sulfuric acid is gonna be used for a whole lot of blues, which I'll probably produce right here. Eh, maybe here-ish, because I need those reds. Uh, right, well then. 
I didn't leave the copper in here. Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Set two batteries. Da 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 da. We're gonna drink that up. I'm gonna need a whole host of stuff for it, but that's okay. Am I running low on power poles? I am, but I am not Sounds like a riddle, but it's not. For that, I left some here. Yoink. Right, go and grab some iron and some copper. Whole bunch of both. Also, keep my bricks for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. <laughs> it's a very stressful run, so yes, I am DDR stressed. There we go. It's all the batteries I'll ever need. You get two pair, right? No, but I'm making 800 batteries, which should be enough. I'll need them for the flying robot frames, and that's it. Okay, with them done, what do I do now? I really need to set up my extra patch. But since they've been being made for a while, why don't I grab some of these modules? It's a good way to check that they have been produced as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, where are these where are these things getting used anyway? On anything that's active, pretty much all the time. Oh, crumbs! Actually, in my opinion, it's best to use them on the miners first, because the miners are really, really stinky. Also, I don't have blue. Oh, right, here's another thing that should be used on. These guys hog a lot of energy, and they'll be running a lot. So let's have that done. Miners that are green can get these. Yeah, a fair few of them. Hey, you go. You guys have a little bit of it. All right, the stone situation seems to be coming along just fine. As usual, they left my car behind. Doop -de doop what was even that? Advanced Electronics 2! Wow, we are making our way through this a storm. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Seems a whole lot smoother than last time. Albeit with a bumpier start. Right, let's get rid of the miners that are exhausted, and then any that are not exhausted are going to get some efficiency modules. You can tell that they're exhausted because they have a red light, although if you hover over them you can also see how much ore they have left underneath them. If you're really fancy, you could set up some wires that uh, show total amount of ore in the beds and such, although I don't know how you could translate that into automatically. Yeah, screw it, just take all of these. Lower power consumption, less pollution output. I don't, I don't really think it matters whether pollution is localized or not. In the end, it's all just being poured on top. Hello, hello, what's the slowdown here? I think I'm creating science faster than I can consume it, which is a great reason to spam some productivity modules on there. Also, how's the power usage looking? Well, look at how much my power consumption from electric mining drills just took a dive. That's good. Right, how are we doing? We have over 100 of those, which is great. Uh, I may or may not have enough electric mining drills, so let's just keep the production of those flowing. I mean, I, I really don't know if I have enough or not, so... Couldn't hurt to just make another fat batch of them. And let's get mining, although that's going to necessitate quite a lot of some things I've been neglecting to build. I want a lot more undergrounds, quite a bit more undergrounds, and I'm going to need some more splitters. And I'm also going to need some red belts which are going to necessitate a bunch of sprockets and a bunch of regular belts. 
Ain't no way I'm going to need uh, more of a buffer than that, but I'll keep it, I suppose. Uh, couldn't hurt to have a bit more of you. Definitely couldn't hurt to just take all of you. And uh, maybe more. The sulfuric acid has very little water in it when concentrated. Oh, you mean in real life. Sorry, I don't deal in real life. I neglect reality and make my own. Right, you guys, get to work. I didn't grab the sprockets, of course. Get to work. That's not a great way to do it. I need a lot more of these than than that. Which actually also means I need a lot more sprockets than that. Grab me another couple batches of sprockets. I don't need a lot of red belts, but they're just there to solve some throughput issues that I'm going to have with my smelter. And I will have throughput issues on the smelter. Now let's go. At least this time the expansion shouldn't take 20 bloody minutes and re uh, require going through extremely dangerous terrain. Hey look, it's right here. Let's get to work. No quick and dirty stuff here. I need this densely uh, mined out. Am I wanting to use undergrounds? Do I want it that dense? The answer is no. I don't mind doing a tiny gap between the uh, the miners here. I mean, what's the efficiency loss on having this one tiny gap between every, like... I don't even know how often it is, but it's not often. All it really costs me is... hang on. It's always worth checking that to see that the breach isn't causing a huge breach. Well, huge enough to be a problem. Right. Yeah, all this really costs is small power poles, and who in their right mind ever cares about efficiency of using small power poles? Not this guy, that's for sure. Okay, I need to bring the power back and bring the... Um... Bring the belts back. Fortunately, it's a very short jaunt, so I'm not even going to worry about taking the car. I'd say around 6% loss. I am happy enough with a 6% loss. There we go. All fully operational. Now, 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 now. How are we going to do this? That is dis freaking gusting. Can we? No, no, there is no way around this. Or is there? There we go. I hate wasting undergrounds. They are expensive. Yeah, yeah, belts aren't really expensive, but they're really expensive. There we go. This gets nibbled away at as priority for some reason. Um... Do I want both of these belts brought back? Not really, but I think I will bring both of them back anyway, because it's a very short jaunt. Just in case of bringing this up. And what I could actually do is ensure that the full red belt comes from you. Yeah, you know, I can get behind that. I'll even take the car. Gotta be someone's idea of efficiency. Whoop, no, 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 no. The belts do move the car, in case you are wondering. Ugh, right, uh, this is the copper. The original copper belt is very surprisingly still keeping things strong here. I like that. Right, how long you come here? Oh god, there's a lot of trees to cut down. Let's get on that first. Pillboxes were never torn down because it actually takes quite a long time to mine those things out. And sure, I'd get back a bit of wall, but I don't think it's worth the time. Why are these marked for deconstruction? The 
probably just something I clicked and dragged over without too much consideration. Oh, this is ugly. Right. Yeah, it's getting uglier. Right. So how does this work? Well, it works like so. We make sure that you are mixed, like grill. Then we bring you up here. And then this becomes all those reds that I didn't pick up. How many reds is that? Mm, not enough, I dare to say. Can you hold on to a bunch of these for me? I need to grab some sprockets and make sure that the reds flow. That's another 120 reds right there. I'll do this for now. Now. I already regret not blueprinting, uh, blueprinting this. You know, I totally don't need to set up right now. The copper hunger isn't uh, dire just yet. Anyway, you guys are red. From top to bottom. And then once you reach this far, it's just yellows. What are we going to do with the original mine? Gee, I don't know. Good thing I didn't efficiency module it, or much of it. Uh, I can use you to make another smelter bit here if I find the copper is lacking. Oh, some of you guys went down during the time that I gave you your goods. Yeah. Anyway, good enough. Actually, that might not be good enough. We might actually have some copper backing up. If you guys are still mixed on copper and... You're not. Okay, then nothing to worry about. Right, so even though we didn't need the extra copper, we've got the extra copper. I wonder if I'm going to find that it actually can't keep up on the mining front. That would be quite funny. It wasn't a whole heap of, um, of copper miners after all. Right, you know what, just in case things do get ugly on that front, I'm going to make myself a backup here. Like so. My affronts to efficiency have not yet finished. I'm going to do this. If there are ever any gaps... Then the copper is going to flow here and fill out any gaps. There we go. Now that's one guaranteed red load of copper that gets smelted. Except I don't have the output for it. That's another question I'll need to solve at some point. Some point really soon. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. What I will first and foremost do though is copy and pasta this. Because I do not want this to become some kind of horrible mistake. Just line it up with the existing smelters and you'll be fine. Now last time I ran this, you know, my glorious failure, I didn't need to double up my steel production. Will that still be the case? I don't know. I do like how neat the uh, the power poles are for this. Anyway, iron remains the priority, so let's go and double up our iron production. On the double, don't worry about the tree. Trees self-heal, even the dead ones. As long as you don't completely kill them. I'm talking about the damage they take, not the pollution damage they take. That is something altogether different. Uh, oh boy, things are looking a bit grim along there. How am I, how's my wall situation doing? I think I'll take a slight detour and do some walling up before I expand production. Pipes do not self-heal. Well, much to my surprise, this isn't actually broken. But it is feeling the pressure, so let's just 
fill you up. Oh, especially along here. There we go. Feel a lot better about that. Ah, stress, stress, stress. It's okay. My life needs a bit of stress. I live a very happy life. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing a bit of my edge. Because I'm not put under enough immense stress. <laughs> See that tree? That tree will self-heal from the damage that I just did to it. Except it won't because I'm going to kill it. There we go. This corner is a dangerous place and it's already been broken through a little bit. I'm just going to reinforce your wee touch. Anywhere else looking mighty dangerous? Yes, you. Weak point. Also weak and almost, almost made it all the way through. Now that is concerning. Ah, but hardly surprising because it's at the edge. They even did a bit of damage to the, uh, to the flamethrowers. Okay, mining, why do I have a spare engine? Did I fail to put one down for some reason? Well, it's like 40 engines to me. Why are you killing all the trees? <laughs> trees are just future power pulls. Don't listen to Bob Ross. He doesn't know what he's on about. Inventory too cluttered with ore. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Now the power pulls don't self-heal either. Oh my days, right. I'm doing nothing but clobbering the power pulls. This is what I get for driving too much. Did I mention how I have no parking or driving vi uh, violations? Actually, I don't even have any parking violations. Now, that's quite an achievement in life. Right, for the love of God, let's get that mining uh, expedition done. That was probably a tree, not my problem. We would know if it's a power pole because it would have exploded. Power poles explode for some reason. Okay. You never owned a car in Stockholm. That's right, I didn't. Why would I? I might lay into Stockholm for a lot of reasons, but its public transit system is very good. Very expensive, but it's very good. When I was living there, I was told about how uh, cost-effective it is. You know, the price is very reasonable. I'm sure it is, but now I'm in Hungary, and it doesn't even cost a euro to get a ticket. Right, Worm, are we going to have a problem? We better not have a problem. What things do I even need? I think I've already placed more than I need. How many to fill a yellow belt with mining productivity? One? Because 57 feels like plenty. I'm going to assume that it is plenty. We'd really lay the power poles before the belts. That poor worm just has to live in this disgusting, nasty... Oh. Don't you, don't you dare. I am willing to let you live and see the suffering that I bring for you and your people. But you've got to play nice with me. Wicked worms. Right. Split her into here. And there we go. Two yellow belts. Where's my car? Car's down there.
Ugh. Looks clear as a daisy, but no. Yeah, <laughs> there's just no winning with this. Okay, right, come on. Damn these cliffs. Damn that Dr. Fred. Oh, they really like that corner. Right, that's something to keep in mind. Right, what journey do you need to take? Get to the other side of the, uh, of Copper Barry, and we're fine. I'm not fine when it comes to my number of belts, though. Oh, you are barely able to make that. And clever people play with cliffs off. It does not nullify anything achievement-wise or otherwise, so it's probably a decent idea, but... I, I suppose I can see the viability of cliffs as natural protection. It's like water. Biters have no way of traversing it whatsoever. Alright, you know what? Just, just give, them, give them all to me. Right. Right, 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 right. What are we doing here? I think we'll combine this into one red belt for one of these, and then you guys can feed the other one. It all comes out and meshes up the same way anyway, so it's no skin off my nose. With that in mind, and the way things are laid out, I'll have you do the bottom side. So, we just ensure that you are split properly. And then you come along here in a red belt. Whee! And there we go. And the rest of it will be yellow in due time. Once I set us all up, and boy do I have a fair bit to set up if that's the case. In fact, let's just do this right now. So all of this is rather superfluous. Da -da 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 -da. And instead... Along to the red belt like so. And the rest just needs to be yellow. That's right, when you belt like this, you'll need half of it to be red, but you cannot miss a single bit of it. If you miss any, you're in some serious hot water. Why not feed the smelting column from both sides? Saves red belt. Uh, I cannot envision what you mean by that. You could have a great point, but I just need something that I can slap together quickly and cheaply and dirtily. Right. Outputting, on the other hand, I don't want to waste the red belts for it, so I'm just going to output onto several belts. And do I have enough inserters for this? Maybe. Boy, they... Oh, God, they broke right through... Oh, right, no. I thought I was looking at the top there, but I'm not. Uh, that's nothing to concern ourselves with. That iron flowing. We know we're going to need it. Did I set up the extra copper or not? Probably not, right? Hot biters, give it a rest! Some of us are trying to sleep. How many inserters do I need for this? Uh, I'm not going to bother with steel just yet. I will, however, bother with copying over the setup for you. There we go, lest we forget. Ugly, ugly setup, I know. Well, I'm looking forward to putting that new dance map to the test. And it's one of the updated versions. 
I had one updated version and one of their fairly older models. And it was the older model that was given out on me. Uh, okay, okay, that seems okay. Just curving that bit at the end so the, uh, the coal doesn't bastardize everything. And now for the extendos. Oh, it takes a fair chunk of time setting up all these smelter arrays, doesn't it? Good thing I'm actually keeping my science going during this time. This, I reckon, was a mistake that I made in one of my previous... Wait a second, do I even want you outputting up here? I don't want you doing anything up here, I'm just going to leave you be. Like I said, I don't think I need the extra steel. I didn't need it before. And I have been producing it constantly since we set up its initial smelting, and I didn't delay too long in upgrading to... Um, to steel smelters over stone smelters. Alright, is that all working and fine? I don't know. I should probably check in some manner. I got my underground's good. Oh, Okay, never mind. I will... I will use yellow undergrounds then. Yeah, disgusting. Er, uh, no. No, not like that. And that's our research. All the easy research done. All of it? Yeah, most of it. Got a head, uh, got a head off. Thanks for the stream. Well, my pleasure, Bullet. Pleasure, Bullet. Right, let's up our research speed. Well, no, that's not really the point, is it? But I do think I want that. Uh, I need lubricant. So let's get lube. I got my modular armor, I should probably make that at some point. I do need concrete, but it's not a not a concern, not an immediate concern at least. Let's get electric engines. Lube into lecky engines, into Robotnik. What am I missing for purple? Uh, advanced material processing needs to get done, and that is a slow thing to create. There's a very strong argument for having that set up before the rest of this stuff. So if I get you, then the lubricant, then the electric engines, and then the flying robot frames. Don't need the science stuff set up just yet, because I'll need to set up production of these. So what else is needed before any of that? Mm, nothing really springs to mind. Concrete is quick and cheap and easy to research, so I'll slam that in as well. Okay, at a glance, everything seems to be working here. So let's bring over all of our goodies to the main belt. Yeah, I'm so cheap, I want to spare every underground belt that I can. Right, how I link all these up. I uh, will figure out post haste. What oh, glad got all these belts? Good old mini mall. Right, car, you just go and park your keister over here. I hope bricks don't become a problem. I have slacked on the bricks a fair bit. Right, so 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 what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Output priority. For you. Is to my... 
cogs. Input priority from there. Cogs need a lot of iron, so it's getting a dedicated iron feed. The other iron is going to be dedicated towards green chips. I know, I know, I could underground the coal and it would be much, much more efficient, wouldn't it? Don't listen to them. You're beautiful in your own way, my belt. Anything serious? It's just that corner. Ah, damn that inserter. Um, you know what? I would dare to say we have enough of you, so you are done, 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 done now. Is that all coming through? I certainly hope so. Right, how in God's name do I set this up? Um, that is plenty of green chip buffer. There is no way in God's green earth I could need more of those. Give me space. Do not take from here any more. Well, actually, I'm always going to need more chips. And now you've got your dedicated line, so why don't we just cut you out altogether and just say that you... Uh, yeah, no, that would work. You're going over like so. There we go. One dedicated yellow belt to greens, one dedicated to sprockets. The sprockets overflow goes onto main belt, and I'm pretty sure I'm never going to be short on greens the moment I set up blues, so... I don't need to worry about that. What about the copper? The copper is going to feed into here if I can snake it over here some way, somehow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you for your service. We don't need it to be pretty, we just need it to be functional. It's kind of the motto of the factory here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see it all. There we go. There we go, there we go. Except... I want a little bypass here. There we go. That should ensure good flow. Uh, I see no way that that could fail. That's some beautiful spaghetti. Oh, thank you, Roland. You know, this, to me, is so much better factorial than just stamping down blueprints. I mean, you do you. You enjoy the game you want to. But me, personally, if I just had a pre-packaged IKEA-manufactured blueprint for this factory, I'd be disgusted to even use it. I mean, okay, I'm using some things that are pretty universal. Right, who had... Ugh, map, please. Who isn't familiar with this setup for green chips? It is just a good way to do green chips. Similar for this for engines, but manipulating all the belts here, doing the smelter setup the way I have. You know, I like to feel that the factory is my work, not someone else's. <laughs> Maybe I imagine it, but I think I hear Kalpa screaming somewhere, says Rakusa. Kalpa surely understands, although the last time I saw him post a factorious screenshot, it was some perfectly aligned city block rail thing. I think he makes his own work, though. His windmill of friendship science, I think, was his work, and I copied it over unashamedly because it was good. I liked it. Uh, right. 
Surely, with that set up, all we need to do is produce the ingredients needed for the final uh, science, and we're good to go. And we've got two and a half hours to do it. This is pretty much where I stopped off last time, when I still had to do my second mining expansions and my batteries, and still a bunch of research that I'm doing right now. So I think I could be quite happy with this. don't know if I had modules back then or not. Right. Is there anything that I desperately need to deal with right now? Yes. I need to speed up production post haste. And the way I need to do that is with some better assemblers. Out of my way. And how do we make assemblers? In assemblers, of course. Lazy bastard used to be so much harder. All right. I need you. One of my short on. What do you mean, steel? What do you mean, sprockets? Wow, that steel buffer is impressive. I don't want to pat myself on the back too hard, but I'm doing a bang-up job here. No assembly mark 1s, but that's fine, because we're going to get assembly mark 1s by throwing assembly mark 2s over them. And this is going to allow me to efficiency module up most of my base. It's going to be a 60% reduction in the pollution caused by everything that is uh, manufactured in these little manufacturing things. Also, I need to double up my chip production, but that's more of a priority when we get blues operational. So I think I'll slam those down after the blue inning. Damn it, get this ore out of here. Same with the coal. Same with the tiny smidge nut screw. I'll just throw that in the ground. I'm sure that won't bite me in the bottom later on. You had to say one manual craft for the refinery since it needed four ingredients. Ah, yeah, that's right. If only I had held out and not played Factorio when it was in early access. It was actually greed that caused that. I know I was recommended the game to hell and back, but uh, it was mostly the idea that they have a policy of never putting the game on sale. Oh, excuse me. Uh, they have a policy of never putting the game on sale. And... Okay, that, that might have to do me on efficiency modules. And I wanted to pick up the game before it became mondo expensive. What is that? Oh, I crashed into you. Sorry. But in, in a way, I'm kind of glad I got to experience the just-before-release uh, version of Factorio. And I really shouldn't be admitting that. Because then people are going to be, oh, Play my crappy early access game. It's a survival crafting game. With quirky Earthbound-inspired elements. Man, the cross was wasted on Jesus. Okay, that's probably more module things than one man could really need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might be off with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blip. Blip. Yeah, give me those as well, actually. Once that's done, I know I have all of these that I could possibly care about. Alright, let's efficiency the heck out of this base. Lower pollution means less attacks. Isn't that a nice concept? Are you overstressed? There you go. Probably are now that you've got that upgrade. Yeah, otherwise it looks okay. Anyway. You're not working because of the lack of these things. How can this be? Eh, I'm sure it's fine. It'll sort itself out. Do the back ones, the front ones barely work on that. Uh, Minecraft wasn't in early access though, you see. Minecraft's a different beast altogether. You might think it's a bit semantics to only care about it if it is actually early access. And you're right. And you're right. No point uh, moduling up you, but I will module up my drills elsewhere. 
And then after that, I think it's time I start on the super science stuff. How are you guys doing? Bloody terribly. Um, you go and help out with that. Okay, that's good. Good. Loads of bricks. Bricks I need. I need like a full chest, a full steel chest of bricks, and I'm pretty sure I don't have that yet. But I don't need to use bricks for smeltery things anymore, so I guess that's something I've got going for me. Any of you down and out? Eventually some of you will be working anyway. Right, let's greenify our... Whoa, hello! That is a sad lack of, uh, of copper. say I was right too loud, but yeah, this was not enough not enough catch not enough miners either I'm sure he's going to get yellow and purple going any minute now working on it sunshine, don't stress me now I'm only giving two here Drop one on the ground there. I think I did. Yoink. The oh well, there there we go. Used them all. I should have put them over there than over here because these ones don't barely get used at all. But uh, whatever. No time. No time. I will make though. Something I've been wanting for a long time. Modular armor. Yeah. And while we're at it, let's make these better. Gonna make all the rest of these into glorious, uh, glorious blues. I shouldn't need any more assembly machines after that. I mean, maybe I will, but I shouldn't. Sweet. Look at that. Ten whole more slots. You get shoved into the useless crap um, place now. Alright, alright, alright. That's the last of you, hopefully. Okay, very good. Very, very good. What are we going to set up now? We almost have advanced material processing, so I'll probably set that up as well as... Huh. Well, we don't have flying robot frames yet, do we? Although it's a very cheap and quick tech to get. I can't believe this is so expensive. And then once we have that, we start working our way towards the advanced sciences. Excellent. Quick check on some things that may or may not matter. Uh, did I ever get the stuff? I did not get the stuff. Why did I not get the stuff? You. Activate. Honestly, this is overkill, but whatever. Just get them done. Shouldn't be a big deal. If nothing else, I can just throw the uh, the fuel into something else. But anyway, that's one of the rocket ingredients checked off. Uh, I don't have the makings to efficiency module them up. Probably getting backed up on sulfuric acid, which is... Not sulfuric acid. Petroleum, God's sake. That's not a big deal, though. Well, it might be a big deal. I need that light oil for stuff, but the low-density structure is going to gobble these things up. Uh, lubricant will be done in seconds, so maybe I should just set that up. Right. Our lube is going to be coming out here. I forget how many of these things I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven feels like the right number. Out of my way. Lovely. Oh, that's really close by. I was wondering why I was able to see that. Uh, mm, I'm sure it's fine. 
Right, eclectic engines. Why do I not have electric engines? Oh, because I haven't researched them yet. Durf a durf. Why Stellaris music? Because I think it's very fitting. Whoops! <laughs> hey, tell who doesn't use long handed inserters often enough. And uh, perhaps wooden chests too often. Alright, great, there's our lubricant. You get the oil before these guys get the oil, so that's good. Just like these get the light oil before the cracking situation does. It all flows magically. Except the sulfuric acid. I have way too much sulfuric acid. But I've got buffer for it, so it's not the world's biggest deal. Those electric engines are going to be ready momentarily. Where did I leave my car? Car, I need your inventory slots, even though i just got more of my own. Just keep ramming into things in my base here. Right, engines, I need all of you. Good, you keep the engines for now. I need a fat stack of greens, and if there's one thing I've been fatly stacking, it's these greens. We'll just sit on our thumbs a little bit for the electric engines to be ready, whilst we consider our next step. Uh, no idea. There we go. Electric engine, please. Rotate you around. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. And in go all of these. And in go all of these. And fussy buggers that they are, they also need power. Here we go. That's all the engines I could ever possibly need. Electrified, that is. I have some engines left over. Well, I can't think of a conceivable use for those, so I'll just leave them behind here. Maybe if I'm in a desperate need for some additional flamethrowers, but there we go. Speaking of, I guess I'll just carry all these flamethrowers. Maybe leave some excess in the car. Alright, that's pretty good. Electric engines taken care of. The most sensible thing to do now is to set up blue chip production and low density structure and double up on my green chip production. Now I'm starting to wonder if 63 assemblers is going to be enough for everything I need and want to do, because I'm already seeing that there's gaps on this, alright. I'm also starting to wonder if I'm going to need some more uh, power poles actually. Always more needed. More everything. Whoops. No, 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 no. We don't place those around here. We strictly use the blues. By the way, are uh, yellows fast enough for you? Not really. I should strongly consider leveling up these to uh, to fast inserters then. I'm not on a poverty run here. Said I'd set up the blue circuits first, that was evidently a lie. see how bots would save a lot of time in all of this. Alright, anything immediately wrong with you? It all looks like it's working, so let's believe it's okay. You know what, I think I will just go and make myself a fat stack of, uh, of blue inserters. What do they need? Iron, inserters, and chips. Funny, I thought they needed more sprockets, but I guess that's just long-handeds. Alright. Like, who's going to need more than this number of them? 50, that's 200 of them. Uh, I think I made a mistake with that. And there you go. <laughs> Whoops, give me that back. 
Alright, those will be done nice and quick. I almost certainly need some more long-handed, so I guess I'll give it a similar situation. And they do need one iron plate and one sprocket each. I'll go and grab those. Quick check on the hole situation. Couple of holes, not the world's biggest problem. Yeah, I'm on come to me. God, I'm happy for these uh, these buffers I've built up. Okay, there we go. Another 22 odd assembly machines and a great opportunity to throw away some extras. You know, I'd be a lot happier if I got going on my electric smelters already. Those things ended up being a bit of a problem for me before. So here's what I think I will do do. Um one, two, three, blip. And let's make sure that Half of them go to you, and half of them go to you. Okay. Half and half. Please make me those and those. And I think it's a steel chest that's needed for you. I don't often use steel chests, but it's not like we're lacking steel at the moment, so make me about ten of them, please. I'll make me as many as I can get there. Any, any, outy, outy. And, 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 and. What do you need again? You're going to need a full chest of steel and a full chest of stone bricks. Alright, car, let's make that happen. by ditching my inventory first. Not liking all these bu buzz broken walls and things. But uh, I guess I was never going to. Um, oh gosh, how much is a full steel chest? I think a full steel chest is 48 slots. Yeah, 48 slots. How many is that? 10, 20, 30, 40... There's 48. Uh, but I also need two more. Dunk, dunk. And I need a similar situation with bricks. Alright, let's hope to heavens I've got all the bricks I could ever need for this tech. Eh, I don't. Oh boy, that's pretty bad. Hmm. Hmm. And a bit more hmm. How could I be so lacking in bricks? Uh, probably because the uh, production of bricks slowed down to a crawl. Well, you know what? I can just go and fill up on bricks later on. It's not like bricks never get produced around here. And I did just devour all of my bricks not too long ago. So I'll shove in what I have and I'll fill it up with more later. Hopefully it won't be a problem. Just gotta hope, right? It's like Parappa. Just gotta believe. So, dink, dink. And dink, 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 and dink. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, it'll be even finer if you have power. It'll be even finer if I have power. Holes. And pick up all of our junk and continue on with the productions. The stone economy isn't working. That's all right. I believe in the wood economy. The stone economy is a pale imitator. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Let me check my to-do list anyway. I think I've done all this early stuff. Plastics, red chips, sulfur, blue science modules, advanced oil electric engines, second iron patch, bigger smelter array, upgraded assemblers to blue, yes. I have not yet started blue chip production or productivity module production, but I did shove efficiency modules in, and I did do batteries and electric furnaces. 
Oh, I need to do rails at some point. All right. Well, those blue chips are needed, so I guess I should get on with that. Wow, they're actually damaging one of my flamers up there. I could... I think they broke through. Why else would they be dealing with that? All right, well, I did just pick up all my stuff, so let's a go go. Every uh, flamer they destroy is a few hundred plates of mine that I'll never see again. True efficiency. Right. Fix you up and reinforce. I don't see any broken bits of pipe, which is good. But it might there might still be a broken bit of pipe. And that might be what caused the yesery. Ah, uh, no, actually. They just took this out because they sniffed out a hole here. All right, well, easily enough fixed. Oh, 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 I see. I see it all now. Okay. Right. Replace. Replace. Reinforce. Absolutely replace this. Any other hot spots around here? Alright, well at least concrete got done. I can really start working my way towards the end game text. I need the science and the science. And... Hmm. Not a lot else that only needs green, uh, blue science here. With those done, it's just the fancy techs, and that's a good place to be with two hours left. Are you guys all running fine? Yeah, I see. I see the green light of progress. I don't. I don't trust this weak point at all. If they manage to break through that, and there you go. Uh, oh yeah, there was a lot of bibbity boops around this area as well. Let's just fill in any gaps. Plenty of fire and plenty of other wall tank plates, so not too worried about it. All right, those those blue chips. I really got to get started on them. How long do you expect until we can send the tinner to space? What is it, a fish tinner? All right, give me all of these. I need every. Whoa, no. And add every bit of um, efficiency module back. Not that the miners cost me anything when they're lying there. They don't have a passive drain on power or any passive pollution, which is nice. But with the efficiency modules that I'm spared, I can at least keep these guys going better. Excellente. Any of you guys not running? They seem to be running just fine. In fact, they're backed up. How unusual for my initial copper patch. I'll accept it though. I won't accept having this extra bit of crap in my inventory though. Away you go. Right, what did I say I was about to do? Blues, probably, because I'm in tragic need for uh, getting my blues operational. Blues will necessitate these long handed inserters that I have, I think. Can't imagine why they wouldn't. And I will also need some regular inserters. And uh, I'm beginning to see a problem with something. No, no, I'm not. Or am I? No, no, I'm not. Okay, good. Good, good. Production there is too fast, even. I'm not going to upgrade you with blue inserters just yet. Famous last words, I'm sure. All of my batteries are ready, which is lovely. Uh, I need the sulfuric acid for other things, though, but just for now, give me those batteries. Is that the right number of batteries? 800? Yeah, probably. Right, blues. Abadi abadi. Uh, do I remember my own design for the blues? And how I even get the reds over here? I think I'll space it out a bit over here. It's not like we're struggling for space in the bus. And it means that the reds that are all done here can come down this way. Uh, right, blue. Dip, dip. Dip, dip. Dip, dip. You get out of my way, Colrock. Once upon a time I loved you, 
But now you just get in my way. Our early game economy was all about the coal rocks after all. Right, you are set to be blue. I need to rotate you around. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Copy this whole thing. Paste, paste, paste. Is that too many blues, do you think? Well, you know what? I think I don't care. Oh, tell you what I do think, though. I don't have any long uh, power pole things. Uh, nor do I have any steel with which to make them. But that's why we have this right here. Just scoop the steel straight off this. Maybe some iron as well. Couldn't hurt. Get myself a few of these. And I'll need some copper plates as well. Yoink. Thank you for your service. I need big poles. Goodness, I need more of these sticks than I thought. Yoink. Right, because I think I need you like that. If I remember how I set this up before, yeah, I needed a bunch of you. That's clearly too much. Give me, give me those. That is extra space. In precious time here. Too many blues? I do not comprehend. Yeah, I mean too many with the respect of too much consumption of my greens. Right, there we go. Now, how does this work? I have forgotten. Um, let me think. Full load of greens on the inside. You know what? Full load of greens on the outside. Because long handed inserters are faster than yellow inserters. And not by a trivial amount either. We're actually going to output on the inner belt here rather than vice versa. So, 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 so. That means outy, 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 outy. Oh god, I forgot to get more of you. I leave my car. What's it doing all the way over there? Right, you. I need these. Good thing we buffer up loads of them. I think it's a line from Shin Megami Tensei. It's just, I do not comprehend constantly coming out of one of the guys. Very amusing. Alright, good. You got your power. Let's get the greens a going on the outside. Don't bring you along here just so I have a better idea of my belt. Or my main bus, rather, if nothing else. Where are my undergrounds? Lazy, bleeding, bastard. It's funny how not lazy you end up being with lazy bastard, because you just need everything constantly. At least I don't need splitters. All right, there we go. Greens along the outside. Good job. Let's get them. I don't remember if I was ever too tightly done on my uh, on my inserters. Right, you also need any and outy. Any outy, any outy, any outy. I've definitely messed up at least one of these. Was that an inner bit? No, that wasn't. Uh, outer, any 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 outer, any. Uh, and that means that with a little undergroundy right here we can keep all of our 
blues in this chest. But I also need reds. Where are all my reds at? Yeesh. Out of my way, you guys. Reds. Half of you, come to me. To you, to me, to you, to me. Sorry, I got chuckle vision on the mind. I shouldn't have brought it up the other day, but I did. And now it's all I can think about. Oh, Crivens, this isn't ideal. Uh, I don't want you on both sides. I just want you on the inside. That means I take from the inside, put on the outside, and the outside gets blue, 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 all as well. Glorious. Right, well, there we go. There's blues if I set up uh, low-density structures, then I've got everything done. All right, LDS, let's a go go. One, two. Wait, do I need spaces on these things? I can't remember. Um, probably not. I think the output on the outside. So many reds into efficiency modules. Ah, don't you worry. I put a cap on this. So now I can switch them out to the coveted productivity modules. Look at them go. Huh, that might be a few too many of these. Oh, right. Uh, how many of these things do I need? I don't know. As many as I can. There we go, go. Eight. Ten. One, two, one, two. Right, low density structure, a go, go. And now all that's left are the final researches for the rocket silo. So, speed module three. Productivity module three. Rocket control unit. And the silo itself. Except before the silo itself, I also want effect transmission. There we go. Beautiful, except we can't do any of this tech for now. Um, there's a strong argument that says do some lower tier crappy tech in the run-up to that. I don't buy it. I don't think any of these will be particularly useful. Although there's, an, there's something to be said for the stack inserter bonus. It's kind of cheap. It gives us something to do. Just getting that non-stack inserter capacity plus one is rather nice. Hey, you know what? We'll do it. it. Gives us, like I said, something to do. And there's one thing we need around here. It's stuff to do. All right, every last bit of copper, plastic, and steel is going to be brought up here. Probably something to be said for using more than just a yellow belt of copper, but I think yellow belt's all we're going to have at the end of the road here. really necessary? I guess so. Right. No sense doing any sort of fancy branching off. This is, as I said, the end of the line. Where are my plastics at? Here you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Grab me a splitter. I see, I see. Alright, splendid. Now they just gotta get it all in. And again, I'm using the long-handed inserter for the copper there. Actually, it goes the other way around on the back, on the back side, doesn't it? Okay, well, never mind. I was going to say about how smart I am in using long-handed inserters for the thing that it needs in greater quantity. But I was probably just talking on my rear end. doesn't matter. What matters is who wins. And hopefully it's me. Because there's no one else that can win except maybe Big Biter. How are we doing on evolution anyway? How do I keep being in caps lock for this? 
Uh, Big Biter is right around the corner. Big Biter appears at evolution factor 0 0.5. We're on 0 0.47. Now, somewhat thankfully, evolution factor decelerates asymptotally towards 1.0. But, uh... Big Biter, although Big Biter does die horribly to um, to fire, if he doesn't get that direct coating of flaming oil, he does do a real number on your um, on your walls. Right, God knows how much of this stuff I'm going to need. Probably lots, so let's just be ready for it. There we go, go. And that's everything on the bus. Every single thing I could need is now being produced on the bus. There are some other things that I need, kind of invalidating that statement. But let's get on that, shall we? Let's also make sure that we module up everything that we can. Including these end ones that are unlikely to see that much use, but we'll still do it anyway. Wasted efficiency modules. What's this guy on? This one's barely run, but whatever. I think I missed some of you. Main bus seems more spaghetti. I prefer it. Yeah, see? People love the spaghetti. Spaghetti has soul. These pre made, pre planned other people blueprints. Blech. Strike does gust into my very heart. Uh, where did I leave my car? As usual, the car is fa fa wa. I should check on my electric engines and get going on some things, including rails, actually. Right, let me check. Blue chip production's done. Productivity modules are. Hang on, did I limit productivity modules as much as I would want to? I don't need that many. Oh god, that's not a lot of productivity modules because they're not getting a lot of reds. Huh. I should strongly consider upping my red production, honestly. Well, you know, just think about it. I don't have to do it. Thoughts and prayers are with the red modules. Uh, hmm. It'll buffer out. Are you guys done? Actually, you seem to be struggling on the lube department, because we're struggling on the heavy oil department. Is that because we're backed up on petroleum gas? No, we're just straight up struggling. Alright, if that's the case, please stop... Um, please stop cracking any heavy oil. Make that... Uh, I hate to see you guys struggle. Although you're almost all done, aren't you? Oh, wow, the poor ones at the back. They never got the goods to begin with. Ah, oh, well, whatever. There's no crying need for those right now. See hole in wall, fix hole in wall. Why did I come in this direction? Oh yeah, efficiency modules. Isn't that vital part of the strategy. I'm going to check the numbers before and after efficiency modules and see just what it does to the attacks. Alright, I need two loads of these inserter bonuses and they... They are some slow techs to do, but I think it'll work out in the end. There we go. Let's not get anywhere near that dreaded small worm. Even if they're small, they're powerful. Like an angry midget. Okay, this all looks pretty agreeable. The buffers of raw materials are completely full. Now that's fancy, Dan, to see. Are we actually producing those uh, low-density structures now? Or did I not connect them up? Sounds like the kind of thing I forget. Oh wow, copper is uh, suffering a wee bit there. What a suffering suffocash. Can anything be done to alleviate my poor copper line? Tell you, my buffer could actually be put to some extra work. You know, like things weren't disgusting enough already here. What I could do...
Fabian out of Valks. That's all we like to see. Let's have you come in and help there. Just go and uh, add some more. And if I had a bit more by the way of underground belts, I could have you come along another way as well. There we go. Now the uh, now the big buffer that I have is going to aid the line that goes all the way down to low density structures and keep them pumping out faster. That's the whole reason I have this buffer. I might as well put it to use because it's a mistake I made before not using my buffer. Right, we've only got two hours left. I really need to get going on certain things, including rails. We at least get started on rails. Maybe this is where I'll have my science set up, which means it might not be the worst place to put my rails. Right, rails are going to need quite a few assemblers. One, two, three, four, five. Worked out four. Space, space. One, two, three, four, five. You guys need to make me the intermediary sticks. And hey, would you look at that? We're already pumping iron down here. That's cool. Right. Dit 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 And then let's just get those shoved over here into our beloved rail 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 where are the rails? There are the rails And the rails are going to need an iron chest of stone each as well. Fast inserter, slow inserter, I don't know inserter. And we'll have you guys output onto... That cool bit of... Hey, you know what, I got red belts. Let's, let's actually use some red belts. Um, um, what am I even thinking here? I'm thinking that's the wrong way around. And then you can come down and feed into some purple science. Yay, purples. Uh, what else does purple science get quite a lot of? I forget, what do I even make you out of? Productivity modules, electric furnaces, and ray. So here are the rails. And what about the productivity modules and other things? Well, we'll figure that out. Otherwise. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. You're going to be yellow science, and you are going to need a whole bunch of other crap. Alright, well, I'll figure that out, and I'll probably be doing a lot of manual insertion for you. Hmm, I haven't started on the flying robot frames. I should get on that. Right, well, rails are done. Sod the concrete, it's not a priority right now. Flying robot frames absolutely are. I guess I could just do them right here. And hey, look, I've already got eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flying robot frames, pretty please. Look at how slow that productivity bonus thing is. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. That's the batteries. Uh, good thing I buffered a whole heap of these. Just shove them all in, 200 a pop. Now they want steel and my eclectic engines. I don't know if the engines are done yet, though. But the steel I keep buffered, naturally. And how much steel do I need? I don't know, just give me all of it. Jake needs to get into- no, I do not. Factorio is fine enough for me. I do not want to play it modded. 
already consumed so much of my blessed life. At least once I've finished this run, I don't think I'll be coming back to Factory until the expansion's out. What a time that'll be. Uh, how many of these have I done? Not many, so we're still waiting on some more rocket fuel. How about my engines, though? They are not all done! Yeah. Right, uh, give me those engines. You guys get them done, please. Just speed on through it. Is that enough, actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that is enough, actually. I'll believe that that's enough. Also, something else broke. Ooh, boy, they're really chipping through that. I need to reinforce down at the south, then. Where's my car? There's my car. Right, whilst we're worrying about that... Da, 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 da. The rest of the... Um, the rest of the engines will be used for the silo, I think. Oh boy, it's heating up. We're getting towards the end game now. It's scary, isn't it? It is for me. So scary that I'm going to take a wee water break. I will be back momentarily. There we go, hydration taken care of, although I could have just stood outside and opened my mouth because it is raining down a storm out there. I love to see it. Now, why am I looking at the atomic bomb? Because I always confuse it with the rocket silo. Let's make sure that we have you, and you, and you, and you. No, I forgot, as usual, effect transmission. There we go. That's the whole lot. Alright, I slammed all these goods in, right? Now they're just waiting on the power. Which I'm only too happy to give them. Let's make sure they do that work efficiently, right? They will take some time, but they will get it done. It's no big deal. Now, the main problem that I have, in my opinion, is my crippling lack of productivity modules. I've only got a hundred over there, and I need a lot more than a hundred over there. I need about seven hundred. Hmm. Oh well. The problem is now everything is competing for red chips. Why did I drive over here? Can't remember. I wanted stone. Doubtlessly I wanted stone. Alright, that being the case, uh, let's shove down some chests to hold all of my everything. Even everything from the car, you're going in there. I accept that. You need some some ammo inside you. And also you need to stay tonked up on coal. Right. Hopefully I have enough stones for this. I have been making my stones for some time. Donk, donk, donk. Oh, well, that's a healthy amount of stone. How about you guys? That remains a healthy amount of stone. Love to see it. How about the bricks? I don't really have space for more bricks, but we do have hundreds more bricks, so I'm happy to see that as well. I'll probably go and top up the old brick stockpile as well. Right, stones for rails. I make rails relatively to order, but not too rigidly. There you are, there you are, there you almost are. There we go, that is absolutely enough. Oh, I forgot a vital ingredient. Steel. Steel is vital. Um, I can't believe I forgot these things need steel. Well, actually I can. I can believe that. I often forget that they need steel. 
Uh, that being the case then, why am I out of undergrounds? That's because I ditched everything I had. Coming over here with uh, boatloads of stone. Uh, can you just like, hold on to these stones for me? Thanks. Oh, right, I also said I would top up on the bricks over here. Let's compare them. They should be about equal. Uh, I still need about a thousand more bricks, but that's okay. That stuff's producing nicely. In fact, it's producing so nicely. I'll take over these. You guys need them, right? Uh, why don't I just take all of them? There we go. Now if I just get them their rails and stuff, they'll be good to go. Delightful. Uh, why am I fool? Because you're meant to hold on to all of that. I mean all of that. I don't need all this steel either. Um, okay, let's take a moment and actually think about what we're doing. What needs to be done? Because at this point, production is going full speed ahead. And uh, if it's do or die on production, then we've already cast our ballot in that regards. Now I just need to... Oh, I was going to reinforce something. I don't know where exactly, but that seems like a not terrible idea. I do have the stones for it, after all. Yeah, some reinforcement. That might not be the worst idea, but I should get started on the science, especially the purple science. Give me, like, half of those, please. i got some junk in my inventory that I could do with being without, so let's clean up a bit. A hey, blue science. Take the sulfur off my hands. What am I doing with raw stone? What am I doing with plastic bars? Get out of here. I can turbocharge you guys a bit. Nah, these guys are already running full pelt. They're all running full pelt, right? We don't have that horrible shortage problem we had before where the plastic dried up because the petroleum gas dried up. That's actually working out pretty well for us. A quick glance over there shows that, yeah, we are by far backed up on petroleum gas, but actually, now that I've done all the lubricant, I can reconnect my cracking. I am not liking all this breakage going on. It's scary stuff. I should check out the north. I should just generally do some reinforcement, actually. Production seems to be going fine. Where'd I leave my car? Where's my car? Oh, there's my car. Okay. Grab some more walls if you can. Hey! Ins uh, insert a capacity up. Now just give me all those walls. I know it's not a lot, but hey, we automated it, right? Uh, why did I come here again? Probably for the walls, but uh, could you just like take all this stone for me? It's weighing me down. Right, do some reinforcement. That's what i got to do right now. That and have more undergrounds, because I always seem to be struggling on those. Reinforcement. You know what? If I'm going to reinforce, I want my science actually started before that. So let's make sure that the steel comes down for the rails and shove some productivity modules in there. I believe I was going to bring it over here. Let's work a bit in reverse. Ew! Oh god, that's horrible. Right. Like so, please. And you're going to need long handed inserters. Keep the power flowing. Okay. Ooh, I feel like we don't appreciate just how tough it is to constantly think how to do this on the spot. It ain't easy. 
There's a lot to constantly be thinking about. Right, how about you just do like that? Underground bypass that, please. Just let the thing down. Get that fire that's in the way. Alright, there we go. The rails will start. The rails will feed these rather nicely, especially with the uh, inserter capacity bonus. Now let's go and get our fraud mods. Boy, we do not have enough fraud mods, do we? Let's uh, just shove some more reds into here. I took 200 and something. 100, 200 and something. I'm a little concerned about that. Concerned about the lack of reds. I mean, my greens are flowing. I could potentially set it... Well, actually, no. The greens flowing means that the blues are flowing. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Go, 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 go. Make me the purple science, please. And since I... Oh, crikey, what am I doing? What am I doing? These things need productivity module 2s in them. Uh, can we, like, just stop that and give me all my goods back, please? Boy, that could have been bad. I need broad mod twos on these, or else I might not produce enough science. Right. Broad mod twos. Need a fair amount of broad mod ones, but also some blue circuits. I don't know exactly how many, I'll just grab 200 and call it a day. Right, how many do I need? I want 20 of these, which is four in each of these. And each of these need four, four, four in each of these, right? So, or is it five in each of those? It's five in each of these. Yeah, okay. Five means 25 processing units. So, if you're processing units, I'll just scoop the reds off the belt. No buffer. It's like refunds and slay the spire. No refunds. Oh, hello. Have some of these lying around here. I did. The number doesn't add up. Did I miss some? Yeah, there's some wedge between the corner here. Still missing one, though. <laughs> We've driven over it. Okay, that disaster was uh, pretty disastrous, but it is largely averted. One hundred, fifty, twenty-five, twenty-five, and then give me these. God, why do I just have no space? Hold on, some of these, some of these, some of these, some of these, all of these. I don't even know why I have those. I should have dumped those ages ago. All of you, this thing, you're just a trash slot for me now. Now, make me all of these things, please. You're going to take your sweet time doing it, but please just get it done. Then I'll insert you here and then get this going good and proper. Till then, though. Uh, no, not that. I said I was going to reinforce my walls, and now I can hear them breaking underneath me. Okay, I really, really need to reinforce over there. Oh, they actually... They got through! I hope it's not Big Biter. If it is, there's not much I can do about that. Okay, now it's Medium Biter. Woo. Okay, right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there are more up there. Right, well, I have a solution for you. There we go. Now. Well, this is serious. Seriously bad news. That's alright. Just fix our problems. Make sure that these problems can't happen again. 
Oh, well, that's some serious work from Big Biter. Who we're all in the pockets of. Fill this in with bits of wall. Double check the bottom line, because I know there were some breakages elsewhere. Don't like the fact that there's a uh, flamer getting damaged up north. That seems to be okay. This seems to be a little holy in places, but otherwise agreeable. Boy, this is the this is the psalm for them. All right, fair enough. Not made of walls, but let's head back. Get those productivity modules in and begin making our purple science. This purple science has been a lot more delayed than I would like. A whole lot more delayed than I'd like. How are you not done yet? Come on! Oh, I need five out of each. Whatever, this will do for now. Um, oh, that's right. Why am I putting you in? Somebody must have seen me put those in and think, what is he doing? He said he wouldn't put those in. Right. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Regular, prod mo uh, regular productivity modules? Well, I don't really have many. Do I have enough to even get started here? Kind of. 25, 25, 25, 25. Twenty-five, and we also need to put in some rails. There we go. I know that's going to take out a little bit of time. Actually, it might take too much time. More rails, more rails, more better. All right. Well, that'll at least get you going. But I want to reinforce the north before I do anything else. That purple science also needs to be shipped over to the labs or belted over. God, you're talking about listening closely. Not one of my strengths. Don't like how they could reasonably get through that, so just wall it all off. <laughs> they try and chase the player a bit there, and that causes some funny reactions between that and the flamers. Alright, otherwise it seems fine. They don't seem to want to attack here much, probably because of pathfinding issues due to the forest, but that's just a guess. I'm not sure if I've engaged the biters at all over in the west wall. Since I'm already practically here, let's go and see if you have done any damage at all to biters. That looks like a big, tonking no oh, oh, no, no. 20 damage dealt by one flamer at one point. I can only assume that it was some tiny attack or uh, an expansion. Either way, not my problem. Now, uh, these achievements don't mean jack. The only achievement that means anything right now is the achievement of the, of the long way around I'm taking with the car here. Um, there is no spoon. If I get there is no spoon, I get everything else. Of course, I haven't really explained uh, some of the difficulties that we have with there is no spoon. I think I'll try and take a quiet moment to do that once we have our science going over to our laboratories. Priority to automate right now. How you guys doing? Not good, but I'll take another couple of you. Broad mods are needed for more than just that. Right, here we are, here we are. Take all of these. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff I need to just dump right now. Uh, right, how do I get you up there? And how do I sort you out? I think I'm just going to have you belt round in a loop, and I'll take you up through here. Okay, that makes sense to me. Um, you don't need all of these, which is good, because I am going to need you to output onto a regular belt, please. One, two, three, four, five. Should probably go the other way, shouldn't it? Ah, oh, whatever. What is it? What does it even matter? Right, come along. It's going to be a long route for you, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be making or breaking this on the speed at which we 
get the purple science up to the labs. It would be hilarious if that's exactly what happens, though. And once again, I'm out of... Wait, no, I'm not. The game's just being a dum-dum. Uh, no, it's not. I am the one being the dum-dum because of my glorious spaghetti here. Now I'm going to make Luigi happy. i got lots of spaghetti. God, I love YouTube poop so much. Uh... There. <laughs> Surplus to requirement. Let's not lose this whole run on a tiny amount of copper production, please. Ah, oh, God, these freaking things in my way so much. No time for concern, only time for moving. Sad Kelper noises. <laughs> oh, the eternal Finn. I'm glad I saved all that raw wood from earlier. Right, there we go. With that, speed module 3. You know what? It makes so much more sense to do effect transmission before the rest of the stuff. That way I can speed these things up immediately. Then it's prod mode over speed mod, and then it's RCU. And then it's the rocket silo. How many times have I changed out at the end of these? A lot, yet not enough. Right. There's the rest of the prod mod twos. These guys are working away. Shabba and wah. Alright, alright. Can you hold on to a bunch more of this crap? Nah, it's better if I hold on to intermediates, honestly. Maybe I should just deposit more rubbish here that I'm never really going to need or want. If I ever need those fish, I'm in a bad situation. Uh, shouldn't need any more chemical plants or these labs. Or these pumps. Why am I holding onto rails? Get out of here. Get on out of here. Uh, there we go. The real, the real trick on how to get rid of your rails. Just hold Z over this and dump them all. Okay, is there anything else I'm desperate to do right now? I could set up my concrete. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of just waiting on the science right now, so why not just do concrete? And by the way, what about your things? Your processing units, flying robot flames, and LDS. I should make sure that those things are actually coming along. Ah, uh, hundreds of LDS already made. That's an excellent sign. Flying robot frames almost made. That's also an excellent sign. All right, all right, then concrete. And I do have 10 assembly machines for it. Let's go and do it. Where's my water? Hey, here's my water. Oh, that's excellent. Right. Uh, where are my pipes? Here are my pipes. One, two, three. Well, I screw it, just drag it out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make me some delicious concrete, because we need this for the rocket silo. It's the only reason. Yeah, copy that, paste it along here, rotate and paste, it's better than just clicking on each of them. Oh my god, I need stone bricks. Uh, I need stone bricks. How many stone bricks? Uh, how many of these do I need? I need 500 stone bricks, actually. I need 500 stone bricks? I need 500 stone bricks? I need 10 cycles out of each of these, so I only need 500 stone bricks. I also need some copper ore. Uh, and there aren't bricks inside my car. That's unusual. Let's go and fix that. Funny how the stone bricks are being a problem. Well, it's not funny. I know exactly why it is. It's because I made an abortion of a stone set up early game and just stuck with it hard-headedly. And I need some... No, car, no. I need some ore. 
I don't need a lot of it though. I think I only need about 50 ore actually, but there you go. Pessimists can still see a spoon. Really? Who in chat thinks we're not gonna make it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. That should be everything we need for ten cycles of this. Just go power it up. You won't make it if you don't fix one of your science labs researching. One of your science labs ain't researching, you say. Well, some of them aren't. Uh, right. That'll somewhat speedily make all the, all the stuff we need. These are all working fine-ish. Waiting on the prod mods, as usual. We've almost finished making all of the flying robot frames. Great. That's really great, actually. It's a healthy amount of uh, blue chips as well. 100, 100, 100, 100. Flying robot frames done. Good. 50, 50, 50, 50. And you'll get your next batch of 50 later on. Is that going to be enough, though? Okay, good. They only need one each. So 50 flying robot frames actually makes me three of these. Um, Alright, yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine. LDS is also needed, though. And low density structures are very low in density. So I'm going to need some space to cart them on over. What's the blue blue chip production rate is eleven per minute. I truly think there is no spoon. Now give me the opportunity to waste my vote swingers for the sixth time in a row. Well, Kalpa asks for it. We gotta do it. Will there be a spoon? Yes. Jake shall fail. No. Jake shall succeed. No spoon is good. By the way, you don't have long to do this. You only got two minutes. Which means it's going to be a small and meaningless bet. But if Kalpa asks, Kalpa gets. Uh, how am I going to sort these things out, anyway? I'm just going to feed them? I normally feed them, don't I? Um... Yeah, screw it. They're... they're um... Their production is going to be limited by blue chips anyway, or uh, flying robot frames anyway, so it's not like I care too much about how this goes. Take your goods, take your goods. And I need you to output your goods, but that should be quite easy. Hey, there we go. All science set up. Oh, and I already got effect transmission, didn't I? Right, that means I need to... Hey, I might actually need these sticks. Don't you need sticks for beacons? You do not. What was I thinking? Need a bunch of other stuff, though. Uh, right, you make me beacon. Bunch of... Need copper wire. What kind of fool am I not stocking copper wire? Alright. It's okay, red chips. You had plenty. If you're backing up like that, you got plenty to spare. There you go. Except you need more red chips, which we don't buffer, so I just need to unceremoniously scoop them off the belt. How are you guys doing? 
short on a few bricks. That's a few bricks. I still need a couple hundred more bricks over there. But you are doing good, so give me what you have. It's nice to see the red circuits actually backing up, even if it's just there. Only about an hour to go. Oh boy. He's not thrilled. He's especially not thrilled at the very low production of productivity modules. That's terrifying. Have I even made enough? Oh, I think I have. All right, sweet. Give me all of those productivity modules, and we're going to switch you guys over to speed modules now. Speed modules are going to be the crux of the matter for the very end of this. I feel like I've made a slight too few number of productivity modules, but eh. How bad could it really be? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, go. It's okay, because purple science is limited by the electric furnaces. So we're not going to overproduce them either. Um, where am I going to launch my rocket? I guess I'll do it down here. You know, closest to where all the biters are so they can destroy everything. And I guess I'll launch it over here. There's a little bit of insulation feeling of it. Alright, that means I'm going to collect my rocket in here. The rocket silo is made of... Well, it's made of all this concrete for starters. There's all your concrete. Ah, Mare Beast. Ever the patron of Factorio, it seems. Uh, right, a thousand seal plates, which I do have on me, very surprising. 200 processing units, to the surprise of nobody, we don't have those yet. But my eclectic engines should be down here. Let's go and grab those as well as any stone bricks that remain. don't like the fact that they're actively damaging that uh, flamethrower. I'm going to double check that before I do any nonsense. It could just be that Spitter's got in range and did it some dirty, but either way I'm going to check. The last thing I want is for all this to go... Oh well, maybe I should make a save here. Uh, run for part... I haven't made any save all session. Alright. Final hour. Because it's pretty much the final hour. And some loose change. Yeah, it was just some Spitter's. Nothing to worry about, but even so... I wonder if this is how parents feel about their kids. I made these flamethrowers, and I'll be damned if I'm not going to use them. Here comes Big Biter to ruin the run. The thing is, if Big Biter were in the base, there's nothing I could reasonably do to him. Uh, I, I don't think grenades would do enough. He has explosive resistance, I think. Grab the rest of these while they're at it. Uh, and my my gun would only tickle him. I, I haven't made any red ammo whatsoever. And red ammo wouldn't be enough anyway. <laughs> Alright, how are we doing on uh, on this stuff? We're actually good on the uh, on the flame uh, flame uh, whatever that stuff I'm trying to say is. We're good on it. Right, I'm gonna do something unimaginable. I'm just gonna empty those out a bit, just so that the other oils can flow. Oils, oils, yeah, oil. All right, hopefully that's the last of the bricks, like the last of the summer wine. Let's damage our starting spaceship a little bit, just to give it that lived-in feeling. Oh, my engines. They better all be done. Uh, okay, seems done to me. No efficiency modules in these either. What a what a blowout. Alright, how are you doing? Eight of you? Is that enough? I don't know, make some more. Uh right, how many electric engines for a silo? Two hundred. Do I have two hundred? 
100, 200. Woof, thank God for that. Um, 100 pipes for some odd reason. And my other stuff. My green, uh, my blues. Right, this is coming along fine. That is coming along fine. Final bricks for the electric smelters, and then everything is set down. We just need to wait for production. Is what I choose to believe. Take your final bricky bracks. Phenomenal. I'll take the last of you while we're at it. You know, I made this uh, modular armor and I didn't actually fill it with anything. Could have made some nice stuff, but I didn't want to risk accidentally placing down a solar panel and breaking the steam all the way achievement. Speaking of which, the power has held phenomenally well. Assembly machines continue. Oh, well, see, these assembly machines now chew up a metric ton of uh, power. Anyway, why wait when we can speed things up? Uh, mistakes made on the outer ones here, but that's okay. I need some speed modules for you. Also, yeah, just one blue chip doing. Mm, still trying to break their way in, but that's just what biters do. Can't hold it against them. I got all these, uh, these chips, right? That's what I'm going to do. turbocharge my blues by inserting a whole load of greens into them because the blues are falling behind a bit. Is it 200 or 100 for the silo? Ugh, 200. You hate to see it. Well, I hate to see it. Maybe I shouldn't collect the blues here just yet. I should instead keep the blues around here. Although you've got plenty of blues. James, how could you possibly need more? I know I didn't give you much time to vote, but how did the vote look? I guess I can quickly check, can't I? Oh wow, two million immediately put in and most... Oh, right, no, no, most people actually think I'm going to make it. Excellent. I will be checking the VOD to see that people who said in chat that I'm going to fail actually put their money where their proverbial mouth is. Because I'm uh, quite anal like that. Get out of my inventory crap. Ugh, or drop that down as well. How am I low on belts of all things? There we go. And we we don't need to further buffer any belts. Or or go away. Smelters, no thank you. One single iron chest. Anyway, um, with these speed modules that I definitely picked up. Yeah, we can speed these guys up. We're not evenly speeding them up. The ones on the edge get less than the ones in the center. That's because I didn't leave myself enough space up at top. I should have thought about that, but I did not. But I'm not too fussed about it. The last little squeaky bits will come out. I got no word. I got no qualms using the word anal. Anal retentive, if you will. Just for being a bit too stuck up about some things. Right, did I actually get enough of you? There's another 25, uh, 21? What? Oh, that's right, you're running a little slower than the others, aren't you? Only a little, and only because I've only just put in the speed module things. Anyway, the science is flowing. So we got that going for us. I should probably start thinking about collecting the goods for the silo and planning out the silo. Let's get these out of the way. An hour ten left on the clock and he's thinking about the silo. Adorable. Right, silo. Yeah, we'll use you. I'm never going to accidentally slam these things down. There's our rocket silo. Yeah, screwed. I've got inserter bonus. I don't need too many of these things. Okay. I'm just going to shove them in there manually because I don't give a hoot. Okay. 
these productivity modules are going to be turned into productivity module 3, which I should probably somewhat plan for. Uh, where are my reds at? It's nice seeing reds backing up. I asserted that I failed my last run due to lack of reds, and now I'm extra feeling that way. Four, a fifth. I think a fifth is plenty, give me that. No way that I can reasonably squeeze these things around to, to make this work on the edges. Or is there? Being wasteful is not a sin, right? It does get in the way of the... Uh... Wow, actually, how in the world is steel hurting as badly as it is? That might be something I should keep an eye on. Right. Let's speed up the edges a bit. Didn't want to accidentally pick up any of this science. There we go. Might seem weird, but if these aren't all doing it at the same rate... Wait, you're getting double... Oh, well. If they're not... Yeah, we're going at the speed of the slowest, right? It's like... Uh... It's like being in a class with special kids. So we want to keep up. I want to make sure I have all of those as well. Power is not dying. You're fine. I think there was something else I was going to make here. I was going to prepare myself for you. I need to make four of you. So I need 20 of these. And 20 of these. All right, great. And I need all the rest of these, but we're we're using them right now. Also, the yellow should be backing up because we're not actually drinking yellows. We will be for rocket control unit. We'll get there. Steel production always hurts. Never enough past the mid game. It's okay. We're we're gonna ease off on that because of purple science uh, not being needed for rocket control unit. After that, though, we're gonna be hurting for it. Hey, we made them all. Every single one of these. Right. In that case, don't you keep eating my beloved reds, please. I can just do away with all of these. With that brick. We clearly love bricks around here. Why did you still have stuff in you? Oh, uh, you're probably waiting on other things. We'll do a quick count to make sure that we're up to date with these numbers. That all seems right. Means I should be able to shove another 50 into each of these, but not just yet. Uh... There we go, that keeps them going for a wee while. I'm a short one of them. Uh, let's not worry about it. Worrying's for fools. I'm hoping you have all the prod mods that you need. Yeah, this steel's actually starting to be a bit of a concern for the old purple outputs. Especially the guys at the bottom. Like I said, we're going to speed of the slowest here. Do I need to up my smelting capacity for steel? No, no, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to use my buffered steel and bring it over to the main bus. No point having it buffered if we don't put it to damn use. Go, go. That fill in some nice gaps for us. Although I appreciate that it's not really going around the right side for me, so let's be even more complex about this. Keep it flowing. You come out here. Join up with yourself. And then go in. There we go, go. Splendid. Now that's a whole heap of thousands of steel backed up and now joining up with the rest. That should solve some issues. Seeing a full belt when you turn on the buffer faucet feels so good. Kalpa, what's your problem, right? 
You got a problem with my setup here? I just say it. Right, we are using our buffers, believe it or not. That's what they were there for, to keep production going early game. And you know, paying the uh, paying the pollution cost for it as well. Ah don't worry, I'm not mad. I'm glad. We're almost done here. Shame about this guy at the bottom though. Maybe I could uh, just speed you guys up a bit with a bit of extra steel. Hope I don't need any of this. Alright, all those yellows that were backed up are now going to be used for the RCU, giving our purples a chance to catch up. And then it's balls to the wall on the silo. Silo takes a while. Silo takes a heckin' while. Just put the turn downwards on the single splitter, no need for the other one. Oh well, excuse me for not having that uh, internalized in the middle of this stressful run. Right, still waiting on you to a degree, still waiting on blue to a degree, but I can use my buffered greens to turbocharge their production. Ew, these guys are having trouble. Didn't I have a whole load of copper just lying around somewhere? Maybe I could uh, help out a bit on that front as well. Ah, now I see what you're talking about with that uh, non-functional laboratory. Buffers indeed to the rescue. Maybe I could use my cars. My car's so full of junk. It is full of junk. Well, I do like it when my runs go full circle back to hand feeding meta. I don't like hearing that noise, but. Uh, okay. They're actually damaging my pipe to ground, and that is not cool. There you go, go. In fact, in fact, let's do this. No, not that. This. No, not that either. This. Buffer power. Scrappy do puppy power, but even better. Uh. Did I really get rid of all my steel? Also, where'd this iron come from? I don't want to think about it. Maybe maybe I made some mistake with setting that up, but I'm sure it doesn't matter. Uh, right, what am I thinking? I'm thinking I want just a few more steel chests, if you could be so kind. Yeah, two more will do. Just dump, dump, leave this junk behind. Go, go, gadget legs. Let's go and haul all that copper over. It's doing a good job on the buffering line, but the problem here is throughput. RCU almost done. The main problem with that is going to be resources, though. Alright, there you go, go. Plenty. I'll just shove the rest of you in here so you don't weigh me down too much. And yeah, I know it's not powered up. I'm working on that. Need my glorious stuff back. I know, Saru, that's what I just said. I didn't have the power pole because I left it behind. I'm actually disturbingly low on power poles to begin with. But there we go. That'll fill that up nicely. Right, how are you guys doing? Why am I short precisely one of these things? I don't like it, but... Actually, I really don't like it. I might have given one of you one too many. Well, if the numbers are off, I'm going to be paying for that. Um, just in case, could I make like one more of you? Uh, not without that steel, I don't. I don't know where it went. Maybe I dropped it on the floor and never ended up picking it up, but it's hard to spot these things. 
Eh, don't worry about it. They won't get through. They can't. I assume. Uh, ooh, ooh, right, right. More yellow. More yellow needed. It's okay. I haven't drank all the rest of the stuff yet. Uh, yellows need blues. And believe it or not, I've been producing blues. Here's hundreds of them. How many do you want or need? A hundred each. Hundred, hundred, eh, fifty-fifty. I need another fifty-fifty on you. How about LDSs? Oh, you need a whole load more LDS. Well, good thing I kept this LDS stuff here. Go and haul over some LDS then. I need to haul over the ingredients for the uh, the rocket silo as well. Not the rocket silo, but the the rocket. Okay, build her back up. Good. Still short on rails, not good. Why are you so short on rails still? Oh god, you haven't been producing at all because you haven't had access to steel. You... Oh dear, oh dear. Right, keep it up. Oh yeah, we did, uh, we did the other stuff ages ago. Don't worry about that. I'm not worrying about that. Uh, right, so hold that stuff back. It's fine, I guess. Still need a few more blues. I need to hope that you guys are doing okay with what you have. Although I have a funny feeling I'm off by one on some of this. For example, the numbers don't add up, do they? Although I think I shoved too many, uh, too many reds into them. Anyway, the main choke point is meant to be on the electric furnaces, not anything else. So as long as everything just keeps producing right now, we should be okay. Need a few more blues. One, two, three, four. There's the last hundred. Dip, dip. Swanky. These should have everything they need. 140 something, so I actually need 120 odd in each of these chests. Which they have. Alright, yellows have everything. Purples, it's a question question I don't have the answer to right now. <sighs> Keep on producing, baby. I already spent my buffer on you guys. Why are my greens at such a crawl? Because they're low on iron. Alright, we spot problems like these, we fix problems like these. You. Um, come down and help here. You come down and help here. Speed up the blue, uh, the greens considerably. I might have called them blues a moment ago. I get blue and green cons uh, confused all the time. Don't worry about it, because I don't. All right, silos coming along. A little worried about the purples because of the lack of rails. Should I be? Nah. But to upgrade them just so they're quicker in grabbing it all. Especially after I sped them up. Ooh, finally an attack on West Wall. Right, let's start properly bringing over all this junk. Oh, I don't even need that. Um. All right, lowest one can be LDS. Sure, pro, get out of here. I didn't. Uh, I needed you for the concrete. That's right. Uh, right, 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 right. I should be fine. Just grabbing every bit of. Um, I'll take the car. Might need the extra space. Might be an idea to get rid of some of the car and chunk. I don't need you, or you, or you. 
And the rest can go in here. Let's go, car. Yep, yeah, that's how we go. Yeah, that's how we go. Oh god, no, let's not destroy the vital ingredients for the freaking rocket. Alright, how many is that? 610, 710, 700, that's enough. Ain't no need for you guys to be working anymore. I'll just turn off the production at the source, so to speak. There we go. Rocket fuel, we have it all. 720 units needed. And we have six, 740 of it, so that's good. LDS is a different story, and we haven't even started on the rocket control units. Uh, do I have any spare production modules? Mm, absolutely not. I was thinking about shoving some production modules over in, over in the labs. You know, just a cheeky little bit. At this point, maybe we should shove speed modules in them. Also, I don't know if I'm going to need any of these production modules for these poor buggers. Numbers seem a little off. I guess I'll at least bring them up to the number of electric um, furnaces they have. And then shove a few in the labs. How many do I have? 49. How many labs do I have? 24. Holy moly! What is this calculation? There we go. A staggeringly small amount of extra bonus you're getting out of that. But it doesn't slow them down much. I mean, what's that? Minus 10% speed, but plus 8% productivity? It uses extra power, but labs are definitely not much of a concern in the grand scheme of things. There's that tiny little purple bit there. Assembly machines are doing the bulk of the consumption. Days, what am I doing here? There we go. How could I not be so green? Right, you know what? You have been a problem for me a little bit. Let's try and divvy out some of this. Speed back up those rails. 2% down for 8% saving. Yep. Now the saving probably isn't necessary because I've got everything that I need here. But just in case I'm off by a little smidgen, it would be nice to have that uh, safety net. Alright, is everything still running fine? Or running at all? The... Greens are coming back down for the blues. I love to see it. Not sure if these final bits will ever get what they need, so how about I just let them finish their next bit of production? Because every blue is going to matter. Blues are a vital part in making rocket control units, which is news that makes everybody unhappy. LDS is what's taking you so long. Probably the fact that you are just a very, very slow thing to make. But I've already made a decent number of them. And these are almost done. Excellent. That's 350. That's about half of the low density structures. Now, since we know we need them, let's get this set up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Space, space, space. Space, space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't like that. Should I reinforce the top? I don't know.
Do I have the walls and the flamers? I do. Right, let's just go and check on it. It's not like this is going to be going anywhere. It's largely the waiting game now. Also, we can thread this needle. Yay! 50 minutes left to fail, but only 30% through that rocket silo, and it takes a fair amount of time to make the rocket itself. So I'm a little bit antsy about that. Okay, it was honestly nothing, but let's just make sure that it remains nothing. That's a big biter corpse right there. We're all in the hands of big biter. Almost broken through some of the wall here. But they haven't gone around, and I haven't accidentally burnt down that forest, which is all good news for me. Let's not tear down vital infrastructure while we're here. This isn't that stream. I said vital infrastructure. I suppose that might be vital over there. Back where we assumedly need to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that going to be enough of these? Try to make maybe a few more beacons. I mean, in the end, that could well be what it comes down to. So let's... Let's make sure we have beacons to keep things flowing. Rocket cycle finishes at 30 minutes left. I'm not so keen on that. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Looks like you're missing one and one. You'll get that final bit of productivity boot. Oh, God! They're missing little bits of productivity. That's not very nice. I deserve that. I deserve that. Do I need that? I may or may not need that. I don't know. Yeah, rounding errors. Uh, prod mods. I don't have prod mods. I threw them all away. Hmm. Hmm. Make me, make me panic here, game. I don't know if I need those bits of science or not. That's quite a lot of science, actually. Elecky furnaces and productivity modules. I don't have those. I shoved them into my... Uh, shoved them into my labs. But I shouldn't need a lot of them. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, I don't know. Take these. Take these. Science is backed up a bit. Maybe speed up the labs. Yeah, I'm thinking about beaconing up the labs a bit. So I'm making some beacons here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I also need the uh, the engine things. Yeah. Could it be that I'm out of bricks? <laughs> oh boy, this game has given me cause for concern now. I don't give the lose lobby any reason to be rubbing their hands together right now. Come to me, bricks. Damn factorio rounding errors. Oh. Right, just in case they are needed. One, two, three. Immediately getting the uh, the goods that I was owed out of that. These two seem to be fine, though. They don't have a rounding error. All right. Anyway, if that's the case, then you're coming with me. On my prod mod mark, Reeves or whatever. Are you guys gonna have a rounding error for me? Now, there's another scary thought. Uh, shouldn't need any more out of you guys, right?
And you got your goods. Alright, that should be all the purples needed. All done. They've gobbled up all of these, so these guys are done as well. Now we're just largely waiting on the science to be done. Alright, that, that threw me. That really threw me. Now I'm a bit, you know, whoa, all over the place. Last thing I need are more causes for concern. Now, can I do anything about the speed of these silos? I can take all of the uh, silos, the labs. I can take all of these speed mods, uh, speed uh, beacons, and shove them up at the labs just to speed things up a touch. Give me everyone you've got. Give me all the speed modules you've got. Better bear in mind that I need to get on the rocket control units as well. Oh, but that's a healthy amount of speed modules. Uh, don't worry about it. I can hear the spitters, so I know it was spit damage. I know, I know, it's more efficient up the middle, but we don't have up the middle technology here. Now that's certainly going to make those labs eat quite a bit more power. Hey, wow, they've actually become my third biggest power user thanks to that. But thanks to all of those efficiency modules, Alpha Gamo, I have plenty of power to spare. Alright, 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 alright. Do I want these things done with prod mods? It doesn't really matter if I want it or not, I don't have productivity modules. Uh, but I can make them use efficiency modules. Time to worry about every little thing I hear. Go! Let's actually have them going. Uh, whoops, I think I slipped with that. Can't actually reach them all unless I move back and forth a bit. Is something still under attack? Okay, well, it's not my concern. At least not yet. The hand feeding meta. I need 700 and something of these, so that's a lot of going back and forth. Every time I go from one side to the other, that's 16 more of these done. Hope you don't get dizzy. Well, I, I don't really care. All right, all right, all right, all right. Doesn't really matter uh, about anything more than just maximizing the performance of these bad boys, so i put you down to start with, shove that in, and I'll be recycling the labs speedy things once we're done. All right, all right, not bad. I mean, maybe it's bad, we don't know yet. Uh, this is almost done. These were never needed to begin with. I just need blue chips. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of blue chips. And I have no green chip buffer to spend anymore. It's all gone. Is it all flowing at the right speed, by the way? Yeah, definitely. There's no way it'll back up. It's 100% going through here when it's not getting chipped away at by the reds, so that's okay. Alright, what we can look at is rocket control units. I'm making... How many per minute? Let's say about 30 a minute. It's only 10 minutes to make all the ones I need, assuming the blues keep up. 
That might be a big assumption. Could you turn off some other green circuit consumption? Not really. It's just reds and blues, really. The science is also backed up, so that's not a big concern. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that uses greens. These buffers are already done. Green is hardly a large consumer. Thankfully. Oh, look at that! The buffer of copper that I had is all mysteriously spent. Where did it all go? Oh, yeah. I kept it for my low density structures, like the clever clogs I am. I could actually be outputting faster, couldn't I? There you go. Wooden chests used right up to the end game. Well, this isn't even really the end game. It's the end game of the main part of the challenge, which is getting. Why are you? What? What? Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Um, give me a bunch of these. Speed up, damn it. In the end, the hand feeding meta returns. Oh god, what if I end up short on purples? Boy, that'd be bad. Alright, once these dry up, I'm going to consolidate it all over to this other side. Ooh, so about chaining those labs, yeah. Chaining labs is for chumps. Right, tell you what I can do. Observe. We already have all of it here, so let's just uh, sushi belt it. Mm, everyone loves sushi belts and Factorio, right? I mean, who could not? I'm gonna be in a bit of a bit of a rush pickle here. Come on, eat that science. Get me my silo, which is ten percent away. Well, whilst you're doing that, I'll go and do some glorious hand-feeding of my rocket control units. I cannot afford any distractions now. None at all. Not with, uh, not with regards to... What do you mean, output full? Oh yeah, crikey, these things... Well, then I can just, like, stand here and do this quite a lot. Sure, some might fall on the ground, but... To work. 91%. Gonna wish I had these a little closer to here now. All my prod mods. Gotta remember to put in the prod mods before I even start the... Um, Start the silo, or I'm going to be having problems. Real problems. Not those fake problems. Is there anywhere with more purple than yellow? Actually, all the places that I spoon fed all that yellow into, absolutely. It's alright, have faith. There's just a tiny, tiny amount left. Imagine one bad grenade going off here and destroying all of these. I'm imagining it. Terrifying me. 
lot of damage coming in, a lot of I can't do much about that. How many rocket control units have we done? We've made 208, and we only just set it up, so that's a good sign. We're about a third of the way done. I'm going to want you done Speedy Gonzality here. Uh, but let's cut off power for them so they don't accidentally start putting things in before I have my prod mods in, because that would just kill me. On the inside, of course. 98! Alright, you're coming with me. I know we're done. I know we're done. 99. Okay, there's enough on the belt. That'll be fine. Alright. Slash. Permissions. DDR Jake may now craft. And he is going to craft a rocket. Where are my processing units? Uh. He is going to craft one rocket silo for his 111th handcraft. And then he's going to turn off handcrafting. There we go. Oof. You can have these back, by the way. They're stupid. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, okay. Take all my stuff back. Come on, come on. There we go. One rocket silo complete with four prod mod fours. Now get to work. Where are my speed modules? There we are. Get that full uh, that yellow thing out of my face. All right, good. Now the only thing we need to do is to make sure that these are all working as often as possible. Which means we need all the speed mods we can get and all of the blue chips we can get. Donk. That could be a problem. Do I really need more of these things? I don't know. Let's limit ourselves to 200 of them. Doubt we'll even make that many, but... How many low-density structures have we made? Oh, uh, oh, that's actually hard to tell because um, a lot of them are used for science, but I'm pretty sure we have enough LDS that we can just cut it off. Not that it's consuming anything that's being fought over, but let's just lower our stress, shall we? It's all about the blues now. We need them blues. Uh oh. Oh god, you barely progressed at all and uh... Well, I guess these aren't really all that necessary for you. It's more necessary for blue, actually. Oh, give me that. I don't have time for that. No nonsense around here, folks. Uh, actually, you're competing for chips. Hmm. Nothing was using speed modules other than RCUs. How many speed modules have we produced? Seven hundred and five. So we're actually a little low on them still. So we do still need to keep producing some. Okay, okay, well, don't worry, don't worry. Worrying only leads to bad things, and we want good things here. But yeah, literally all I need are these. Sea Space pointed out, green circuit needs red belt. You think? 
Uh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. But you know, why red belt it when we can do some other approaches like yonder? Into it, but whatever. Um, just make way. Okay, it's just walls. That's okay. Walls are there to be destroyed. People love spaghetti, you know. There we go. That should cut it fine. Well, fine-ish. I should have cut it off a little bit earlier than that. Maybe I can quickly make myself a red dead splitter. And then speed you up with a bit of red here. Why do the sensible thing when I can tech? What was the sensible thing to upgrade all of that to red belt? Heavens no, I don't have red belts for that. Okay, come on. I don't have long, and I have a lot, and I mean a lot of goods that I need. You're not even halfway done. I've got enough of these. What's that? That's another 96 of them right there. That's not bad. There's a reasonable argument that says put productivity modules on these, given that I'm more tied on uh, on the goods rather than the time for producing them. And that is certainly an argument. i got no time for arguing, only time for winning. Can you prod mod RCUs? Yes, you can, but I don't really have productivity modules, at least none, not enough to really make a difference. Okay, now in terms of speed modules, we have produced 768. That is surely enough to get everything we need done, but I'm still going to make a few more. But what I'll do is I'll cut them off from their greens now and make sure that they just... they got to work with all the greens they have there, which should be enough to finish off a few more. And then the rest of the greens are going over to blues. Abu di Abu Dai. Let's make sure we use a wooden box just one more time. After all, this is an achievement run. We're gonna do it, folks. We're gonna get it done. We died, we saved. Uh, ultimately, this, this uh, massive desert cost me massively. I did not expect the pollution to be such an issue. Look, look at the amount spreading down here, and look at how much the trees are just demolishing the pollution spread here. Desert? Not desert. God, don't play desert maps for death world scenes. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad if you weren't also doing things like Lazy Bastard and getting on track like a pro. I don't know which of those two were the biggest problem. Probably getting on track like a pro. Because even with Lazy Bastard, you just need a few assemblers to start going with, and I'm clearly good at that. Come on. It's going to be a bad time to realize that I desperately need something else, like uh, I cut off my fuel too early. Yeah, that would be, that'd be horrible. How close are you done? Does it say? We're 60 out of 100.
Lazy bastard forces good habits on you. Oh yeah, this run has been nothing but good habits. I'm not debating that. I'm sure other people are, though. Uh, that was a bit too much, but it doesn't really matter. You're going to chew it all up anyway. Kind of sad to know that in the expansion they're going to vastly reduce the cost of the rocket. I wonder what that's going to make happen for a regular game. You know, changes like that are a bit more acceptable when a game's in early access, but when a game's out and they start messing with established things like that... Well, I tend not to care too much, but I imagine quite a few people will. It's not like I plan on doing this kind of run ever again. It's very stressful, very difficult, and you've got all these physicians in chat yelling at you. I feel like the aristocrat being yelled at by chemists when he did Nancy Drew and the, uh, the mysterious bombing of London. Alright, that should be the last we ever see of you, so I'm going to cut off reds for you. Is that a good idea? Maybe not, but let's just make sure that every red... I know, I know, better way to do it. Reds are prioritized for blue and not for you, but they still do come up here if nothing else is happening. They've almost broken through there. Game in here, no problem. Well, since we're waiting on blues anyway, I guess I could go up and reinforce. The last thing I'd want to do is lose this to Big Biter. Now you have to do it without reloading. I know, I know that that reloading and the dying really hang over me. I'm not happy about that. This whole run has been fairly scuffed. Not just that, there's been some... Uh, some long breaks in it as well. I'm really tempted to... I think what I'll do is I'll actually edit the video and put it up as a one part. I'm not going to edit out the uh, the dying and the save scumming, right? we got to live with that. That is our cross to bear. And by our, I mean mine. I just say our to mitigate the responsibility. It works, though. I can't believe some people thought I wasn't going to make it. Well, we're all going to make it, bros. God, they certainly want in here, and I think this would be the ultimate battleground. This turned into the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny here, but we're okay. Ah, there we go. Big, uh, big spitter isn't really much of a problem. Spitters have laughable defense compared to uh, biters. That even goes up to the behemoth rank. I think they're resistant to explosives, but nothing else. They still have massive tanky hit points, but that's a separate problem to be dealt with. And in the end, they all burn all the same. Let's give our spaceship another tonk. A sound not too dissimilar to what we do in State of Decay 2. I keep getting asked for more runs of State of Decay 2. I've done like five runs of that game. Who still wants more? What have we what have we not done in State of Decay 2? Riddle me that, riddle masters. We haven't found Kalos hat. Actually we did. Um, okay, there we go. Clawing ourselves another few more bits towards completion. 25... 25% to go makes it feel like I need 250 more of these things. Please tell me I didn't actually uh, end up not making enough rocket fuel, because that would be a bummer. I mean, 771 rocket fuel, there's no way that we're running out of that. And if we have more rocket fuel than we have low density structures, then I think it's safe to say we're fine. They're through the second line over there, I do want to go and save that. Again, we're mostly just waiting on blues, so it's not too big a deal if I just walk away. I've got 20 minutes after all. It would be amazing if they broke through and destroyed my silo. I'm kind of surprised I still have the walls for this. 
My uh, my stone patch was a disaster. But you know what? That disaster still provided everything we needed. Oh yeah, yeah, wow, they, they want through here. Err... Uh, that's as good as I can do you. I am out of stone. Anything else I put up will just be a ghost. And I'm not here to get spooked even though it's Halloween. This is not a fake out. I'm usually quite upfront about when I do fake out so that people that actually tune in on Discord don't waste their time on uh, on something. Fire, fire, don't let them through! I didn't expect to have to use this. You're all very lucky. Man, Star Fox 64 was so good. I mean, it was really bad, but you gotta judge it from the time it came out. It was really good. Why do we not get more Star Fox likes? Okay, this is slowing down concerningly. Come on, come on. We're gonna be up there at 91%. We're really only short on blues. Yes, I know the speed modules are blue as well, but when I say blues, I mean blue chips. Yeah, it's going to be tighter than a duck's arse. But we are going to make it. I have no doubt. I would even resolve the bet now, but... Yeah, never know. Some horrible breakthrough. That would certainly do me in. There's another 28%. Tonk and tonk. What is the trick to placing one single item? If you hold something, press Z and you will drop it. Hold Z and you'll continue to drop it. And if you're next to a machine and it's a valid input for it... Give me that. And a valid input for it, press Z and you will put in one. Also, what are you doing with all these... Uh, all these blues that others could be using. Shockingly, some of them have blues and no uh, no speed mods. When that's the case, I will just eliminate them. It's okay. If I need more blues, I got these. Um, I got these beacons I can tear it out of. Gotta remember, we're not done. Once we do this, we have to continue on. <laughs> we have a hundred percent of the achievements to get. And there's a lot more this base is gonna have to do for me, but we're gonna have a lot more freedom with which to do it. You know, I think I have enough downtime to finally talk about the achievements. Uh, I did so in the previous run, but that was a failure. So if you didn't tune in for that, you probably have no idea about some of the things that's making this run far harder than it has to be. i shove in a few more of these. Turn off the rest of you. And start looking at some achievements. Not breaking through, not breaking through. Right, so, in addition to the ones that we've already gotten, uh, what's made this so hard? Getting on track like a pro, we had to build and place down a railway, which included like a, a lot of research to get that done. You have to do logistics too before this, which is nasty. Um, a lot of these goals aren't dependent on the timer. The main problems are the ones that are. Which is to say ones that you need to beat the game before, uh, before thinking otherwise. So one of them is Lazy Bastard. Handcrafting means all of these lovely things that we could have handcrafted have not been an option uh, because you're only allowed to handcraft 111, which is... You can get by on about 104, but... Uh, you know, it means you can't just stop in the middle of everything and handcraft some belts because you're out of them. But that's just one of the things. We're not... We haven't been allowed to use solar panels, which is a shame, because solar panels would have massively reduced our pollution output and our... Uh, just boiler consumption. Mostly it's a pollution thing, and solar panels are quite cheap to put down. Uh, I've not been able to use laser turrets. I love laser turrets. They're such a great... Uh, they synergize really well with flamethrowers. The flamethrowers kill the bulk of them, and the lasers pew-pew down the ones that break through regardless, because flamers are very slow to track their targets. I haven't been allowed logistics, although I didn't build bots anyway. Uh, and yeah, got to win the game within eight hours. And that means launching a rocket. It does not need a satellite. 
That is old news. Once upon a time you needed a satellite to win the game. Those days are long gone. Do I have enough to finish the rocket now? I mean, maybe. Kind of running low on these bad boys. All right, should be should be good enough. Yeah, oh, okay, we've had enough for a while. If I hadn't been talking about achievements, it would have been absolutely fine. All right, so let's do it then. We're going to have 13 minutes left on the clock, maybe even 14. But we've done it. The run went horribly around the, what was it, two and a half hour mark. But, against all odds, we clawed it back on this map, which I thought was amazing, but it's actually horrible. And there goes our fish to get one more achievement. Bye, Rocket. Bye, Horrible Factory, at least until I come back to you. Hey. Splendid. Seven hours, 45. We shaved off three quarters of an hour from our last run. Oh man, I was want to go through those achievements. All right, very good. Let's make our save there. Part eight. There is no spoon, because that's what we managed to do. And with that, we can look at the lovely achievements that we got. Basic stuff for building a locomotive. You can't not research oil processing and win. We finished the game, although right next to it isn't the finished on time part. Trigger nailing an attack with pollution, got the locomotive going, a bunch of production goals done. Lazy bastard, check. Steam all the way, check. Raining bullets, check. Logistic network embargo, check. Nay time for chit chat, nay spoon. And for launching a fish, you get so long, and thanks for all the fish. Still a lot to be done, though. I need to research all technologies. All non infinite technologies, that is. And there are a lot of techs. There's so much that I didn't do. I didn't even research how to activate a lamp, right? We, we couldn't we couldn't figure out a diode, uh, but we were able to launch a rocket and, you know, autonomously create an entire factory. We don't know how to fill in land. We don't know how to shoot bullets any faster. We don't know how to blow things up except for with grenades. All of these will be very trivial to get through now that I'm not under the gut-crushing pressure of getting a rocket launched. And it means I can get some real nice-to-haves. I can augment my power with solar, I can place down some laser turrets so that I'm not immediately panicking whenever the walls break. And these things are relatively cheap to make at this point. Early on this is expensive, but now this is fine. Congratulations, Jake. I can see that you are in fact a much better Factorio player than I ever will be. We have different strengths in the game, Kalpa. You know, mine is playing the game and yours is thinking about playing the game, right? Two, two sides of the same coin, really. Oh, I'm just drooling at all these nice to haves because I have the infrastructure to produce these items and I can even handcraft them if and when I want to. Oh man, you know, even Spider-Tron isn't that unattainable to us. That'll take a while, sure, but... Mm. Oh man, Spider-Tron with some power armor, with personal laser... Oh man, those, those biters won't know what hit them. But that is a mad power surge that we're going to enjoy on a later date, because until I come back to it, we are donezo. Minions is a horrible achievement. Mass production three, we're not even close to it. So yeah, there's still a massive factor we have to build, but future Jake will build that. So, oh, I was about to do my cheers and cheerio, but as we know, Jake shall succeed, so let's close that bet. Two million vote swingers going into the very correct pockets. Can we get that on stream? Can't imagine why we couldn't. There's always a slight delay because there's a lot to click through on Twitch to get it. Does that look like it? That does look like it. Hey, Jimmy C believed in me more than anyone else. Alpha Gamma believed in me, but not as much as he could have. Tin, Shunli, Ninjin, Letter. Hey, uh, where's your name, Kalpa? You said you'd, you'd bet on me. Don't tell me you don't have 34,000 points to spare. And then, oh well, Jings, you're going to have more with Dutch Chicken and Captain Crow just giving their points away. You know, I was actually intending on putting this bet up the moment I started this run today. I forgot about it until Kalpa started uh, crawling up my leg about it. Which means it was already 
obvious we we're going to win. We won with like a quarter hour to spare. How could you be so dense? Well, I don't know. I also don't know how I could be so damn good. You know what the hell with this locomotive? You caused me so much pain. Nothing but pain from you. Wow, locomotives are strong. I was expecting this to be a nice explosive ending. Not in the Michael Bay sense. Can I also... yeah, there we go. You won't hurt anybody anymore. Good grief. Is that... is the train even taking damage here? Oh, this will not stand. I'm allowed to craft items again. Give me that coal. Clearly I need some more grenades for this. Oh, that's a, that's one thing you handcraft faster than um, than all of your machines until you get the super advanced ones. So we've had to be a real miser when it comes to that. Look at how slow they are. Yeah, be faster. Be gone, demon. This is not your world. God, I, s I suppose it is. Oh, no, we don't need to drop that. There we go. Be gone. Ah. Ah. There we go. I feel a lot better now. Okay, so we carry on next time. A lot more achievements to get, but the, the big pressure is off. Really, it's going to be a pretty boring, like, 20 hours of me just building a big normal factory. So, uh, yeah, just, just skip that, honestly. <laughs> Alright, cheers and cheerio.